Hi, your boy JDZ, and we are back with the Go Format World Championship. Myself and Planchy will be starting this thing off. Say what's up, Planchy. How you feeling this morning? Hello, hello, everybody. I am feeling great. And then there were 16. All right, we are wow. pumped. We are, we are locked in. We are loaded. The game we're going to bring today is Ryan Spicer in the blue corner playing against Quavo Huncho in the red corner. Okay, this is the top 16. This is round one double elimination uh, event that is happening right now. Winner will be determined today. One of these people will secure the GOAT Format World Championship. We have Quavo Huncho, the hottest player right now, fresh off of the FLC victory, trying to continue to push P all the way to the finish line, playing the GOAT Control strategy with Ryan Spicer. Uh, the pre prominent star from years past uh, playing the Warrior strategy. Planchy, who do you think is going to win this game? Oh, that's big toss up. Uh, don't sleep on Ryan Spicer. Like, you don't see him a lot because he plays a lot of IRL events, but I think Ryan Spicer has a very good chance in this game. I, I, I don't I would have to I would have to disagree slightly. I believe the matchup is going to be a nightmare based on uh, the way these decks constructed and these decks are open. So Quavo Huncho knows exactly what the opponent will be playing and Ryan Spicer knows the same. You see him ripping his grapes for charity, ripping true. his grapes for charity, tossing the Nobleman cross out right away because he know it won't get much value game one against this warrior deck. Um, and so it's the yep, and the Dekoichi is going to. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I, I, I am interested to see how this is going to shake down. Uh, yeah. Ryan Spicer has to know that he is going to be playing from a deficit going game one. Quavo Hancho decides to go ahead and set one up, T-set, and throw it over, it looks like, to the blue corner. All right, let's see what Ryan counteracts with here. Giving it the old, giving it the old shuffle and ponder, thinking how you want to break this deck down, hitting the upstart goblin. All right. Plus one thousand here for Quavo Honcho. I love a uh, I love Quavo Honcho's uh, haircut in that picture. I think that's very cool. Also, Quavo has a YouTube page. He is part part of the uh, La La Latina La La Go Go format Latina Roma over uh, on YouTube. He made a deck profile for the FLC, so go check that out if you have time. Not right now. After this is over, there you go. we'll see there what you got to say about that. Uh, I got the double upstart goblin, so bringing Quavo up to 10,000. If you are just now joining us, again, this is the GOAT Format World Championship Day 2, Top 16 Double Elimination Bracket. Okay, the reinforcements of the army is going to grab the Donza Luke. Will we get an MST knock Don poke right away? Let's see it. Textbook Let's see Warrior what happens here. Here's Don. The Don is down. Here is the Don. The knock is and down. Here is the here is the knock, <laughs> knock knock, <laughs> hitting the magician of faith. So that should be all three copies of that. Let's see how many come out of the deck for the honcho. So he's losing all three. This oh, is we have <laughs> triple triple magician here for Quavo, and he's gonna pound in for fourteen. And that is going to connect. Wow, what a great start for the warrior player. Okay. This is exactly how you want to start this game if you had a choice. So that Don is gonna rip some out of the hand. Let's see what we're gonna grab here. No Thunder Dragons here other. for Quavo, and it's a Sukuyomi. Ooh, big hit. Grabbing, grabbing that plus, that, that, that sick plus for the Warrior player. Great start. You can't think of a better way to start this game if you're Ryan yeah. Spikes. You got to kind of feel good because taking this game one is going to be severely important if he wants to make any any uh, progress in this match. Quavo thinking about it in the main phase one. Uh, he's going to break this thing on down. Hit him with the main deck to sure Priest again. I thought Ooh. that was an interesting card. Getting value out of it. Getting a clean plus one on this Don's Lug and sending it right on back to the hand ending turn here. Ryan turn passes back to Ryan. Ryan, one of only two warrior players to make the top cut. Yeah, they got here. abused. A oh, lot entered. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot entered. A lot did not uh did not finish. A lot of people had that deck pegged for uh how to how to destroy that deck. So they had a lot of cards that could take that thing out. Ooh, but the Kiko, the Kiko is down. Let's see if he can here get in go. for another damage. Can the Kiko do the do some damage here and get some work in? It can. He does. Get those wow. darts out of the graveyard. So Ryan Spicer getting aggressive early, doing a lot of damage, making a lot of effects with his monsters. Let's see. He know he has that Ashura Priest in hand. That's one card that can't get around this Kaiko, but he doesn't have any back row to protect it. So Snatch Steel yep. would be a, 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 a sick card to be played right now if you are the Honcho. But the Ashura Priest is down. It's and the Preacher Swap. swap. That's it. That's the value right there. There we go. The Swap so decks. Get, 
He's got <laughs> Let's see if he elects to uh elects to attack this. Of course not. He's gonna go ahead and yeah, get no. his plus value, getting that sure priest back to hand, stealing the enemy Kaiko and moving on. Ryan Spice is gonna think about it for a little bit and see how he responds to this. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see here. No lights yet. Goes for the heavy. And we have a chain scapegoat. Wow, so he held oh Ooh, Okay, so that ruined, that was the Royal Decree that was down doing nothing. And he got he has the Zombira, the main deck Zombira Ooh. to kind of clear his own Kiko, getting that thing into the graveyard, uh reducing right. that Zombira's attack. That's why he's there. That's why that guy's there. He can come out elbow dropping uh, those eighteen hundreds all day and all night, and uh, and getting some value that way. So they're just really going back and forth, trying to maintain the card advantage. They're both just plussing on each other where they can, and just trading and trading and trading. Let's see who can outlast. This is the world championship, but this is this is where you want to be if you are Honcho. Ooh. Not a lot of oh, defense yeah. from the red corner. Now he's got this Zumbira getting be... sucked by the thousand eyes restrict. Oh, That's man. a full twenty. So much aggression. <laughs> That's full 2100 value yeah. coming in. Direct damage. Beefy direct damage to the life points of the Warrior player. This is kind of... Now Now Honcho's being able to play his game. This is kind of where you want to be if you are the oh. red corner. Zombira gets pretty scary when you can actually punch directly with it. Yeah, that 2100, 2100 is no slap. That's a, that's, a thick, that's a thick amount of damage coming in. Multiple Cs. Okay, let's see. <laughs> That's 2100 to the face. Ryan Spice is going to have to get some answers for this thing, for the Styles and Eyes. Uh, maybe we can get the Exile Force. Maybe we can get, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Going to be difficult to get the Exile Force. One Rota already down. That is true. Chaos is not live. Chaos is not set up. We're going to go ahead and set one into the Styles and Eyes. Oh, trick. I have to set. This could get, really, this could get really bad if uh, Second Tsukiyomi is in the hand for Quavo. Let's see it. Pot agree. Maybe that can find it. Uh, thumbs up. No response to the pot agree. Drawing two from the deck for the red corner. Let's see what Quavo gets here. Maybe he can get some value out of another main deck. No to cross out. This is game one. He has that ditched one, possible. but he does have two. And there it is. Uh, it is a nobleman across out. It has oh, landed. Finding that the main set deck monster. nobleman against warrior. Getting value. You hate you hate setting game one if you're the warrior yeah. player. But sometimes you, want... you have to do what you have to do. Yeah, you want to blank the nobleman game one, but sometimes these things happen. Okay, yeah, let's. <laughs> And he's managed to make use of both of his Noblemen's Game 1. Yeah, getting, getting value just from being discarded and also utilizing it on uh, on an actual set. So uh, Ryan Spicer trying to not fall behind in this match. He's down in life points. He's down in cards. He's got this Thousand Eyes doing its thing, set up on the field. Uh, you don't just worry about the Snatch Deal. Let's see if this can get, uh, get something happening for the red corner. Snatch steal on Thousand Eyes. Not, definitely not a card you want to be taking in this matchup. No chance. No chance. Especially when you're Absolutely sitting on Absolutely not. Your opponent is already up uh, a significant amount in the life point game. And oh, you take MST, the Snatch Steal. Mm. Lose Waiting all the, the all the tempo right away. And you got no choice but to set another monster into the Styles and Azure Strict. That 2100 is oh. just so formidable as well. Sets two and throws it back over to Honcho, who's just oh. uh, gained another card. Honcho just... Woo. And this is, I mean, this is, this is what, this is, this is, this is a hard game one matchup for the Warrior deck. This deck is... Uh, Absolutely. But Honcho electing to attack in. Uh, Ryan Spicer does have access to Battle Traps in, uh, in game one, especially. Yeah. But now still has battle traps, still has Deity Warrior Lady. Yeah, Hanto's doesn't still have access to in. searching it, but it still exists as a threat that can deal with it. But now, 
But now, uh, now Ryan Spicer's graveyard is set up for light and dark, so there could be a BLS sighting that can come off the top and maybe can make a difference, but that 21 is bearing down. We have no active play for the blue corner. He's just taking 21 uh, from the Zumbira attached to the Styles Nice Restrict, and it is spiraling. He needs a live card right here. We need an answer right now. Let's see it. And Honcho is not like to uh, commit anything else to the field. It, yeah, probably just a probably just Solemns and Quavo's not going to commit anything else to it. Yeah, or or TT or something like that. There's no call uh, the haunted yeah. Blade Knight. Just going to yeah. attack into the Blade Knight instead. No Real battle hunting. traps from Ryan here. And let's see if that that could that could theoretically be the uh, be the end of the game. Let's see if that is going to happen. Ryan Spicer thinking about it here. Uh, maybe just as taking another some notes defensive on. option. Still trying to get to at least something to stall this game out further. Let's see. He's thinking. Probably, uh, probably just running the data right now. Maybe he does not have an answer to this uh, Thousand Eyes equipped with Zambira. And he's just trying to check what cards were played. I thought I'll just disconnect it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go, just gonna go for the swap. Interesting that he did not switch the token into attack mode first. Yeah, that Thousand Eyes oh, yeah, trick is... Oh yeah, he cannot change it with Thousand Eyes. Thousand, yeah, right. Thousand Eyes trick is not... I forget, uh, Thousand Eyes has multiple effects. I also cannot read card effects very well. <laughs> Reading is not fundamental in Yu-Gi-Oh. No one reads their cards. We just kind of go with the vibes, man. It's all yeah, about vibes no, these days. No. <laughs> Goes for the creature swap. Checks it afterwards. Just a Mystic Swordsman. Has another back row. Lost the doesn't have the revival anymore. Call of the haunted's gone. Gotcha. Gets the, the mirror, mirror force. force. Wow. Is able to out the thousand eyes. Wow. So that mirror force had been sitting there for for a few turns. I think. Yeah. He, he no. Got it no. Off. No. He, no. He top decked oh. it. He top decked oh, the okay, mirror okay. force. Okay. Sorry. I had a I had a brief uh, a brief lag spike and I kind of nope. I kind of missed it. But now we are back. Okay. Nice. All right, so oh, yeah, now... Quavo sets a monster and a couple more back row. Heavy Storm out for Spicer here. Sets another back row. And wow. a end phase decree, but counteracted by Solemn Judgment. You have to. You have, you have to. no choice, especially if you have traps. You have no choice to play that oh, yeah. right there. You, you, ha you have to. But still, I think uh, the red corner has to be feeling great about this position. You're up several cards. Oh yeah, you're, you're up a, th a bunch of life, and you're just kind of just life. waiting, waiting to just find a way to do a little bit more damage. And this mystic and swordsman, he, he, you you do have that mystic swordsman, threatening lethal right here. This could be it. Let's see if Ryan Spicer has another uh, defensive maneuver to protect himself from this damage. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're go gonna for. What is this, here. Dragonus the Wicked Knight? Dragonus the Wicked Knight, perhaps. Or maybe Cherubin... Or Flame Ghost? Cherubin, is, it, is Cherubin the... Cherubin Flame Ghost? What do you guys think is going to be? He's going to negate that right away. So you're uh, we're not going to find out. <laughs> Azura <laughs> but the Asura, Priest. It's just so many attacks that... Uh, that... And we're going to stop right to... The level two. We're gonna come in for seventeen. Uh, Let's see if we got another answer. Ring. Oh. GG. <laughs> wow, he tried it. He tried it. We tried, tried it. We really tried. And Quavo Hancho, as I mentioned, I did a I did a little a little brief spice report yesterday. If you didn't get a chance to check that out, check it out sometime after this after this video. I mean after the stream. Don't 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 leave the stream now. But uh I, I mentioned Ooh. that Quavo's deck can get very aggressive very quickly as well. So it is a go control deck, but he's got those decrees. He has a lot of attacking options in that deck, as was demonstrated in that in that previous game. But that Thousand Eyes did some serious damage. Uh, so Ryan Spice is going to have to really execute the plan in the side deck. Um, we'll see. Yes. We will see. <laughs> but looking at the looking at those decks, looking at those side decks. Uh, Ryan Spicer, he does have the Wangus. I fully expect to see those yeah, coming on. Wangus, in. yeah, no, he's got the Wangus. He's got a, he's got the side plan. He it, he definitely it, has the side plan here, and this is this is what 
Ryan's going to have to do. He's going to have to utilize the side plan and be able to close out these game two and game threes very quickly with <laughs> these side the, parts. He's got the, he's got the, yeah, he's got, he's got the, he's got the wingus. He's got the compulsory. He's got the, uh, he's got the dust tornado. He's got the trap dust shoot. He's got the soccer So I, he's got, he's got some stuff, but push and P can just turn it up a little bit more in the side deck as well. And both, like I said, all these decks are released and all the players know what the opposition can have, has access to. Yeah. But those some buyers are going to do some work. He's got the, he's got the book of moon, perhaps he's got the Mobius. So again, they both can side, but still I'm, I'm giving the, the slightest of edges, uh, to push and pee in this event, but going second, uh, going second, anything happened. Ryan Spice had a great start and it just kind of ran out of steam. He wasn't able to continue that momentum and the, P, and the P man had a lot of, uh, yeah. a lot of, a lot of dope draws. We'll see which game two. And this is the world's championship day two. The winner will be determined today. If you're just tuning in, make sure you like this stream and share it with your friends to get more viewers. Everyone wants to see who's going to be the champion. All right, let's, let's see. We will. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't I know. We'll see how, how, how Ryan Spice elects to do this. Maybe he did bring that Cypher Soldier in. I saw that in the side yeah. deck as well uh, to answer those Zumbiras that uh, Qu Quavo Hancho has access to. Yeah. So maybe we, maybe we bring in see. answers for the answers. You yeah, never know. A little premonition, a little, a yeah. little extra added spice. I, I do yeah. not know. We will find out most definitely in this match. Stay tuned. Keep it locked. All right, we got a graceful lead off here. Lose a ninja. Yeah. What else? And Light. and Donnie. Well, the, the graveyard is prepared for the Black Luster Soldier. The, that's that's kind of an ideal situation of what you want to be. Also, seeing that Don's Lug in the graveyard, you know, you don't want to see that guy get called on you and grabbing cards out of your hand and all that stuff. So something to look out for. We're going to hard summon the D warrior lady, the different dimension warrior lady, set one and throw it over to push and pee. The warrior lady from the different dimension mm. with, a, with, with a one card. The, the, the L formation <laughs> or the... I don't the, know. The, the, what is that? I set. We're gonna call that an I set. Just I set the power I, the, I. I, I, I formation. <laughs> I formation power. There you I. go. There you go. I formation. I like that. Mm. All right. Okay. We got Book of Moon on the breaker. Setting that thing, getting that uh, getting getting breaker booked. Okay, not too bad. Okay, Warrior lady, book not bad. Set. That's that's not a that's not a bad start of you. That's not a bad use of your breaker, or not a bad use of your book moon. Get mad yeah. value out of it. Respecting the breaker, turn one. I like it. I can respect that. And all of the all of the viewers out there on on the stream again, thank you guys for for being there with us. We appreciate it. We do have a slight tape delay, okay? So we are we are behind a little bit. So we will get to those comments. Make sure you guys let us know what we're doing wrong, what's happening in this event, who you think is going to win. We need all the predictions because uh, because you guys are the true goats, and we're just out here living our best life, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set one behind this breaker and throw it back over to Ryan Spicer. It appears. All oh, right, one. classic T set. <laughs> T set versus I formation. <laughs> T set, I formation, V set, and the rare Whopper. It was, man, I miss, I miss Whopper. I miss <sighs> Whopper this weekend. Yeah, people don't Whopper that much no, anymore. I don't know, I don't know the Whopper if that play fell off, but that used to be a prominent play. You used to see like one to two Whoppers a day. Now you, you're lucky if you see one to two whoppers a week, man. I know. Save the whopper. Bring back the whopper. Uh, I need to see five cards on the field. And I need to see Blade Knight doing his thing. Let's let's make that happen. All right. Justice for the whopper. So we got. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and reinforcements here. Grabbing the deck. Let's see what we're gonna go for. Will All it right. be the level two? Will it be the exile force? Will it be the Blade Knight? Stay tuned to find out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see here. Probably. Let's see. Probably level two. Probably the. It oh is the no! Blade Knight. Actually. Blade okay. Knight. Surprise okay. us all. <laughs> okay. Am, Am I willing this into existence? <laughs> Maybe we can. Am will I it willing in. the Whopper? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, come on, Ryan. We're gonna bring that Blade Knight down. All right. 
And we're just gonna battle in with the DD Warrior, Warrior Lady. Lady. Breaker, are we gonna banish it to keep Quavo off attribute? No, we're not. No, no we're chance. That thing is going no right chance. onto the graveyard. No chance. Into the graveyard it goes full on pressure. Pressure, and pressure, pressure. Punch in for 16, electing to keep all the cards in the hand. Yep. <laughs> all the cards in the hand, pass the turn. Going to main one. Keeping that card set. Whatever it may be. Good old Leo gonna go Oh, deal. we're going to snatch. Okay. <laughs> going for a snatch uh, deal. I mean, usually snatch deal. This is, this is not the... Uh, I guess it's still... You're still getting a plus one value out of this, this snatch is still, deal. No, this is still a good snatch deal. This, it's still a great snatch deal. I was about to say it's not as good as it usually is when you got a, when you got a snatch and you kill and then you get to keep the thing. But just getting all... You know, two, a, a one... A two for one situation is always great in this format. Oh, yeah, no, this this is still a board clear. This is still yeah. this is still very good. And and, you, and you also vanquish uh, two of your opponent's light monsters too. And uh, Warriors decks have a have a have a low like but he already got it set up anyway. Yeah, this but, is exactly yeah. what you want to be doing. <laughs> Nothing right. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's fine. We're fine with that. We're chilling. We're big time chilling. But the Kiko Ooh, the Kiko is here down. we go. Here we go. Swinging those he's beads down. around again. He's angry. <laughs> he's, 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 angry he's mad. He Both players are cool through. with that. And he's we got the scapegoats. The he's scapegoats are out again. He's, in force. He's those... very anger. <laughs> now, does, now does Leo have the meta? <laughs> Does he have or creature swap? So he has three metas and access to two creature swaps. I'm sure those did not get yes. sided out. They are very much still oh. present and available in the deck. Uh, creature got, swaps are going to be major players in this in this matchup. He, still, he's got the double Sukiyomi. So he's got a billion bajillion outs of this Kiko the Ghost Destroyer. Uh, I, I don't. I I think that he might have an answer, but let's see how he decides to do it. Ryan Spicer still setting uh, no spell the traps to the field. There's no protection available for them yeah he's not drawing a lot of his uh side hate for this matchup here yeah let's see it uh sangan for a normal summon dang in. okay okay oh this seems Book like a moon a... okay okay i see you i see you man all right Book of Moon, run over the angry bead man. <laughs> the the bald the bald bead shaking dude. Yes, yes. That's a that's a one for one exchange. Getting sang in to clear somebody is always great value. Oh, absolutely. And he's still very annoying. Second rota coming down for Ryan here. GD Warrior Lady gone, so it's what you want to get. Oh, Clifford! We got Clifford coming out for Ryan yep. here. Probably trying, probably hard reading that that is in fact the Royal Decree trying to clear that, get it out of yeah. the way early while you can. Absolutely. And you got a nice target here with that adorable little Sangin staring you down. Oh, we're going to go duo first. Get rid of the last two cards in Quavo's hand. Hits a BLS and had the metamorphosis. He held the meta. Ryan's going to go for the cliff. Attack into the Sangin. Goes through. Attacks. Mm. Does hit the decree. Wow, that was a great play. That was a great play. Good, good, wow. good, good play. I like that. I like that. I like the addition of Clifford in his deck too, and what he can do and what he provides. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a that was a dope choice. The decree Very was nice. super popular for a while. That was that was very a very good. good play. Very good play. Sangen gonna add a card here for Leo. Gonna add Sukiyomi. This is another card. Sukiyomi is another card that is just a menace. When it comes to uh, the warrior deck, because all their all their aggression and all that attacking, their defenses are so small, and Sukiyomi could just plus on so many different cards in that deck. Yeah, uh, the, so yeah, the only two cards that have enough defense to 
survive Tsukiyomi that are normal that they can normal summon really are I think DD Warrior Lady and Don Salug, and both of those cards are already out for Ryan. Hmm. And he's yeah, he's already used a lot of monsters too. I think he's used like what nine monsters. Yeah, that's incredible. One, two, that and warriors don't run many, like 13, 14. He's got four, he has access to 14 in his deck right now. Yeah, 14. Or maybe, unless he sided something out. So maybe he added more during the side decking time, brought in those wangus. I can assume maybe he took out some spells and traps and brought in more monsters. Uh, but like you said, that he's used so many monsters already, he doesn't have access to that many. But pot oh, and graceful back to back, pot to gone. graceful. And he could very well yeah. be sitting sitting as, as a full-time citizen in Brown Town right now because he is not yeah, committing any spells and traps to the board. So he could be holding the remainder of his monsters right now in addition to the monsters that have already been played. Uh, so now, uh, oh, wow, this reinforcement oh. is coming out. And we're going to bring in his slam have... that DD right to the field, and we're going to punch in for 15, it looks like. Yeah, yeah we have more reinforcements of the army. We're not over. We're still <laughs> reinforcing the army. <laughs> the army has been Just reinforced. Be... Yeah, no. Road is at three in this game. Mm. All right. So now the breaker is coming down. This is not a bad breaker All either. All right. Very, breaker. very nice. Very nice. Let's see how he's going to do it. Probably going to uh, remove that counter and pop the set. It is going to be ring instructions. Oh, so we're just going to go ahead and. Uh, the ring. I like I like that sometimes. A lot of players do that. It's, sometimes people just uh will just chain the chain the ring right away when the breaker comes down just as a response to the effect of activating. But I like oh, yeah. when people actually uh hold on to the ring, let them gain the counter, let them pop the ring and then chain it that way. The same thing, but it's just a Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird flex. Yeah. Can, now, it's, it's now a, it's do a, it's you a weird go flex. for the BLS if you're Ryan here? Now you've cleared the path for you've cleared the path, your graveyard is set up. But he likes not to. Okay, if he, just if he, step if one he, and uh, pass. Hang, hangs on to it. Um, doesn't doesn't decide to doesn't decide to bring it out. Maybe he doesn't have the protective blanket that he doesn't want to do. Because uh, he does yeah. have those goats. He does have that DD Warrior Lady. You bring the BLS out. You know, banish that yeah. DD Warrior Lady, and then Thousand Eyes is back on you again. So you got to have yeah. several folds of protection. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Set one pass could be a solemn to protect it if he has it in his hand. Could be. Could be. Could be anything. Could be. Let's see. Oh, man. It is the Tsukiyomi. Will we get All a TT right. here? Is T has TT Ooh. been played? TT has not been played. That was TT a bold has not move. Been played. Mirror Force also yeah, no, has not been played, but pushing P yeah, is no, pushing damage. Does not care yeah, about no, your Mirror Force. Going, he's going for the two-turn clock here. He's going for the timer. So let's see if any of these, if both of these attacks can go through. Thinking about it a little bit, how he wants to, how he wants to respond to this. Checking the graveyard. He's looking revival. It is. It is, it is revival. Bring him, bring him back. The bring back. Bringing back Eagle. Angry Man. <laughs> Angry Bead Man is returned. <laughs> Angry Man swings beads. Let's see. Let's see if uh, pushing P is the next oh. going crash, and he does so. So we're going to go ahead. We do and take the three hundred. Gonna lose a couple. Gonna lose couple monsters here from the graveyard okay and we're yep. gonna punch in for 1100 damage lose, lose the bls and the sangan, sangan. Like. i don't really think the uh choice of banishing really matters that much because yeah the bls is yeah that's there, there, there's no uh, BLS being already in the graveyard. There's no, yeah. uh, there's no chaos threat that Ryan had there's, to worry about anyway. But yeah, still, I mean, uh, the Zambara is down. Can't attack direct. Yep. These are the these are the instances where I absolutely hate Zambara the Dark. Okay, because oh yeah, you got a clean board. You got a nice smooth shot. You can do some damage. If this is skill dark, if this is Berserker Rilla, you're feeling great. But it's just this doofus. Ryan Spires are electing oh, to yeah. electing to just. Pop with priority, XL4. leaving three scapegoats. That was interesting. I think I'm attacking a goat there. He has no defenses to protect, and then I'm going to pop that Zambira. I think that's what I would have done. Maybe that was a slight missequence. I'm not sure. Maybe he wants to leave the board 
clogged for can't be swarmed or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's what he's thinking about. But I'm definitely attacking that situation and then using the effect of the exile force in main phase two. What about you, Plank? Yeah, yeah. If, um, if Zambira was doing nothing. He couldn't. He couldn't yeah, Zambira was just sitting there. I think. Yeah, I probably would save that exile force for the next uh, the next real threat because he's just sitting there like a big goofy twenty one hundred goofball, not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's all it's all interesting. Yeah, we're getting some comments. They're saying that uh, XOA is saying that Clifford main deck is superior to Don Zalu main deck. Ooh, Ooh. I don't know. That's a that's a spicy take. I, that's I might have a to, take. Ooh. Some people might might agree with that. I I think that's interesting. Okay, the Ooh, blade knight is blade down. Blade knight into the face. All getting right, getting mad value too. All Ooh. right. That was a strong blade. That's a that really effect. strong blade knight. But now he's got those three tokens bearing down. You got four cards in hand. Again, a lot of outs still left in the deck for uh for the Quavo for pushing P to continue to push more P. Sukiyomi is also and Sukiyomi available. is still there. <laughs> Sukiyomi and there, is still there it goes. ever present in this game, clearing that blade 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 knight with the greatest of ease and Flying back to the hand on the flying trapeze as Tsukiyomi does. <laughs> oh, oh but better, here, yeah. <laughs> better yeah, late than never. Yeah, but we come back to the problem of Leo still has the Tsukiyomi and but, we didn't have hey, the battle trap last turn. If you bring out the Tsukiyomi, right. that Queen Tiger will absolutely smoke that Tsukiyomi all day. That is and true. All night. <laughs> that it will is be true. Set. It will, it will be, be said, said though. It will be but said. But it will be dead. You will... <laughs> it, it, it will. will it die. will. The Tsukiyomi will be dead, but the tiger will will be set if you have a meta play to follow it up with. So it's. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I think uh, I think it might it might come up if he did since he didn't kill that token. It might be the difference maker if he had a line to push for game, like if he had a BLS or something like that. Maybe he could have made it a play where he can attack for game. Essentially, almost if he had one less token, we will see if that comes up. He's gonna be so yeah. sick if that does happen. Oh, that way. we're gonna go. We're gonna go Zura. Azura priest. Azura okay. priest versus the king. We have nobility versus oh. Uh, and we're gonna ring that, ring it up, ring okay. it up. Seventeen hundred going down to one thousand for Ryan Spicer and twenty six hundred for Quavo Push and P right. So that 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 play was an indication to me that that King Tiger is doing some damage. Okay, he's actually floodgating the field. Oh, but the the, the delinquent duo main phase two duo <laughs> take Let's out the rest that, of the hand here. Let's see if that is going to resolve. Two cards oh. this late in the game, 1,000 life points. You're in a very right. feeble position, main phase two. He's trying to use a solemn here to protect the rest of his hand. He's going to get rid of Knock and the other Tiger from his hand. Tag into another token. All right, Leo P. Starting to. Still has four cards in hand. Still that you one token that, here. That one, that token, one token that shouldn't be there. Oh, it's, let's see. It shouldn't it. be there. Oh, pot of greed though. This tiger is becoming a real problem. Dang, that would have been oh, it, folks. That would, yeah, yeah, that would have done it. That would have done it. That would have been it. As that is, uh, you know what? Oh, the Let's Spirit see. Reaper. Never mind. And well, <laughs> well, well, well. It was, it was under control all along. Okay. Well, well, well. And the swords from Leo P off the top. Just like you drew it up. That's why you put it Absolutely. in the deck. Absolutely. Yugi Moto would be so proud of, of those swords of revealing light. And Ryan Spicer only has one ninja to deal with to 
to deal with this Reaper, and that ninja is in the graveyard. And there's only one revival left, and that's premature burial. And BLS as well. Yeah, BLS, and it's still alive. BLS has been alive since BLS turn is, one. BLS we, is we, very alive. We've assumed that he had it in his hand this entire time. And Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Tribe is also an answer. Right on time. Top deck BLS. Oh, yeah. You love the to see that. The script writes stuff. itself. <laughs> Just like you drew it up. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. But unless you have a way to remove the swords here, are you really scared of this Reaper? Like, you probably banished the set face down as opposed let's to see. removing the uh, Reaper here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what Ryan decides to do. Yeah. Let's... Uh, I don't know. And he's okay, going to go he's... ahead and banish the Reaper. Okay. He is not, fear he is not fearing the Reaper. He's going to dust tornado. He's going to go for him. Tornado. He's about yeah. to push for some P right here. Yeah, he he's he's got the kill shot. He he he's got yeah. He's gonna in the water. And it is a Sukiyomi setting oh, the King Tiger. He oh did wow. Have... He's not out of it yet. One last turn. What a great duel so far. What a great game. One last turn. The game was imminent for the blue oh. corner, pushing down on the red corner. And he's going to set one into the field of the Black Lesser Soldier. Oh. And oh. this game is essentially I, concluded. This is I game don't three. Think a card that he can have. He's going to go ahead and secure that victory. So we're going 1 1. Oh, we're yeah. We're going to a game three. Ryan Spicer has moved on to game three against the push and p one of the hottest duelists we got right now he is uh absolutely killing it lately with this go control deck ryan spicer figured out a way he made some very good moves i love that cliff the trap remover uh play that was made to remove that royal decree i thought that was fantastic a lot of dope stuff yep. what do you guys think out here in the, in the comment section i'm gonna check yep. you guys out where we're sitting here in the side decking time yep uh, and uh quick update here as ooh, we are side updates. decking um, Ace has defeated Ricky97, and Dingo has defeated Shaggy in top oh, 16. Oh, no. Yeah. My boy. Okay, yeah. those are the two of the, two of the fan favorites. That, uh, that Earth Aggro versus the Return deck. Honestly, I think that was probably one of the worst matchups for the Earth Aggro yeah. deck. A couple uh, round one results coming in here. That is an ace winning is is yeah. pretty it's pretty intense, you know. In the Vietnam, trying to trying to take the GOAT format title all the way to uh the Vietnam would be uh would be interesting to see. Oh, that would, be, for that would be something. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. So we are uh we are continuing on. We still side decking here. Uh Leo Push and P Honcho will be going first. Ryan Spice will be going second. I think the side deck plan for both players kind of uh, showed showed itself with the Tigers coming in as expected. Uh, Ryan Spice had a good plan. He knows how to play this matchup too. He is not uh, he is not a slouch when it comes to playing. But we'll see. It's uh it's still anybody's game. I still think the edge kind of went to the Quavo Honcho a little bit, but Ryan Spicer used some uh, some 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 sick dueling prowess to kind of. Even that match. Yeah, there were some we'll really good plays there in game two by both sides. Uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's 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 uh it's 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 sad. I'm thinking about that Earth deck, Shaggy losing. It's all good though. You know what? If uh, I think he might he might have just lost on purpose to get more duels in to kind of make the story a little bit more dramatic. So continue yeah. to watch what Shaggy Powers is doing on that Earth aggro strategy. Again, congratulations to Dingo again for for advancing forward for the second time in the world. I don't know what how he's so powerful in these pre premier events, but he is absolutely crushing it uh, two times back to back tops. Uh, yeah, I think it's... he's the only him and WZ are the two uh, players who top both years consecutively. All right, so this Whoa. Blade Knight's coming down. Mashing headlong right into the spirit. Espirito Reaper is going to be revealed. I don't. I, yeah. Why? Why is this card? Uh, why is Spirit Reaper not played as much? This card is not that bad. It's actually a pretty, pretty good card in our format, but it doesn't I, see I much. I saw play. this card picking up a lot of play a few months ago, and then it really dropped off. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I think the card is pretty. It's pretty yeah. good. I might do a main phase but... two. Okay, we hit a meta. 
not bad not bad I, st I still don't know how I feel about duo man phase two, but in this sense, maybe uh, maybe the opponent wanted to see, maybe Spice wanted to see if that was a Spear Reaper set or a Sinister Serpent set, perhaps, and then uh, decide to duo man phase two. Oh, uh, I, I'm, I have a feeling that um, he was that uh, Ryan was thinking that this that he Leo had a read that Ryan was going to summon a Blade Knight, so so uh, Leo thought that. Um, you, you a Sangan was going to be set or something, or something that was going to add to his hand, like a Sangan or something. Gotcha. So, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Maybe it was like a like a like a card that can add something to yeah, the deck, and yeah, then yeah. you can duel that way. English okay. is hard. Still, English is hard. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was that was a hot take. You kind of <laughs> you got around, but it, we made it. I love you so much, Blanche. That was, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Like when, uh, like, uh, when... Have, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever, uh, this, when you, when you think, <laughs> and, and you like have a you... thing, and, uh... and, and, and you, and you, oh, let's, let's here see we go. This, what, this what's Breaker break... gonna do here? Breaker's oh, gonna man. keep the counter, or well, let keep me the tell counter you. and swing, or take out the back row? It's all about how greedy you are. I oh. think if you go in and try what to break this thing. Here? I got you. Got to break and swing. You just break and swing. You break and swing with with everybody and get some damage with that mm. reaper. Okay. And he he likes to go ahead and say not today. Oh. Not today. Just pushing P and just uh -uh. solemn judgment. That that's uh, uh, -uh. that's half your health though. That's a lot of health. That's a lot of damage. That's that's a that's a that's a big ukuzi coming down. So that's thirty five hundred off of Ryan because that could have got physical very quickly if you crash and start poking him with that spear reaper and he didn't want anything to do with that. So we're just going to pass back over to Ryan Spicer, and he's going to draw. And let's see if he can clear this uh, level three dark zombie who is halting all progress right now. Well, he has plenty of ways to get over it. So let's see if he can get one of these numerous outs. Okay. Well, he just slams the Wangu. He lets the Wang out right. and uh, elects to uh, probably pass it over. Let's see if he can clear this thing. The, the the king tiger just stands there and just stares at him. just look look at his face look at his face he just rem yeah. like, summoning summoning that uh summoning that king tiger uh did kind of remove one of the outs of that spirit reaper now exile force yeah is, exile. Uh, is oh yeah null and void it will kind of explode himself if you don't retain your priority yeah. to change to that uh king tiger's effect so that will be uh yeah I'll, I'll be how that goes but uh, every time i see king tiger it does crack me up i love looking at this picture i love looking at this guy uh he's got the i, I it just cracks Ooh. me up that that's uh that's nobility creature swap who are you gonna give who wait wait a minute what is he talking about you don't get to pick quavo gets to pick um he yeah. is going to send that set monster over you don't get to pick there mr spicer ceasefire get your hands yeah. off my cards oh <laughs> uh, what are you doing man <laughs> uh, hold, hold on a second. second. Hold on a second, you don't, buddy. You don't get to pick. I get to pick. So he's going to. Yeah. Uh, but you do yeah. get to pick your own car. Who are you sending over here if you're Spicer? I guess you kind of have to send. As sucky as it is, you kind of have. You're you're in a. I think this is a lose lose situation because yeah, the uh -huh. the blade can go ahead and clear the tiger, and then the tiger can clear the blade depending on which one you elect to send. So. Uh, yeah, what is what do you get? Oh, you get Sangan. It is the Sangan. Okay, yes. so the Sangan has been delivered over to the to the uh, to the blue corner, and he likes to give up the Blade Knight. That Blade Knight now is pumped up to two thousand because Quavo only has one card in his hand, and now it is strong enough to clear uh, the King Tiger. The nobility. I keep saying you guys keep saying King Tiger. You forget that that is royalty. All right, he is a monarch. He is a king, warrior king, with his face that he has. That's a such a cool artwork <laughs> with his yeah. royal face. The, okay, the nobility of seventeen hundred attack and one thousand defense. He is just <laughs> just look at that. I, I want to see the lore. I want to know who his uh, who his followers are. What type of kingdom that the King Tiger has. Or maybe he's like King. Maybe that's his name. I don't know what's going on with that whole King and Tiger situation. Look at that armor, crown, man. Look at that armor going on. A, a little bit more fitting. I think that would have been uh that would have been cool if you had like a little 
like a little tiny crown and he likes to go ahead and swing over and oh i had some i had a lag oh yeah no just kind of yeah no it he tried to swing over okay i i I missed that tried my my situation kind of lagged out a little bit i saw that and it all happened so fast sakuretsu okay he got hit with the armor (laughs) of the the sakuretsu variety that is the king tiger okay the king king tiger we are going to try again we're like, no, no, no. The, the the tiger is too kingly. We are going to just... I'm going to take my plus one and get out of here safely. So Zombira is going to instead attack over the Sangan, and Ryan's like, okay, okay, go ahead. We'll, that's we'll fine. let that go. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I'll I'll take I'll take my Tsukiyomi. I'll allow it. Or maybe I'll take my Serpent. Who knows? I don't know. Hmm. I'm just saying words. He got oh, he got the DD Warrior Lady. So hey. the DD Warrior Lady was a choice for hey. the Sangan. Yeah, fake, faked me out on both of them. Took the DD Warrior Lady. My DB is lagging a little bit. I don't know if you guys are experiencing a little bit of lag, but my DB is okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine over here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just a little behind. Not too much, but we're gonna be all right. We're gonna make it happen. All right, so main one is for the blue corner. You got this royal no- noble king tiger staring down a, f- a 1900 value Zumbira the Dark. This spirit reaper is still just posted up in the cut like that's what's up. Hanging out, hanging tough, doing his thing, securing those life points. Full He's value, like- 8,000 for the red corner, uh, 3,500 for the blue corner. After that, intense solemn judgment exchange and the link with duo that was played earlier on. Yeah. Yeah, Spirit Reaper just s- sitting there saying, Hi, you can't kill me. Nanata boo boo. And Ryan Spicer still trying to find an out. And have, still has two rotas. Um, N- Ninja Grandmaster will do it. And I, 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 I will I miss- do it. Exiled will not do it right now because. King Tiger will blow it up immediately I, before he has priority. I mentioned I mentioned earlier like I don't like Zumbira in a lot of cases, but against this warrior deck playing against control, I think he's very good because he can clear all the issues that you may have. And he uh oh, but this guy, this premature oh, burial coming back might might just end all that discussion because this thing can get pumped up to two thousand and run over this Zumbira the Dark quite easily now that he's in a weakened state. Let's see if that is what it's about see to happen. See if he's got another. He you know, just got to get one card out of the hand here. Still has a normal summon as well. Oh, double oh, blade. Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> hello two blade knight. Nice to meet you. Twins, fancy hello. seeing you here. How are you? <laughs> fancy seeing you here. <laughs> this mirror force would just be insane right here. Oh, oh my goodness. I know Push and oh, P has no, 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 <laughs> no. But it no, did no, not, no, 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 no. It it did not occur. So that was that was avoided. Oh, that would be That would be that would blow out. That would have been insane. But still, this Spear Reaper is is looking is looking this, very this... potent, looking strong, looking looking mighty sitting here protecting the life points of push and p yeah. as he can continue to draw cards and collect resources but his field is still shut down with that king tiger the scapegoats are not going to be an issue yeah. uh if ryan spicer can find the dd warrior lady that can also be another card that can help move this spirit Reaper out of play but we're going to rip this Whoa, heavy storm right here you got a heavy storm this could be intense we're going to solemn judgment oh got a solemn judgment Again. Oh, but now you got to have an answer oh. for this ring of destruction because that is another lethal threat that Push and P now has access to. Okay, yes. let's see it. If he can, but Ryan does have access to Book Moon as well, so that could protect him from yep. that. So that's something Playful Huncho is going to have to play around and consider as well. But being solo, uh, I don't know if I like that very much. This is a very scary position to be in. You need to find the outs. You gotta, you gotta have something. This spirit reaper is strong, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're, if you're yeah. thinking about playing, playing a card, and you're playing some go control, consider spirit because this thing is looking great. This Ooh. is looking like a, like a great option. All right, let's see who, uh, who the Le- DD warrior lady elects to attack. Probably going Le- to Leo wreck. P. 
probably going for the out to the to the tiger to the here. Yeah, going for the Wangu. Let's see it. Let's, let's see it. See him go for it. Summon's okay. Summon's good. He's thinking. He's thinking. Summon yeah. is good, and we're thinking. Who's it on? Who's thinking right now? What? Is it spicy? Is, is the summons good? Are we on pushing P? Is pushing P? Oh, he's thinking. Okay, so there's the thinking face. I see. Oh, it. What, what's he thinking about? Probably thinking if you want to crash or if you want to. Uh, okay, he's asking about the premature burial. There we go. So he did a little cleanup. That does happen sometimes. I mean, you don't have to put stuff in certain zones and people forget which one is which. But he uh, uh, clarified that prior to making this next maneuver. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. All right, we're gonna attack. He's gonna crash into the king tiger, uh, trying to give himself two hundred damage. But we're gonna book oh, that. Oh, book a moon. Book him, Dano. Setting the DD warrior lady. Um, Ooh, and in order pass. To... So now you can't get anything going. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh. That Dini Warrior Lady is uh, it's imminent. Again, that King Tiger might be doing work. Yeah. He... And oh, you, oh, he, he might, he, might. He, didn't, he didn't banish. He has a light. He has a light he in the didn't graveyard banish. for BLS. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> the shocked face coming from the blue corner. Uh -oh. He has he likes not uh -oh. to banish. Ryan Slicer better uh -oh. have a. He better be a main phase two. Kiko, the Ghost Destroyer, better come down right now. You better play Kaiko right now. You better have something for BLS uh, right but, now. That is... Reinforcements of the Spellcasters <laughs> right now. Better right play. now. <laughs> defense, Wait, mode, like... defense mode. Defense mode. Defense <laughs> mode. All systems to defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unless that would have been a bluff. Viewing the graveyard. Hum. Oh, there he is. Wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> that is a. And, and and as as okay. as, I mentioned, as I mentioned in the spice report, push and P has very low light counts in the deck. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was misman. But still, push and P is playing not that many light monsters. So when he elected okay. to put that uh, put that DD warrior in the graveyard, you kind of knew what was coming. That's two thousand, or excuse me, that's one thousand right. damage. Oh man, and he elects not to attack the king tiger and elects to attack the both of the light monsters. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Ooh. I think. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that does and, protect him yeah. from the exile force. So that was a correct. It, that was probably the correct, uh, correct move keeping yeah, that tiger because the tiger is working for BLS at this current yeah. month, moment. Uh, Ryan Spicer yeah, back against the wall, setting setting and, into the BLS. Let's see what Mr. P elects to do. We're gonna go ahead so, and just yeah. banish here. Either banish, and we're gonna book oh, a moon to BLS. Book a and moon. This, Flip is it up, going to be the attack, game, and that's it. Woo push and P does it. <laughs> push and P woo -hoo -hoo. pushes his way on to the next round on the winner side of this event. But fret not if you are Ryan oh. Spicer. This is double elimination, so you have to hit hit the admit defeat button two times in a deciding match in order to be eliminated from this event. And that was only one for the Ryan Spicer. So uh. push and P moving on on the winner side. Okay. Where are we gonna go to next? What is the next match? Okay, oh. we have Dingo Sig versus AJT BLS, who both, I believe, uh, won their round one. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is the current case. They both won and they will be playing in the top eight or playing uh, the, the next round. We will be setting that up and we'll be bringing that to you guys very, very soon. As soon as the players are ready, I believe they are standing by right now. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I believe they are uh, preparing, getting all everything set up, though. That is going to be the next match that we're going to be covering. Um, wow, what a game so far! That was that oh, was yeah. a great way to start it off. A great a great yeah. match. Uh, high skill, a lot of a lot of nice plays that were taking place. Not very uh, not very one sided. Not very sacky. Both players had some input on the outcome of that game based on the decisions that they made with the cards they had available, which is all you want to see in go oh, format. Man. That's when it's at its peak, in my opinion. When players Everybody's are playing, oh. yeah. When Everybody's players are playing, chill, making chill decisions. The warrior lady hits the graveyard. 
<laughs> Everything was cool. As soon as oh, that thing oh. did not get vanished, I was like, okay. Oh, you no. <laughs> you know what time oh, it is. Oh, 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 yeah. We all know what time it is. <laughs> uh, and it was it was oh. good to go. Yeah, it's all just, right. Yeah, as soon as that happened, like my my voice went from about a five <laughs> to about a thirty-five. <laughs> I love it. I love seeing that. Stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got about uh, we got about five minutes until this match uh, until this match is underway. Uh, if we can pull up, let's see. Is that if that challenge bracket is updated? Let me pull that bad boy up and see if I can check that out and see who has uh, secured victory in rounds one so far. So right now we had Geist D defeating Bobby Bodega. Okay, moving on to round Ooh, two. Ace nice. has defeated Rich 97, moving on to round two, playing against Geist D. That's going to be a great match. Uh, Dr Jay Druin and Mr. Man are still clashing right now, as well as Insidious and the Dark Magician. Still going at it. AJT has defeated the Big Llama. Dingo Sig has defeated Shaggy Powers. Leo Pushing P. Honcho has defeated Ryan Spires, as we have just seen, and Don't Copy and AJ insane ice in his veins hussein has uh are still clashing right now as well so very cool a lot of dope matches man a lot of great stuff happening okay ajt yeah. and dingo sig happening next susu node <laughs> stay tuned and also if you're tuning into the stream like i said there is a slight delay between us and you we still are interested in your feedback and your comments please be a part of the discussion and if you haven't done so already there are 200 plus people watching the stream and there's only 15 likes that is completely unacceptable make sure that take the, it takes one second to just put your finger onto the onto the mouse and drag it over to the like button hit that thumbs up right now because what that will do for us is it will encourage more people who are interested in this type of thing to join us and our whole movement right now is growing the goat format so please it takes zero time at all no effort barely any effort to just hit that like button right now and uh help us all out to uh to, to to do this very easy anyone can do it uh we would appreciate that also uh if you have time and you're interested in playing in these events this is the premiere of the event of the season so this is the last major chance to play but the next season will be coming very soon so make sure you get into the goformat.com discord and be a part of it play some goat format is lots of fun easy to do and uh you know you can do it on your own on your own uh on your own time much, much, much love to you all for doing that and spending your time with us right now. We really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Still okay. standing by. All right. Waiting, uh, waiting on the on the AJT. I am hyped for this. I think. Oh, I this is gonna this, be good. I mentioned this in the deck roll up that AJT BLS is a shoe in. Okay, pretty much secured the player of the year. I can't, in recent memory, think of a of a Yu Gi Oh player in any format that has had such a dynamic season that AJT BLS has had so far. And he's continuing that, uh, continuing that momentum into the go format world championship. I mean, yeah. he's won and topped four, seven. you know, still he's, he's got seven invites, but he's won. Uh... <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he's got a lot, he's got a lot, a lot. Of, a lot of games. And if you if you look and uh, if you go to the format library, if you go to excuse me, go to go back goformat.com or go to format library and check the the official goat format rating ladder. There are you know you can see AJT has over five thousand or something rated matches. Okay, Dingo Sig is no slouch either. They both have played a lot of times with AJT beating Dingo. What is that? Ten times and Dingo beating AJT eight times. So they've met and clashed a lot in highly contested rated GOAT format games, okay? So uh, this is this is gonna be, they know each other very well. They know each other's play styles very well. And uh, anything can absolutely happen here. I'm gonna be on the edge of my seat the entire time. So um, make sure you guys uh, continue to look. Oh, I see the game, it's being hosted right now. The game is up. AJT BLS is hosting, waiting on his adversary Dingo Sig to approach him. All hmm. right. Yep. We are we are awaiting here. We are waiting for why are you approaching me moment. Everyone get hype. This is going to be a spectacular match. We have the Chaos Return deck versus the Chaos Turbo deck. A yep. triple triple main deck <laughs> uh, trapped us shoot. Very interesting meta call, oh, and it worked oh, out yeah. spectacularly for the Chaos Turbo player. Yep. Uh, so going first, 
get in that dust shoot, activate it, be very intelligent because he's a high, high, high IQ player as well. And uh, he doesn't misplay a lot, and, but he's very aggressive when he needs to be. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's and that's oh, and they're in. I believe they are in. They have started. Yes, they have started. Oh, okay. Let me get in there. Oh. Okay, we are in. In the red corner, we have yeah, we're in. We're DLS. In. in the blue corner, we have Dingo Sig hailing from France and Canada. So we got a Canadian France uh, clash here. Like I said, these players go way back. They've played each other several dozen times and AJT is currently in the lead in that series with 10 to 8 from Dingo Sig. But Dingo Sig's no slouch. Okay, he's no he's he, he's not shy when it comes to these high level events. Uh, he's always making deep runs and he's always right. doing it his own way uh, with his return deck. But uh, the return is only so good. If you know it's there and you can kind of play around it, the surprise factor is gone. So AJT is going second and he has to play behind a pot of grease. So just like that, those trap dust shoots get slightly, slightly worse. Still great dope cards, but just yep. a little bit worse uh, in this situation. Yep. Couple sets from Dingo Say. See what this and that's gonna be it. Just just but a Dingo couple back row, also... but Dingo also has main deck dust shoots. <laughs> running okay, two of them those... in the main. One of those does hit, hitting the Night Assailant, Tribe Infected Virus, Thunder Dragon, uh, Sinister Serpent, and the Decoichi. So Brown Town all around for the uh, for the player of the year here. Uh, let's see what he's going to elect to send back. Dingo is going to hit the Think button and meditate for a brief moment. Do you get rid of those Thunder Dragons now? Do you get rid of the Sinister Serpent now? Uh, do you or do you fear these flips? Do you fear try? What is he going to send back here? A lot of choices to make. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of brown, a lot of orange, a lot of choices to make here. How do you how do you want to do this? And how do you Ooh. I'm not yeah. I'm not envious. I'm not envious of this uh of this spot. I am not I'm, envious. I'm, oh, oh, me neither. <laughs> me neither. I am not envious. Oh, well, he likes to go with the Sinister <laughs> Serpent. Good. Which uh I mean I don't I don't hate it. I don't hate the yeah, decision. I don't, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Knowing that uh, knowing that AJT is on a ton of discard traps, maybe cutting him off from that early, but he does have the fodder in hand already in the second option PDs, of though. Thunder Dragon. But just uh and the Knight of Satan as well. That's also a pretty decent yeah. discard fodder. So he's gonna immediately Thunder Dragon up. And let's see how he uh how he likes to attack this one set that is available to Dingo C. Yeah. Let's see here. Has the has the Knight of Salem available to him? Has the Decoichi available to him as well? And then it has the one back row, which, hmm, I wonder what that back row could be. Hmm. Oh, so some good Trinity coming in from the blue corner, Ooh. playing the Pot of Greed and the Delinquent Duo early and often, as you want to see. And he also has a huge idea of what the hand is, uh, and electing to steal, continually rip rip that duo anyway. So, uh... Going for the, du going for the duo. Okay. And... Hits the Night Assailant. And the Thunder Dragon is discarded. Uh, leaving okay. only two cards left in the hand, one being one being Thunder Dragon and the other being a potential, I would say, Tribe Infecting Virus. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would say know. Tribe and Thunder Dragon. Yeah, absolutely never know. Yeah, I mean, if if anybody would set a Tribe face down turn one, it's AJT. I've seen AJT do some stuff that I would never do in a thousand years and have it work out. I've seen yeah, I, this I, man I, set set a, set a Kaiku, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer in front of a Sangin and have it work out. Uh, have the opponent not a, not and, mean, just, and just flip it over and it worked to to a great to a great benefit. And I think it changed the game. So he's a dope player. Upstart Goblin being ripped off here, adding a thousand, flipping the Koichi, getting another draw here. Uh, so he's kind of finding, finding the engine, turning that turbo thing on, making it happen. Let's yep. see if he can find some good training to, to catch up. All right, choo choo, fourteen to the face. Let's go. Coming in, and that's when Decoichi's at its absolute strongest when he's flipped and attacking. Uh, Dingo still not finding um, uh, some monster defense. He got some good training. Yes, have, that's good. Yeah. But he, Fort, but 
Gecko in attack mode is exactly what Dingo wants. He does have two Shining Angel in the main Ooh. deck. He can trade with it and float <laughs> off of it. And, and get a and get a plus, feed that graveyard, grab another attacker, and continue the assault. Let's see if what's gonna happen with this uh set. He's gonna think on it. Hmm. Thinking here. Thinking here, uh, I don't know if he's—he's he's uh, probably that's... indicating that that is a Phoenix Wing Windblast. Yeah, perhaps, he does he have two of them. To does restack. have two. Let's see what he see what he wants to do. Chain this, chain the Phoenix here. Oh, oh it's actually, Ring. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. We all knew that was Ring. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, wrong, it is Ring. Why? 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 <laughs> what, what, what are we thinking? thinking? I'm sorry. We saw the Ring. I, I need, I need to get my coffee. It's too early. We knew it was Ring. I'm just trying to see. It, okay. it, it's <laughs> early in the morning, man. <laughs> it's early. It's early. It is it's the early. Uh, Gravekeeper Spy. Okay, Gravekeeper Spy is going to find another one from the deck. And all let's right. see if Dingo is going to elect to banish. We're going to keep one up. Nope, we're keeping it. That's a negative on the banish. Okay. So yeah, no. We're, is, but, but yeah, no. Babe. Yeah, no. AJT ringing his own deco, trying to deny a potential potential angel here from Dingo. Very interesting play. Yeah. Oh, well, he's sitting there, blue corner thinking about it. Main phase two, you got these spies. And if you're AJ, you can kind of take a little bit of time to have a, a, a breath of, um, a, f a fresh air. You got these spies sitting up and they are defending you while you can kind of restabilize. Dingo came out early, got some of that good Trinity in, Pot of Greed, Delinquent Duo. They both were very effective, but now you're kind of hanging tight, getting some more cards. Maybe you can turn your Chaos Engine on. Maybe you can get some stuff absolutely rolling and, and turn this game right around. But you're still up in life points. You're not so far down in cards. Actually, I think you just tied it up in cards. So you're feeling you're feeling fine if you're AJT the way that this game is 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 working oh but there's a board this board's got an answer for all this stuff he's like yep. i'm coming down i am the board go. i am and going hit, to gonna hit gonna the decoichi and gonna attack into the spy and that will go through okay all right and that's, and that's why that's why I think Zaborg is so so slept on, so powerful. Just for that, what was able to just happen, especially in this Chaos Turbo deck, uh, he can come out, pop the set, swing over a spy, and still have that yeah, beefy he's body. Yeah, with there. a tribe and a Thunder Dragon in his hand, so he can answer the Zaborg. Doesn't have a solemn. All right, hey, we're getting some feedback that the, that we can, they can hear us, but the stream is still not being seen. So let's see if we can get that fixed. Sorry, everyone. Hopefully, our anim animated oh. details were able to uh, able to fix that. But uh, we can get someone to uh, to change that. The screen is still showing uh, metamats, but our we are able to paint a beautiful picture with our words. Hopefully, you guys didn't miss too much. We will get that fixed immediately. It is happening right now. Okay, okay, hopefully that is good. Now, let's see it. <laughs> Alright, but he's gonna ditch the thunder, he's gonna ditch the thunder dragon uh, to for a tribe's effect, but Book of Moon will find the Zaborg. The Book of Moon will set the Zaborg, the, uh, the Thunder Monarch, and uh, now AJT has a decision to make. Will you, uh, will you declare an attack on this Zaborg? Ooh, or, let's see. They book him. Hmm. Will you declare that attack? Is it worth it? Is it? I mean, I guess you have no choice. You have you have to kind of remove this thing from the field. If you don't, he's going to flip and he's going to be swinging. But let's see how AJT elects to break it down. Ooh. Gonna go into attack mode. Gonna go with. Gonna go in with both of them. One with both. And, and hit. Mirror force. Got hit by the yeah, mirror a, force. Ooh. Double, double dip. Double damage. Trying to go in with both in case one of them doesn't connect and gets hit with the punish. And Dingo getting his third piece already with the graceful off the top. 
Okay. Okay. We are still working the stream. It should be coming up. We are on a delay. It should be coming up soon. Uh, thank you everyone for reaching out, letting us know that the stream is not up right now. Uh, I'm trying my best to get some to get to get that fixed. Is it okay? So yeah, we're it's it's where we're just on a slight delay. So thank you everyone. Uh, we do apologize for that. Please continue to uh, blame me. I'll take full responsibility for that. Uh, it is my fault. I will eat that. I apologize, Goat World. It's uh it's uh, it is it is what it is. We we have got it fixed. Thank you. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. That's there is a there's yep. a delay. But hopefully, uh, you guys were able to follow the game with our beautiful commentary provided by Planches over here. He's 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 making it happen. So uh, to catch you guys all up to speed, hopefully it should be coming in now. AJT is down uh, two cards on the field, one card in hand. That one card is in fact a thunder, or it's not a thunder dragon. We don't know what that is, and uh, we have. Uh, he's got this Zaborg. The Zaborg is actually doing a lot of work Zaborg in this matchup right now. Uh, we have AJT who has played none of the good Trinity, and uh, Dingo has completed the cycle and played all of the good Trinity cards and yeah, flipped the Koichi. cards in. Flip, Flip's going to go ahead and add another one to hand, and now he's got this full body Koichi. He's got this uh, Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, bearing down. That's a whole bunch yep. of damage. 3,800 damage. Gonna, that's Ooh. a Pro Storm. Pro Storm. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have oh. no choice but to Wing Blast this Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, and we're going to just ring Ooh, it up. Oh, we're going to ring it. Get, to get max damage out of it instead of stacking the deck. I uh, probably ran some some quick analysis and elected that. Hey, that's not the, and not the best Dingo thing to do. And still has a normal summon, and that's going to yeah, do it. That's going to go ahead and do it. That's going to secure this game uh, for and the blue corner. that's one. Ooh, man, uh, that that is how it goes sometimes. Dingo had some great rips. AJT got behind early and just could not uh, stabilize. Those spies were good for a time, but AJT didn't uh, didn't have yeah. the complete the complete time to uh, to to stabilize enough to yeah uh, to make it happen. The spies help, but they can only help so much when you're staring down a twenty four hundred beater. Like Zaborg is just so strong. Especially in this deck that Dingo is running. It just the power of Zaborg, especially against Turbo, just being able to not only not only pop a monster, but also deny a flip effect. Oh it's, man, just, it's great. It's great. Oh, it's it is so good. It is nasty. He can pop and he can swing. You know that's in that's that's that I think people if he if his effect said oh this guy when he's summon he can pop but he can't use his attack this turn that'd be a whole different card probably not nearly as good but this guy is coming out popping and he's swinging so that's a built in oh yeah two, plus, absolutely. that's a plus that's a built in that's a built in plus two sometimes you know and that's that's incredible that's an incredible card I don't know why it's not used as much as it should be I think that card should be way way more you use way he more heavily than it is actually it's not a plus because you got to tribute you got to tribute a guy to get it out but you know what i'm saying it's 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 a high value card that can swing games as just demonstrated all right so the stream should be up folks thank you all like i said you guys are the are the technical support team out there uh i, I we to, to to manage that i think we should be good now let me know if you guys are good and it should be coming on very soon. We are back. Here it is. I think I think we're we're finally caught up. Very nice. Thank you guys. Much appreciated. Thank you for hanging on tough with us throughout throughout all of that, not just bailing and uh, throwing tomatoes at the stream and, and getting out of here. We really appreciate it. Much love all around. All right. So AJT opened this thing up with some good Trinity. Okay, ripping that delinquent duo right away. Love to see it. Starting right. with delinquent duo is um it's uh it's it's really good i would say okay. we hit a nobleman hitting nobleman and we're okay. going to pitch the pitch the solemn Ooh, judgment it's just solemn very okay. interesting okay. and, and planche planche you know this as a as a as a war league participant uh we've run a lot of stats over there there's a lot of numbers a lot of metagame that we do and when delinquent duo is played your winning percentage goes up to almost 70 72 percent is what what it what turned out to be when you play the lingua duo on the very first turn your winning percentage of that game goes up to 72 almost 72 percent which is crazy yeah, turn one duo is just is so strong just yeah, having less resources off the gate is so debilitating it's it's rough so i oh, yeah. I, I hate it i think that's that's one of my worst worst parts about about our format game duo turn one Going going second, being duoed on you is is, is just a, is a terrible feeling. 
but you know it is part of the game we gotta take it you love it you love the parts you love you hate the parts you hate and the love outweighs the hate and just keep rocking with it so you deal with it um but if you're ajt you gotta love that so you got your duo down and you got your spies out out early and often and you got your graveyard essentially set up as well so you're feeling great if you are the turbo player this is exactly where you want to be kind of hanging out you know doing your thing but it's not as good as it normally is because guess what dingo does have access to these dang zaborg uh zaborgians and then come out and do some do some violence man so uh oh hello. oh <laughs> the hello, <Jinzo. laughs> But How Jinzo are you down. doing today, Mr. Jinzo? <laughs> Jinzo is out and out and available out here. The uh, Android cyborg mechanism is out here negating look, traps and doing I, his I, thing. The ball beauty said, himself. Yeah, well, guess what, JDZ? Um, yes? Dingo isn't the only one that has access to a 2400 beat stick. <laughs> hey, oh, the... the <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yeah. AJ is a, is a big believer in the Jinzo. He believes in the Android. Okay. This car was, when I played way yeah. back in the day, Jinzo was a staple. Okay. It, Jinzo it, was a yeah. must, a must have. And so much so, I think that's why I got, I mean, obviously it's very powerful, but he got limited to one uh, for a reason because this car was played heavily. Okay. And it kind of fell out of favor for a long time and it's slowly starting to come back. Everyone's playing a lot of trap yeah. cards, so Jinzo can come out and shut all that down. AJT electing to bring that in in this matchup. Tribe Infecting Virus has stuck as well. Let's see if he's going to activate that effect, and he will oh, pitching yeah. the Sin Serpent with priority. Clearing that DD Warrior Lady, swinging all willy nilly. Yeah. This is a this is a willy nilly swing. We got that Jinzo. Oh yeah. yeah, you're just cool and confident, swinging in with that 24 yeah. beefy all day long. Uh, but Jinzo does attract Snatch still. Let's see if if Dingo can fulfill that curse. Yeah. Jinzo gets snatched heavily. That's a heavily snatched oh, item. Oh yeah. Let's see if that if that is what is about to go down. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> it's just in. Yeah, it's just in the case where you can't take it out. <laughs> it's just sitting I, there. Oh yeah, I, I like. Uh, dude, I'm. I'm a big fan of Jinzo. I don't know. No one uses it anymore. I think this card is a sleeper. Use Jinzo. Oh. I, I remember. I remember in my local area, uh, people play at Jinzo heavily. People play at the dark, a dark ruler Hades heavily. That card was like played. No one plays any of those cards anymore. Tribute monsters just too slow. They brick too hard. Oh, mind too, control too on painful. the tribe. Okay. Okay. We, we, this is we, not we're bad. Still in it. Still in we're it. Still... And yeah. let's see what happens here. We're gonna have to. You're gonna have to waste your whole hand probably yeah. here to clear both of these things because if you do not, tribe can come back and he's threatening lethal damage as well. With the Jinzo. Mom, I wanna. Mom, I wanna summon magical android. <laughs> Son, we already have magical android at home. <laughs> what you get this <laughs> is what you get oh man let's see let's see here what did... we'll see let's see how he breaks it down he's going to ditch okay. he's going to pitch he's uh, going to pitch. pitch oh wait no no oh, he's calling aqua he's he's, he's calling, calling aqua, aqua leaving the jinzo alive aqua leaving jinzo and he's going to summon bazoo is he's it going to summon bazoo is it? Will we see a bazoo coming? Oh no! Never mind. Oh no! We're see the no, black no, luster. No. The soldier BLS. with black luster is on the board. He's like, "Hello, Jinzo. How are you doing?" That's Pryo. And he's Attack. swinging in. That's one. Oh. Can't stop that one. But Hunt's you could probably blazing. stop this one. Let's see if three thousand is going to connect. One? Let's see it. And the champ's thinking about it. The champ's got the thing. The thinking emoji is active and used. Let's see if this is going to be wing blast. Wing blast wouldn't be that wouldn't be that bad here because you could set that set that turn back and BLS would be dead on board. Cannot bring it back out next turn, so that's a complete negation of a draw phase if it is played. But let's see if yeah. the champ decides to uh, decides to do that. Dingo has a second solemn. That's also online too, though. Ooh, let's see. Or return for that matter, but return isn't enough damage. Unless Let's this attack it. goes through. If this attack goes through, it's exactly 61. Oh, man. So that's If 31. this attack goes through, it's exactly <laughs> lethal. Oh. Okay. He, no, he did not, not have the return. Lethal. He just let it go and he ends over and throws I'm, it back I'm, over I'm to I'm on crazy pills. I was looking at a Thunder Dragon in his graveyard. 
He did have okay. the he did have the he did have the wing. He did have he the did wing. Have, he did have the wing. Elected not to uh not to not to use it and taking My that damage instead. Probably playing around exactly what you mentioned, uh Planchy. Uh if you if you don't do that, you just die to return right there. Yeah. So maybe that was the idea to not get blown out by return right away. And that's what return does. That's why it's such a good car. It makes your opponent play so much differently than they would ever do in any other situation. So I think that is a, that is a great move on on AJT because had he had wing blasted there, but still you protect yourself in three thousand, so you wouldn't die. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know. We're going to card D here. Oh, that is a four. beefy card destruction. Look at that. So huge. So nice. Getting good value oh. out of that card destruction for four. Uh, discarding a bunch dragons, of a nonsense. serpent and a sakuretsu. Wow. Just a bunch of nonsense into some great value. Let's see if he can uh, pimp that value on to some more uh, some more sick cards. Can he close it out? Can he get to game three? He cannot. Not he's yet. going to go ahead and set. End phase and he's going tornado. To hitting the wing it's blast. It's another wing blast. This is a free. This is another free chance. Oh, but he's going to go ahead and it up. scooped it up. Why would you scoop it oh, up there? Okay, that's that's an interesting scoop up. Huh. That's, a, that's yeah. an interesting scoop up. Uh, he, I think yeah, that's a premature AJ scoop. He was out of Thunder Dragons. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of scooping in general, but I'm definitely not a huge fan of scooping in the World Championship because anything that's... can happen. I don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of that of that scoop in that situation. Maybe the game was I don't already sealed. And the context of that. Maybe he maybe. Uh, maybe he didn't realize that the Thunder Dragon had already been utilized from uh, from AJT, and maybe he thought he was just sacked for Thunder Dragon next turn and, and went. Unless I'm missing something, maybe yeah. he did have Thunder Dragon in hand. But I'm pretty maybe. sure all three Thunder Dragons yeah. were used because they were in the they were got card destructed they away. Were, yeah, they were. They were all in the graveyard. Yeah, so that was uh, that was an interesting scoop. But you know what? Yeah, I don't understand what was going on there. These these things do happen. He probably just didn't want to didn't want to drag it out. There is no time in these events, so he could have played it out just to get more uh more information of what the opponent sets at what time. I don't know. The decks are exposed too, so I don't know. Interesting scoop there from from Dingo. But now we're going into game 3. Dingo will be going first. Maybe he thought there was another Dekoichi and that plus Serpent was was lethal and he couldn't stop it with the card in his hand. Still, just see it through. I mean, just see it through. It could have been, yeah, it could have been yeah. Night Assailant, or it could have been, you could know, been something. And he didn't. Could have been Magician. Have yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It takes, uh, it, takes, it takes just a second, but it's all good. These things happen. You live and you learn. You move on. You know, you shake it off. Short term memory. These guys are here, and right. guess where I'm at? I'm here. We, you and I, Planchy, we're sitting here. And we're you guys both are, here. Yes, <laughs> we're both we're both on the sideline. So it's very easy to sit on the sideline yep. and be like, oh, what I would have did this, I would have did that. But you're not in the, you're not there. They are there, and we are here for a reason. But he's gonna come out with some, some of that good Trinity game right away. Starting off with the graceful charity. Let's see what those discards right. are going to be. Throwing the return away. Turn right, right away. Get it out of here. Don't need it. Can't have it. Don't want it. Trash it. Don't need it. Not necessary. Trash it. Toss There's it an... into the Binsky. Unnecessary. There's another one in the back. I'll be fine. Let's see. Uh, the, uh, and there's the other one that's in the back. <laughs> All right. So we're like, so return, return is. <laughs> All right. So he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm playing a return deck, and I have yeah, no need for this card. I, I guess, uh, I guess I was heard. <laughs> be away from me. All right. This, so, I do not want this card. I will not be playing right. return today. Surf swords, tribes, sork. TT and Snatch Deal in the hand for AJ. AJT here. What okay. have we got? Oh. Okay, this hand is uh this hand is looking uh looking very uh I would say very reactive as well. With, oh yeah. With, you can't very really slow hand. It can't really yeah, do much. Can't, can't really do much with this hand. Uh yeah. looking at it the way it is. Yeah. What 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 are you thinking here? What what do you think uh Dingo's think gonna I'm send back? I think he got it. I think he might continue the same thing from last time and just continue to send that send a serp right on back to yeah, the deck. Yeah, you, you think he opponent. sends a serp? I think he sends a serp because I think uh, I think swords tribe serp discard is probably probably too strong right now. Yeah, uh, I think he also serps. sends a serp here. Yeah, 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 see, yeah, yeah. That seems that seems right. Serp seems really strong in this situation yeah. due to how they, slow this game's gonna be. 
for a little bit. Can't really do much. And I'm telling you, I, every time, every single time I play Turbo, which isn't that often, I always open Tribe. I'm I'm telling you, and I'm I'm on a crazy island by myself, but I don't think Tribe's that good in Turbo. I really don't. I think Whoa. you have enough card. I, I, that's my hot take of the day. Because just for Whoa. this reason, I hate getting that card in my hand to start the game off because it can't do anything. It's just sitting there as an idiot, you know, just in your hand. I hate it. Or like, uh, take, take that back, you know, <laughs> take it back. You can get back all you on this drop right now, but I still, hey. I still don't like it. This doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good to me. I don't know uh, what car would be better in this situation, but I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but I could be wrong, but it's going to ditch the, uh, the dead chaos sorcerer sword? to, okay. and that's, that's essentially, you know, still kind of a, kind of a, Kind of a neg one, yeah, because you discarded a real car and that spy was just a plus anyway. So it's uh it's less than a uh, I mean it's I mean it's a it's a one for one, but still it's it's yeah, uh, I, I I don't I don't like the way I don't like the way that I, mean, I don't like the way that feels. I don't you, like the way that feels. You use two cards to deal with two cards. Yeah, and essentially. It's, yeah, it's I don't but, uh I and it does, I can't I can't feel good I can't feel good but anyway you know this is the this is the champ you know what I'm saying he he's been here before he's played thousands and thousands and thousands of high contested rated matches so I'm sure he uh I'm sure he doesn't doesn't know doesn't mind and, so ooh, no one is taking assailant. out the top deck night assailant Dingo can't really do much besides chill AJ with torrential and snatch deal in hand and then that monster That's came off the top. That's up another monster and it likes to it likes to pause here. Draws one, sending that sword to the graveyard. Sword's Time has gone. expired. Lifts the uh, spy. Gets a, okay. Gets a spy. Let's see if AJ what, 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 what position that he's going to elect to put this spy into. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking face, meditation, viewing deck, looking for that gravekeeper spy. Thinksman, we're gonna go into defense. Okay, keeping lo keeping the defense up. Okay, not a bad slow idea. Slow and steady, slow and steady. All right. And the oh, king tiger is down. Okay, king tiger. Like thinking here, so now we're in the thinking position from the blue corner. Thinking about okay. maybe playing a torrential tribute. Well, maybe playing. Uh, let's see what happens here. How he's going to. What what's going to be the response we, to the summon of this here? King Tiger? He's thinking about it. A little meditation, a little guided meditation. Hmm. Um. <laughs> a little guided, a little guided med meditation. Oh, when the tribute is torrential. Oh, that is a TT power TT. Uh, Alex, is... Alexis that... Wu, Alexis Wu asks if you can use card destruction when your opponent does not have a hand. Yes, you absolutely yes. can. As long as yes. one player has at least one card in their hand, you can play card destruction. Great question. Thank you for asking. Anyone has questions, let us know. We can probably answer them as they come about. Yeah, go. And this is yeah. This is a this is a go format specific rule. Every every ruling I talk, I'm only talking to go format. I do not know how to play any formats beyond or uh, beyond go format. So it's all. Uh, if it changed later on. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting you, uh, giving you wrong, wrong gas, giving you some bad gas, but in go for Matt, you definitely can. That is how that goes. Okay. So AJT after hitting that extremely beefy torrential tribute, uh, he is Kinda in a in a set position, throwing it over. Yeah. Dino has Dingo a ton has a of cards, bunch of cards on him. Bringing Going down the warrior lady. The warrior lady from the different dimension has landed again, bearing down this set. Let's see if it goes Get through. Here. Playing Nobleman around its French tribute uh, the by serpent by not uh, by summoning first and then playing the nobleman to cross out, and he's going to punch in for the fifteen hundred points of damage. I, I, if that was a torrential, I think I probably would have, I probably would have just ripped it right there. But yeah, that especially might especially with the serpent on the board. Yeah. yeah, I would have just pulled the trigger on that thing. But maybe AJ yeah. didn't wanna, didn't wanna, didn't wanna do that. Okay, the delinquent duo. All right, has that's, a duo. That's a nice catch-up card. Always gonna be a plus one if and oh. when it does resolve. 
Is Dingo thinking about protecting the hand here? Let's see it. This could be this, this could be the play. We could see a solemn judgment come down. Dingo does have access to that card. Let's see if yep. it is played. Does run triple. And he does Let's have see it. yeah. AJT also has a snatch deal in the hand still. So let's see how Dingo responds to this. Definitely taking his time. Definitely taking his time. Really thinking about this delinquent duo. Heavily That's... valuing the two cards <laughs> in his hand here. It must be some heat. He must got some absolute yeah. bangers sitting I, in the grip. Yeah. The longer he thinks about this duo, I think the more likely he is to to flip the old man and say no. That's that's a that's a pivotal. This is a pivotal decision making point. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is this, 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 this is where Tim does, does it. He does there, it. there he goes. He does. <laughs> He's gonna protect it. Thirty-two hundred. There, there, there's, there, there's some real heat going on here. He's so gonna he protect had, the warrior lady too and the life points. He had the uh, he had the answer to the snatch deal with the mystical space iPhone. He wanted to protect the two cards in hand. They must be some juicy, juicy cards. Sack it up for the Zaborgian. Oh, the Zaborg is down board. again. This card has been given AJT fits all day long. His let's yeah. see if the torrential comes the down. Torrential is down right now. But if he plays it, that BLS is going to jump out that hand so fast, and it is alive and well online. Yeah, it, and there is a yeah. That DD Warrior Lady is the light that he needed. That is, and it was played. The torrential is down. Oh, there Let's it see is. if the BLS is the follow up. And there it is. The one light, the one dark, the BLS. Will we get a BLS return for game right here? Will return be played only, as well? Will ring be played? Returns. Oh, that's right. He, 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 he discarded them early on. They, they are both gone. I am smoking. So okay. he's, down, he's down to nine hundred. Ring of Destruction, perhaps, could be another car in this equation. Uh, Ring of Destruction is also gone, so I am also still tweaking. He does not have access to that car. Okay, so BLS is on the field. AJT, 900 life points, one card in hand. Let's see how he can respond. This is looking grim for the champ. This is not looking good. He is rattled. Yep. He is Just on the ropes right now. Looking at uh, looking at getting knocked down into the losers bracket. But by top Dingo decks Sick. the chaos sorcerer. Wow, this is wow. chaos sorcerer. What are the chances? This is chaos sorcerer, and it is live. And, and he it goes through and... with the <laughs> prior. Oh it my works. goodness! Oh, but, but he Dingo did have a snatch has deal. the snatch okay. deal. Okay. Oh and wow! Through with game three. Wow, 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 Ooh. what a match. Dingo had way too many answers, way too many cards. That is a <laughs> the crazy answers. game. What a top deck. AJT wow. almost pulled it off. Very impressive game. That almost Smash deal had it. was at the right place at the absolute correct time. He just had too wow. many answers for what AJT was trying to do. Great game. Great Ooh, match. Very great but, game. But again, it is not over until it is over. Like I said, you Absolutely. cannot be eliminated from this event until you hit the admit defeat button two times in a in a deciding game. All right, we're gonna. It sounds like we're gonna swing by and check out the Insidious one playing the Chaos Control deck. Insidious is playing against J4D. John D. Wick. Let me see if I can get in there. No, not not uh, J uh, Four Druin is his name. J Four Druin. Uh, a John D Wick. John D Wick. J Four Druin. J Four Druin. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We are in this game. It looks like it is going into game two with J Four Druin going down to Insidious. Uh, the first game. Again, this is a uh, Chaos Chaos Turbo. It's playing against Chaos Control. And I did a power ranking video a couple days ago, and I am just eating my words because I was like, hey, Chaos Control is is dead. I, th I thought it was just not, not good in the game anymore. But Insidious is making me eat those words. But I did also mention that if you want to play this deck, you have to dedicate a tremendous amount of time. And Insidious has done that. He plays this deck exclusively. He plays it very well. He's been playing this game for an extremely long time. Uh, he knows how to how to do it. So uh, keep that in mind when you go to play this deck because it is a very powerful deck if you know what you're doing with it. And Insidious is doing that by making a deep run in this event. So, Oh, uh, absolutely. We... Five control so... decks representing the top 16 today. Okay. 
And we got uh we got J4 representing the Chaos Kings going first. Going ahead and throw one in sideways position and throw it over to the blue corner, who is going to respond to that by discarding a Thunder Dragon of their own. Okay, so this is game this is game two, from what I understand. Uh the game one was a deck out, apparently. So Insidious uh used uh used the Chaos Turbo's strength as his weakness and uh ran J4 Drew in out of cards in a deck out situation. So Thunder Dragon Grace of Charity is exactly how you want to start any game. That is a very powerful combination of cards to discard Thunder Dragon, play Grace of Charity, and then have the free and available discard fodder. Love to see that if you are the blue corner. Electing to discard all three of the Thunder Dragons along with that Grace of Charity. Let's see if we got another dope follow up. Yes, you do. That we do. That is, duo. That, is that is a Thunder Dragon Charity into a delinquent duo. That is a sick way to start a game in the World Championship. Oh man! I'm telling you, I'm with that. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Uh, you gotta. You, sometimes you gotta. You got the cards. You gotta play them. Okay, show, so J all right. Show me the so greedy J boy. Show so, me so the J greedy boy. J J Ford Druin electing to extend the game and go into that metamorphosis package to kind of play against the control deck, get into a control mirror. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure about that plan against against the against the control deck. I think you want to lead more on your turbo stuff and try to get to the game faster than your opponent. Slowing yourself down, playing the control player's game is what I what what I wouldn't want to do. I'd want to I want to speed speed through, but maybe he feels comfortable with that in this matchup and elected to do that. So uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, enter main phase one. Down down uh down pretty bad so far, just based on some good training that went down. All right, we got a, we got a spy flipped spy. up here. Yeah, spy spy being flipped is is pretty dope, and he does main deck three mind controls, which I think was an absolute banger of a call, and probably walked him through a lot of these turbo mirrors that he had to face. So I, maybe he put the metas and stuff in there to kind of remove those in these matchups because they aren't as good as they are in the turbo stuff. Uh, so maybe that's probably why. But he did bring that nobleman across out in. He's going to activate it on this three star fiend uh -huh. monster. And uh, punch in for twelve hundred. It looks like, and that will. Will it go through? It will. Well, it does. It, will connect. it does. See, we got main phase two. Oh, nothing much. Just passing it back. Okay. Okay. All right, the breaker is out. Let's see. Breaker is going to thumbs up. So that means that summon is is fine. We're gonna break All break right. on this uh, on this set card. Let's see what it is. Bro, two monsters on the board. It's going to be none other than Regeki right, break. Regeki okay. break. Red corner is going to go ahead and elect to use this flipping out that night assailant. Uh, doesn't have a flip effect monster to retrieve with his effect, but Not Breaker yet. will find himself into the graveyard. Now the light and dark for the for the red for the blue corner is established. Chaos is live. I say again, chaos is live. Still no right. lights for the red corner though. Red corner is drawing here, uh, down still, but it's kind of kind of stabilizing a little bit. You know what? We're gonna turn up the pressure yep. and elect to yep. poke in with both of these spies doing twenty four hundred points. Of direct damage to life points of the blue corner. Yep. And Insidious is just going to eat all of that and uh and and, and be fine with that. Yeah, the spies have a really good stat line. Twelve hundred is nothing to yeah. slouch at. It, it'll Get run the game down. It'll it'll run the game down pretty quick. That's another uh that's another benefit of the great keeper spy. Probably one of the best normal summons in our current game right now. Everyone's finding great value out of these things, but even better value is this tribe infected virus. Oh Sticky. absolutely. Here we go. And we're going to discard one, pop both of these things, send them both to the graveyard, and try to punch in for 1,600 points of damage. And that also connects. Uh, so All right. Tribe doing its thing, getting some value. Getting Day some four, Druin oh. is not feeling good. He is going to draw. Getting some chip damage in. Getting a, getting a good shuffle. Still hasn't seen any Trinity pieces yet. 
that's one sideways and then throw it back over to the blue corner and see this has to be feeling kind of good he's up a significant amount of cards and he's just kind of doing his thing staying in control grinding 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 uh getting to the getting to uh get trying to just trying to find uh maybe some chaos stuff let's see it see what we got has the light and dark available Oh, he's got the main oh. deck. He's got the side deck mind control. Bringing those in. Here we go. Turbo. It's going Let's for the see mind it. cons. See what we got. I'm going to hand it over. What is going to be? It's going Ooh, to be the Koichi. So you're going to get some. getting another draw. Getting your value back right away, which is cool. You don't mind it. You would have loved to have to be a magician of faith, but hitting the, hitting the Koichi wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Denying all the, uh, denying all the pluses. All the advantage. Going in for another 16. Just taking taking shot after shot here. Okay, just eating it. He's got no choice. He's gotta he's gotta snack on it. He's gotta just just take it. In phase. Throw just it over. Eat it. Eat nom, it. Nom, nom. This is this is worlds. We're serious broadcasters. <laughs> oh man. Oh dude, this is rough. This is rough. Uh, I, I, I feel yeah. I, Shade's still looking for anything here. Anything, anything to get going. To get something going. Any type of momentum. Anything at all. Minecon on the Mine top. Con. He kept oh, the name, that, but that's, that's oh, not that's what just, you want. Oh, that's that can't just, feel good. That's just... Oh, that's just rough. And then you gotta discard another car if you want to go Going ahead and remove that. Going for some that. damage. But swinging in first is really intelligent because if you okay. do uh, if All you right. do proc a mirror force, you will, in fact, blow up your opponent's tribe and fake virus. So that's not the worst the worst thing. So he's gonna swing in first and potentially uh, discard to um, destroy tribe and fake virus if he feels so inclined. And Sinus is thinking about it here. Thinking about it because yeah, J J four Druin is down, but he is not out, and those life points are a factor. And at the end of the day, everyone likes to get cute and not consider life points, but the objective is to remove life points from the game and make them zero. So if you can do that, you can still win. It doesn't matter how many cards you have at the end of the day. So he's oh, thinking absolutely. about it here. He's thinking about it, meditating, dwelling on it. Dwelling on it, and he's gonna go ahead and eat that damage and pitch the card destruction oh, in order card to destruction. Pop, pop the tribe infecting fire. City is still way ahead on cards right now. Okay, and this is just and, going to oh, push that, push that even more. Uh, push the over agenda, this, taking over the Dekoichi, and he's gonna punch in for fourteen hundred points of life point direct damage to Ace's health. Okay, so Whoa. Ace is now being clocked and timed. I would say uh, a heavy storm would be great for Ace right now. Or excuse me, uh, not Ace. I'm going to say Ace. For, uh, for it, J4. It, it, what am I talking about? For uh, J4, Drew, I'm tripping. For, uh, for J4 right now, if he can find a heavy storm, that would be JDC, great. JDC, come on. <laughs> Uh, come, 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 on, I, come on, man! I read, I read, I read Ace. I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading some chat stuff, and I read Ace, and I was thinking Ace. I don't know, something on my brain. But anyway, uh, if he can find a heavy storm, that would be great to kind of just slow this game down, man. You need to, you need to, you need to find a way to halt the action. Uh, but making that play, Insidious is no slouch. I think he he has access to Sukiyomi right now, I believe. So um, even if even if you do find a heavy storm, he'll probably just suit that thousand eyes down and punch you in the face for eleven, and then continue to play that game that way. So, I don't know. Bad spot for bad spot for J4 Druin. Let's see if he can pull it out. Anything can happen. He still hasn't found any of those good Trinity cards. You know, pot charity, BLS stuff, stuff like that does happen. Here's Tribe Figure Five. Okay, vibes. Tribe. What's your discard though? Oh, it's breaker. breaker. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yikes! Ooh. Yikes, baby. And uh, we're gonna punch in for I mean, 16. Let's punch. see if that connects. Okay, scapegoat. we're gonna get some scapegoats. Okay, so scapegoats, and there is no uh, positive discard for the red corner to uh, to effectively use. And he's gonna elect to not attack and just leave all those ghosts, which isn't the worst play. It's I like the worst that. thing. 
they're all just there. And oh, and Sukiyomi... Sukiyomi... to remove the tribe. Yep. Yeah, so as as predicted, yes. uh, Sukiyomi was available for the blue corner, and now yep. we are here. Uh, Chaos Control, this is exactly what Chaos Control wants to do. They just want to be up in cars. They want to grind you down. They want to stall the game and they want to make it happen. They, this is how they, this is the, this yep. is the plan. They just they and, just want they just want to break your spirit. Yeah. Uh and City is, is oh. executing the game plan. And but he's still I mean he's not down. He's down, but he's not out. You know, I just want oh, yeah, to sit. absolutely. He still has a chance. This he, is this just, is where J4 This is where J4 wants to live. This is where he wants to this is where he wants to be, just kind of stalling it out. Finding your good Trinity, you need it now. You want to turn your chaos stuff on soon, because uh, your chaos turbo is not turboing. Doesn't feel good. And we're just sitting here, you know, getting getting picked apart by Sukiyomi's and you know doing that. But you're just drawing. You're chilling. You're big league chilling. Insidious is also big league chilling. But somewhere in the back of his mind, he's got to be thinking, "Oh man, I got to get something going." Playing another oh, good Trinity. Oh, there's piece. the pot of greed. Completing the cycle. J4 has he's not got started all three yet. Pieces hasn't seen. J4 hasn't seen a <laughs> single thing. But you got to be thinking at some point, you got to be like, man, I got to make something happen. And there's one. There you one go. Piece there's has, one. Has started. This could there's be what it takes piece. to this. This could be what it takes to kind of swing the pendulum back to the red corner, uh, playing that grace of charity, thinking about these discards. Discarding okay. the discarding magician of faith, discarding night assailant, so getting Nine more Salem. value. From that, uh, from that grace of charity. Now, what do you that night assailant bring will back trigger? with the night assailant? Do you loop him, or do you keep? The... Uh, I think he's gonna loop him. I think he, he might be. Him. He might be looping, or he might go back for the. F but you got to leave that. You, I, got, you gotta leave that faith. That's a light. Though. That's, that's, that's a light. Your light. Faith that's is gone. Light. Leave, leave the faith. I'm grabbing anything else except for the faith because you want to keep that yeah, light right where it light. is. Yeah, that's a light. Yeah, this, this is, this is, this is a tough decision i mean you can loop them but how much value are you going to get from looping them at this stage of the game i don't know let's see he's thinking about it he's thinking on target still and he's gonna he, he is, is going to loop them he is, gonna, he loop. is gonna loop them and we do know that he plays multiple multiple i think max copies of the regeki break in that uh in that deck so maybe looping those things early keeping them in rotation and he does find the Thunder Dragon as well. Okay, so he does have lights. Okay. Let's see it. Card destruction has already been discarded earlier on, so that yeah, will be a nice use card destruction. A strong card destruction if he had it, but he does not. So thinking about it, Insidious did deck out uh, J4 game one. J4 is still just kind of sitting here, allowing it to happen. You know, staying in, fighting along, chugging along, singing his song, doing his thing, not giving up. And this is what you got to do. Oh, there's Decoichi. So we're going to hard summon that Decoichi. And City said, enough is enough is enough. I got to start pushing some damage across the board win. to my opponent. You got to win. Because you sit here, if you just sit and continue to allow the turbo player to draw cards over and over and over again, eventually they're going to draw some good stuff. He's got 18 left in the yeah. deck. If you let turbo just do turbo things, bad yeah. things are going to happen. <laughs> eventually, eventually. So he's got to start clocking him, bringing down his Decoichi and electing to just swing right into him with 1400. Uh, the Decoichi is doing its thing. Let's see what J4 is going to do. He's going to play this oh, heavy storm. Heavy storm. Wow, wow, wow. He's, this oh. could, this, this, this might, let's see if that's going to resolve. He's going. This, I mean, is, is there a world? What's, ooh. what's, uh, what's, uh, what's BLS over this Decoichi? How much damage is that? That's, that's 1600. That's not enough on its own. And uh and Ring of Destruction is still a card that is available for the uh yeah. for the red corner. Let's see how how this thing how yeah shakes mm -hmm. down. Thinking about it though. I don't know what we're thinking about here. Think about Book of Moon Book on of Moon the Dekoichi. On the Dekoichi. And that is fine. He is fine with that. Uh, oh, one yeah. of those mind controls would be crazy if you had that available right here to just set it and get it. Oh, and City has had a ring. And it is the Nomen of Cross out. Set it to be knocked isn't the worst All thing. All right. Yeah. Tribe is gone for Dra for J4. Long gone. Yeah, two TDs and an NA. 
and one unknown in the hand. Uh, how? So, okay, so we heavy and set one. What is this one back row? Is the question that we're trying to establish. We just we we just heavy to get the back row out. Hmm. We know the hand here, as Insidious is typed out. As well. Oh, I've been muted this whole time. Over here talking to myself, all muted. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? Am I back? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm over hi, here hi, just. Hi, hi, hi. I'm like, oh, dude, I'm over here chatting to myself. I'm like, Planchy, you are so rude, man. I'm making some. I'm, I'm asking you questions, and I'm like just talking to myself. Yeah, I'm no, I'm, a, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm oh. caring. I'm like, dude, okay. where, where's JDC? Like, <laughs> hey, I'm, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, okay, we're back. My I, shoulders I some... hurt. Like, where, where yeah, are you? I'm man? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, I had some great analysis that I was just spitting to myself. No one will ever hear it. Uh, and it's just it's just so unfortunate. I'm so yeah, sorry, come, but we're come, back. Come I was on, muted, man. and now I'm no yeah, longer yeah, muted. Sorry, no, what, yeah, thanks sorry. for uh, thanks for I, I, thanks for carrying me, man. This is your yeah, hard yeah, thing. no. Uh, let's let's hear let's hear some of that. Oh, yeah, what what do you, you know think what? of that? I, what do you think no, of that? Heavy that's play? like that's like that's like recapturing a genie in the bottle. I can't once it's gone, yeah. it's gone. I can't uh, I can't I can't redo that. Uh, that one solo jar of greed, getting some yeah. getting some drawage here. Yeah, what do you think of that heavy play that J Four did a couple turns ago? You know, I, 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 to me, it seemed like he had another play that he wanted to make by making some type of attack on that Dekoichi, but I guess I was incorrect. Um, and he's fine leaving these scapegoats here. He is so fine. Oh, yeah, letting, absolutely. Let them hang tough, hang loose, uh, and do their thing. Yeah, and he, now uh, he's, he's just got Sandian on here, chilling. Big time chilling. But uh, a strong BLS swing over the Sandian could potentially just end the game right now if you can oh, those back row, punch in with bls over this thing it's so hard something in the singing uh that i'm not uh i'm not certain because 14 cards left in the deck there is a good opportunity that bls is one of the of the seven cards in insidious's hand and follow that up with a nice heavy he storm the game could just literally end yeah, right here heavy That's storm it. still in play for insidious as well yes it as, is as well as all three chaos monsters he is on the Chaos Control variant, not Go Control. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. What do we got? Oh, there it what is. We got? Here we go. So the Heavy Storm. Here the we Heavy go. Storm is down. The Heavy Storm okay. is being played. Now we have a Heavy okay. Storm from Insidious. What's going to happen here? Oh, he's oh, going to book we the have, we, have these, we have the same preventive measures. This might okay. not be enough. This one might not be enough, though, if it is the BLS. Yeah, that BLS does not care about that thing being set. He does not care about the position. He only cares about doing the work. He only cares about swinging and swinging more. Hitting and hitting again, declaring that effect and hitting your life points for game. More think. He's saying just don't slow roll the BLS. I, I would I would, I would agree. agree. I would, I would agree. Do I would not agree slow, with uh, if, if you have BLS, summon BLS. Yeah, folks, uh, folks at home, you're watching slow rolling is when you have a game and now you're just trying to style out or do something cool for for whatever clout reasons. Don't do that. It's, it's, it's kind of disrespectful, yeah. especially on this. Just show your it, just just play it. If you got it, just play it and yeah, uh, it, and get and keep it moving. If so you got it, what, uh, you got it. Like. So no man across out is being. Oh, played. yeah, he he has. Does he have Sork? Does he have Chaos Sork? Yeah. I mean, 14 cards left in the deck. He has had at least access you to one seen, chaos monster. You haven't seen a. We haven't seen a single chaos. Nothing. Really? Wow. So that's going to be a pass. You have a knock seen and a pass. A single chaos monster. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And it is the metamorphosis. The metamorphosis uh, has 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 been played. Styles not strict. Activate that effect. It is the Sinister Serpent. El Serpente is out. All right. Okay. And, and again, just nothing. Pass. Okay. He's still just kind of hanging on, just just making it happen. 
no chaos yet for the no chaos yet for the blue card. We're gonna set another one. I believe Sukiyomi is still in the hand of Insidious, so I fully yes. expect a loop still. situation to occur. Okay, yeah. this yep. is the deck. This is what the this, deck does. This, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what it does. You know, that's how it is. That's a that is that is the combo. That is the strategy. So Night Assailant is there going goes to the be other NA. to the uh, to the Thousand Ash Strict. So J4 is in a terrible, terrible, no good, very bad situation. Uh, no good, very bad yeah. situation. So we yeah. have guys, guys D. He's also Mr. P hanging out in the in the winter side, continuing on. I believe that is the the winner of this game will move on to face guys D. I think that one is yes, going to be yes. top four, or that I think that's top two. That'd be winter side, winter side. Yeah, so uh, Sukiyama continuing to do its thing, looping and doing and doing what it does best. Might just be grabbing another serpent here. Let's see what uh, it grabs. It is okay. So we're gonna go ahead and see oh Yoma, no, go ahead, go ahead and hit no, the are... Regeki break, popping the uh, thousand ash trick, breaking that loop. Book of Moon is crazy there too. If that'd have been Book of Moon hitting that Sukiyomi, it's oh, kinda, that's, a, that's a sideways goat lock situation, which is always pretty cool. Uh, I like, I like, to, I like to do that. Um, but we gotta have two two Thunder Dragons in hand. Mind control on the set. What is it going to be? Is it the Sinister Serpent? Oh, what? It, no, it's Sinister Serpent. No, Sinister Serpent in the grave. Oh, that's that's what oh, that's, a that's, right, that's right. Ooh, yikes, baby! Very, very yikes! If you are the blue corner player, so yeah, so Serpent did get discarded. So he knew that that was free and clear. Reading the Thunder Dragons, getting he's back a spell, trying to protect it, grabbing the Pot of Greed, electing to. Uh, just secure two more cards at hand, playing the pot of greed in the main phase two, trying to find a game push here. Uh, J4 uh, Drew in is in a compromised position, feeling vulnerable. Two Thunder Dragons in hand, essentially top deck, and with that spear or Sinister Serpent in the graveyard, we're going to punch in for 1100 damage. Yeah, no ring for Insidious. That got heavied away quite a, quite a long time ago by J4. All right, so if you're J4. Uh, I believe you want to have a, a dope card right now. I would, I would hope for a, uh, I would hope for it. I think he plays Sukiyomi. I believe uh, if he has that, I would, I would be, that would be nice to have. But he doesn't. He's going to go ahead and throw that magician of faith into defense position and uh, throw one up and see what happens. Nine hundred life points to two thousand life points. Oh my goodness! Very vulnerable spot. Eight cards left in the deck, and City of Steel has not played a chaos monster thus far. Uh, still trying to. Get one of those. Uh, feeling feeling sad. We got a teardrop coming down. Uh, I can hear the I can hear the sad songs being played in the background. Some Sarah McLaughlin or something. Some in the eyes of an angel, uh, in the arms of an angel coming out. Uh, the violins are 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 being uh, are, are, are stringing themselves up. Uh oh, it's not feeling good. Oh, the sork is uh -oh. down. Oh, the sork is down. It's Will we go for a game here? In defense, he summons. In defense, okay. we're going for the. Oh yep, we're when we going see to, the we're when we see banish. the old we see the old banish metamorphosis. No, all three metas are in the graveyard. Maybe we get a banish. Nope. Oh, we're just gonna go for Kiko. a kaiku. Okay. 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 Rancho goes crazy. All Hard right. Well, maybe I don't know. Maybe he's got another chaos to play in oh, hand. Oh, we're gonna banish. And do we swing. have a way to stop this? And no, we, do we don't. Okay. That's gonna do G it. Gs for angry Good. bead man. Oh. Takes care of the rest. Unfortunate. Oh no! So oh. he did. He he did. Uh, he did miss the. Uh, he did miss the sinister serpent. That was unfortunate for the. Uh, for the. For the for the red corner. Unfortunate. Not adding that sinister serpent back to hand was. Uh, yeah. You know. Chaos control just needed his chaos monsters to finish everything up. A little, a little light banter in the chat before, uh, before we end this game. But very good duel, very good match. I love seeing Chaos Control doing well. In Cities is playing that deck very strong, and I believe we are now moving into the top eight. Those players who are who, are, who just finished that. So In Cities has now secured his spot, I believe, in the top eight, or maybe that's going into the top four. I, you know what? Let me look at this bracket one more time because I am tripping right now. Big. 
All right. Yeah. So this is the winner's quarters finals. We had guys D defeating defeating uh, Ace. Yeah, guys, guys D defeating Ace. Uh, J4 Druin just losing to Insidious. AJT BLS losing to Dingo Sig. Leo pushing P. Honcho and AJ Hussein are still locked in a clash. On the loser side, we have Bobby Bodega beating Richie. We have Mr. Man uh, and Dark Magician still locking horns down there. Big Llama has been defeated by the Earth Aggro deck. Earth Aggro lives along, lives, continues to live. Ryan Spicer has defeated. Uh, don't copy. Don't copy is eliminated from this event. So still a lot of highly contested games. Guys D and Insidious is where we'll be going next for a control mirror. Hang on tight if you're into this kind of thing. Some people don't like the control mirror. I love watching a good control mirror. Um, I don't know. When are we when are we starting this going? All right. I'm going to uh And I am going to be um taking a taking a little break. Um oh, okay. I will be back. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back later on today. Um, Mascus and JDT will be taking you through the next round of games. Oh, once yeah. Again, the, once again, the... I am not signing off today. I will be back <laughs> later on this afternoon. But for now, it'll Thank be you, JDT and Mascus taking you through this afternoon for the next slate of World's Top 16 action. So we will don't go we anywhere. We appreciate it. We all love you, Matt. We, lo we all love you, Planches. We all love Mass too. Mass is huge, uh, huge fan favorite as well. I look forward to seeing what the man has to say. Okay, Mass, are you here? Are you here right now? Are you here? Can I hear you? Is he here? Is he present? Is he present for duty? Are we live? Okay, Mass is still... Max is still uh, still getting getting his getting his stuff together, putting on his last touches of the beauty makeup. You know, he is a very handsome individual. So we're gonna sit here and wait a little bit while we do that. But in the meantime, let me go uh, let me go use the bathroom real quick. You guys keep let me look let me look at this. Let me check out the stream. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let's see what's happening with this with this thumbs up ratio. Okay, we're at 52 likes. Still 220 people at at least are watching this stream. I need those likes to come on up because it takes a second. Some people are stubbornly looking at the stream, refusing to hit the like button. That is rude. Just push it. Takes literally no time at all. Please help us out. Like this stream. I will be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom and I'm coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. Don't touch that dial. Indeed. I'm here. Mask is here. Coming in live and alive as we're getting ready for the next round of the Go Format World Championships. Top 16, we are going into the winner's side quarterfinals. I believe it's semifinals, actually, in the win. No, I'm, I lie, I lie. Quarterfinals, I believe, yes. You haven't done so already, and you want a little bit more insight on these decks. I mean, all the top 16 decks are available over at www.goformat.com, but we have more insights from some of the, uh, the decks that were actually topping this event from the players themselves. More deck techs are up on the site, provided to you by Spooky. Shout outs again to Spooky here. Got a coverage for uh, Dingo Sig's Chaos Return deck, and then coverage for Geist D's Goat Control deck, what we're gonna take a look at coming up soon. Okay, I have returned. Oh, sorry. Oh, so hey, hello. Hello, hello. Here? It's good to it's good to hear you. It's good to hear your beautiful voice again. Are we are we in? Is the game going? The game's not going just yet. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. the The game should be underway. Okay, guys. D is uh. If you if you don't know who guys D is, he's been absolutely crushing his game for an extremely long amount of time. All right. He has been uh, a, a, a prominent all-star in our in our GOAT format game, especially in current years. The only two-time FLC champion, two-time GSC champion, uh, crushing it. So him uh, go ahead and, and securing the uh, win of the GOAT format world championship will be another crown in his uh, in his in his title belt or whatever you want to call that T title in the crown. You know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. It'll be he'll literally have the belt, you know, at this at this he, point. He so. will have the belt, yes. Yeah, Not if so Sidious has anything to say about this. And I mean, if he has anything to say about this, it's, it's give me two cards from your hand. Starting off strong with a delinquent duo. Ooh, I like to do that. That's how you want to start. That's how you want to start the game. Going first, playing delinquent duo, as you know, as I stated before, it's a very powerful way and to start the game. It's super advantageous here, obviously going first, but I mean, 
Geisty doesn't have cards like Thunder Dragon or Night Assailant in, in his deck. So the the only thing that's like really mitigating the the power of the Liquid Duo for Geist D is having Sinister Serpent. And clearly here didn't open it, just getting rid of Scapegoat. And another card I missed. Uh, uh Scapegoat and Premature Burial. Premature so he's burial. got a, that's a great he's hit. got count, some counter some counter fire though coming back. Okay, so he got the he got the. Uh, <laughs> He got the duo and he got dueled right back. So that's a great way to kind of balance the scales. Even it that's out. Gonna happen. Even, even it out a little bit. This is a control mirror. This game could take a long time. So if you're into this kind of thing, this is this is this is my favorite, my favorite mirror when I see two control players playing against each other. Oh. Because I feel in the control mirror there are going to be the most decisions to be made. My favorite uh, aspect about this game and what separates GOAT format from a lot of different formats is that you have a lot of input of what happens, especially in this mirror. Maybe in a lot of linear linear, linear matchups, not so much the Warriors and the Turbos of the world. There's still a lot of thought, but in this one, each play you make a lot of times uh, can really sway the outcome of the game. And that allows the better player to win most of the time. So uh, I think this is going to be a real treat if you are into that kind of thing. So no more cross out coming down. This is my, my type of matchup. This is my jam. And I oh, mean, yeah. it's Insidious' jams too, because me and Insidious have played this matchup against each other a lot. Now, I'm definitely not on the same kind of cards that Geist D is on in their go control list. Uh, my, my build is a, a little bit different, but Insidious knows this matchup from personal experience just by playing him all of the time. So he knows what it takes to win the control mirror match. Absolutely. And uh, Insidious is also a big fan of the Detox okay, Mirror. Those two. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. going to be a super, <laughs> super tight battle. I mean, we're seeing here, it's kind of gotten to a simplified state thanks to the duos. No going to cross out taking out Dekoichi from Geist D over on Insidious' side, but then we got Breaker the Magical Warrior coming down. If this actually goes through, I mean, that's, that's going to be a big pickup for Insidious. Let's see it. And it, it will be... It's going to be a scapegoat, so... Here we go. The first set of goats has been played. The the field has been secured by right. uh, by Geist D. Let's see if Insidious elects to attack the goats or attack that set monster. Yeah, interesting decision point. You could goat lock him, but Geist D could always do uh, like switch a goat to attack mode to unlock himself. And it's going to be the Sangan. So the Sangan has uh, sent, been sent to the graveyard. Let's see what Geist D elects to grab from the deck. Several choices here. Again, this is another critical decision point. Do you grab your Sinister Servant? Do you grab your Tsukiyomi? Do you grab a DD Warrior Lady? Do you grab what? What are you? What's the choice here? It's going to be the Tsukiyomi. All right. So that's what. Uh, that's what guys the elects to go with here. He Clean out to the break of the match like order. Morphing Jar or Cyber Jar to get some cards back. I mean, that does awesome. give his opponent more cards, but getting Tsukiyomi here is a nice clean answer to the board. Now he has a, a monster that he can summon, and his life is protected thanks to the, the scapegoat tokens. And he knows that Insidious is also playing Control Mirror as well. So if he sets his styles and eyes up, he's got to clean out to that. If he gets finds the Metamorphosis, he can start looping earlier, generating advantage that way. So Tsukiyomi was a choice by Guy D. Like it? I like it. I, I like it as well. Very cool. <clears throat> I like this so far. All right. Hey, uh, just I believe. Uh, the stream, the stream is good. I believe the stream should be should be nice. I think we're all set up from from the uh, from the advertisers going into the next match. I'm certain that it won't be us on uh, on radio call this time again. We're good to go. Okay, all right. Just got to make sure. I'm getting I'm getting harassed from uh, from people. I'm not not really. Okay. Okay. So we got standby phase from the blue corner. Uh, two cards in hand, one card on the field, uh, up one card on the draw. Uh, he did go first, so we're still pretty much at a standard pace in the game. And Sid is surveying the graveyard and the field before electing to make a decision. That decision will be set one we're gonna back see, over to the red corner. We're going to see, especially in, in this game state, not a ton of like decision points that they really have to make. It's, it might just be a lot of drawing and going or doing something very like simple, just setting a card. Just trying to just trying to build a uh, build up There's those resources, like you were saying, JDZ. Now that Geist has a thousand extra strength on the board, he kind of can control the flow of the game, especially with the Tsukiyomi in the hand. 
Uh, no, that's, and I've seen, uh, like I said, a guy's yeah, guy's D is, uh, is a player I, I enjoy watching when, uh, when they're playing on the ladder, uh, when he's playing in these rated matches, I like, I like to see what he's doing, but I've noticed a trend about his game. He enjoys when a lot of cards are in play. So yeah, that's why he plays cards like cyber jar. That's why he plays cards like morphing jar. He enjoys when a lot of cards are in the fray because he can make more decisions. He, he's a very cerebral player. Um, and you have to be cerebral to play this type of deck, I think. So he's trying, like like you said, Max, because I think he really wants to just, if, if you would just sit here and draw pass, draw pass, draw pass, that's the game that Geist D wants to play. Flip a cyber jar, add five cards to the fray, you know, get a big morphing jar play, add five more cards to the fray. That's where Geist D wants to be because he's got those solemn judgments. He's got that D-mock. He can set up some kind of kill shot that you won't see coming. I've seen it happen. I've been on both sides of that. Uh, these players both go way back, like I, like I stated before. Okay, but Insidious and Guys D have never played each other in a highly contested rated match. This is the first time, and it is a doozy for the world championship. The world championship's on the line. Insidious is trying to uh, is trying to make it, just trying to get some respect. You know, he's been playing this game for a really long time. I don't think he gets the respect that he, I don't think he feels he gets the, the respect that he is due uh, because a lot of players don't consider him among the best or among the greatest players. So he's trying to make an impact right now by I mean, winning I know I do. the uh, world championship. I know you do it. You you you've seen it. You've seen it up close. I know that. I know the. I know he can play as well. But I still don't. Uh, when people are talking about greatest players that ever played or greatest players of our format right now, Insidious is not mentioned amongst those people. And I think that uh that might that might be something he's trying to change. Trying to change the change that up right now. I mean, he, he certainly has that. proved it here in in this tournament, both yesterday and today. Just getting this far. Of but course. That's not enough for him. He he, he wants that title. I, I know he does. It's not looking amazing for him right now. Oh, well, now we got a Chaos Monster on, on board. So potentially outing this Thousand Eyes Strict. Okay. So the flow of the game is going to go back into Insidious's favor. Getting some value on that Chaos Sword. He does get a draw, and he can get out of this situation. You never really want to answer with a Chaos Monster to the Thousand Eyes Strict. Well, when a Pot of Greed is such a big pickup. But yeah, if you have to commit something like Chaos Sorcerer to deal with a thousand eyes restrict well in the control mirror they can just use a thousand eyes restrict to get it back now absolutely and now you got this matchup yeah. is that geist doesn't have access to chaos sorcerer so he can't use his own chaos sorcerer to out the the insidious chaos sorcerers but like you After said yeah, just, thousand eyes. now he's got a face down maybe we'll see a follow-up with a gnomon across out the old flip and dip oh we won't we'll just see a we'll flip and attack maybe we'll get a main phase two gnomon across out it's possible he just doesn't have it and just wants to put the Tsukiyomi down and get rid of a goat. That's possible. That's possible. And like you mentioned, if he did have, oh, he, did, he does have the main he phase too. No more cross. It comes. It comes out, and he uh, and he plays it, sending it back over to Insidious again. Uh, but now, Mister Mister Push and P or Mister Push Mister P, not Push and P, uh, kind of has retaken the draw. So now, Mister Mister P, guys, D is up the draw, uh, kind of taking over. The card advantage situation is where you wanna. It's where you wanna be. It's all about kind of card Ooh, advantage. And that trap dust shoot from the main deck here. Wrong dust shoot here. Came later in the game where we talk about trap dust shoot strength, and usually that you want to see it kind of early. But in situations like this, it can also be backbreaking, right? Where both and, you guys don't have a lot of action, you can take away the best card out of their hand. And just taking a look at Insidious's hand now, he spun away the the Sinister Serpent. There's Metamorphosis, Book of Moon, and Snatch Steel. So. Geisty knows what he has to play around now. And that's that's critical. That's critical for a for a cerebral type player. You knowing you're full having perfect information of what cards you have available means that you are essentially top decking. And Geisty can just navigate around all of the landmines that you could potentially set for them. So not a good spot for Insidious. But you know, Geisty has to has to push the initiative. He has to take take matters to Insidious now to kind of to kind of get some value but now some more good trinity is being played charity. gonna find some green cards that grace of charity sending the morphin jar because he has good con good control of this yeah, situation sending the abyss him, soldier sending the abyss soldier and setting one up and throwing it over knowing right, that he has to draw the nomen cross out right card. now he's setting a, a monster versus a meta that he knows is live so is this a mind game? <laughs> is Geist D setting something like a, a Magician of Fate here to try to get Insidious to play this Metamorphosis? That's that's, that's possible. That or, that or he's setting a bluff and he's trying to get the, the Metamorphosis to be played anyway. 
So it's on Insidious here to, to think, okay, is he setting this bluff or am I going to actually take the bait here? He took the bait. So the bait is down. The and Magical Merchant is, is, is so not, as, not as wild as a, a, a Magician of Faith. It's still a card that you want to get rid of. Thunder oh, Dragon is a, is a top deck though. So this actually can make this play safely now. Because yeah, and I can, you know, can sack, sack it up. Thunder Dragon. You can sack up that Thunder Dragon, sack up this Thousand Eyes if you were so inclined. And he elects not I to, not okay? To, Interesting. So now he's got the, oh wow, Jar of Greed is cool. And now he's got the Tsukiyomi that he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to defend this, uh, this Thousand Eyes. But he does have that Book of Moon that can do that. Let's see how this plays out. You kind of have an idea, but you really don't know. Let's see if he's, so he's going to do that, reset this effect, and let's see if he elects to attack in. Oh man, what a crazy, what a crazy turn of events. Hmm. Yeah, he knows it's like it they both know what the other guy is trying to do. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious why he wouldn't use the uh, the Thunder Dragon in the hand to sack over the Thousand Eyes Strike. It's not really the Thousand Eyes Strike's not really doing anything. He knows that the Tsukiyomi is going to come down and out the Thousand Eyes Strike anyway. I think, I think he knows that he knows. So now he knows that there is a Book of Moon down on the other side. So. Maybe by not sacking the Thousand Eyes, you've encouraged the opponent to play the Tsukiyomi so you can then use the Book of Boon to trap the Tsukiyomi to protect your Thousand Eyes. So you would, you would need Tsukiyomi and then another answer to Thousand Eyes Restrict, I think. So yeah, he's going to Book of Moon this to kind of trap that Tsukiyomi in the field. And you need another answer for this Thousand Eyes because it can flip and take your Tsukiyomi back away from you, uh, accruing another another value plus from the, from the from from activating that effect two times. I think you just, I guess, yeah, you, you value the, the Thousand Eyes more than you value the Book of Moon. Maybe I value the Book of Moon more than I value the Thousand Eyes. But he had another answer all along as well with the Metamorphosis taking the enemy Thousand Eyes Restrict. Yeah, because a situation like this can occur where he just has a, a Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can just Book of Moon that Thousand Eyes Restrict and keep your Thunder Dragon. And then both, like, the, the Tsukiyomi just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's interesting. Interesting play. Interesting play. But this is uh this is this is where where guy Steve wants to be. Like I said, stalling it out, stalling it out. He's fine with that. And Sidious is fine with that. They both have been here before. Uh, both players knowing exactly what's up. So yeah, Upstart Star Goblin. Card. Upstart Goblin being played. Because when you think about it, you have to figure out like what Geist could draw or already have an answer to like his thunder dragon and what does the book of moon stop in this case it, it, it stops a thousand eyes restrict it stops something that's trying to attack over the, the thunder dragon if he already knows that the the Tsukiyomi is in the hand the, the Tsukiyomi doesn't do anything versus the thunder dragon you can just right. attack it if he decides to set it and keep your book of moon that i i, I agree i don't know maybe maybe i don't know that's I think I, I probably I probably if I was in cities in that situation I probably sack it up for the uh, I sack up for the Thunder Dragon in that in that position too. I, I mean, believe. it's not doing a lot in the hands. Yeah, just being out here. Insidious has a C set. Well, we know we, we don't know what the these new sets are. We know Insidious does have a. We still know about that snatch deal that he has in the access to those Thunder Dragons. Mm -hmm. Red Corner is thinking about it. Breaker, the magical warrior, has landed. Okay, so one. Breaker. Now, now he's going to think here. Could, could we see Torrential Tribute coming out? Torrential would be kind of crazy. That'd be a, that'd be a powerful Torrential Tribute. We're going to just book a moon this Breaker right away. So now we have a goat lock situation taking place for the uh, for the for the for the red corner. Yeah, you Down in cards to, to break it there. I mean. The goat lock situations in favor of Insidious. We, we mentioned before that he decked out his opponent earlier today. Yeah, he might be able to do it again. Wow. <clears throat> so, but it, we know we know guys is not ever going to be uh, truly goat locked. Uh, he's only goat locked if you uh, if you if you want to be because he does have access to that dark magician of chaos okay that is a tribute that will clear that will clear the city is knows oh, that yeah. he's, he's mentioned it in the comments right now he's like how long until you can draw that dark magician of chaos and, uh and yeah. has some really powerful spells that you can get back any piece of the trinity heavy storm no one cross out you, you could get back premature burial as well for even more aggression and for and for the and for the viewers at home if you don't know if you're new to the format when we say goat lock that means that uh 
that means that all of your monster zones are filled. Your thousand eyes is in defense. You can't really uh, summon any more monsters. Sometimes you don't have any outs. The game could just end that way through deck out if you can't yeah, figure out a way to remove them from the other side of the field. Your your zones are clogged by something like scapegoat tokens that you just aren't able to distribute off. Ghosty does have a metamorphosis remaining, I believe. It is running the full three, so. If he does draw the third copy of meta, he can tribute one of the tokens, or he can tribute the Thousand Eyes Restrict that's already on board for a new copy of Thousand Eyes Restrict. Yeah, but and uh, probably, I, that happens too. Uh, guys, guys, D does have, uh, chaos. guys D does have access to another uh, Metamorphosis as well. So typically what how to break a goat lock, you can play another Metamorphosis, summon another Thousand Eyes Torrential that way to clear it. You can uh, He can Ring of Destruction. I think he has Ring of Destruction still available. You can play that, clear one. You can summon Darvish's Chaos. There's options, so he's not truly goat locked. And Insidious probably is counting these outs as well, so he knows. Uh, I think Geist D is a very intellectual player, and he's only goat locking himself if he has the plan to kind of undo that. So D Mock uh, can, can, uh, can, can make that happen. But in cities is fine, just chilling here, just waiting, not not getting too stressed out. This is where you want to be. Very cool, very cool stuff. I love to see it. I love to see it. Let's we'll see. Let's see. Let's check in with, mean, with we, the. We, earlier in the game, like both players had like two, three cards that they were working with. Now they have just like so many cards on the board. This is how the control matchup goes. They just. Sit around mm -hmm. here because mm -hmm. the board gets locked down, and then they don't want to commit any resources. And it's until somebody decides to break the parity here after drawing something super powerful. Again, Insidious my... probably. I don't know if it's if this is going to be his game plan. I mean, he's down. He's down in life. His opponent has one k extra, but his opponent is down three more cards in their deck. Oh, and here's the uh -oh. D mock coming out. The D mock is down. The time has come. The Dark Magician of Chaos has hit the field. Everybody, air horns all around. Wah, wah, wah. Here we go. We're going to see is, what kind of spell is going to be This is something that we graveyard. don't really see a lot in GOAT format. Usually, D mock comes out through something like Monster Gate or Reasoning or uh, Dimension Fusion, right? Bringing it back. But normal summoning <laughs> Dark Magician of Chaos using just like a regular tribute summon, I mean, that's just, that's just awesome to see. And he elects to go with the Pot of Greed, uh, going down to 11 cards. There's some dope spells in that graveyard, man. He could have picked, he had his, he had his, uh, had his choice of cards. Maybe it was, uh, maybe Premature Burial could have been, nah, maybe, nah, that's too much. Oh, wow. The Scapegoat is being switched to attack position. You know that, what the follow-up of that one, usually hey. is. Creature Swap is being played. Now, this is all right for Geist, because uh, a play in the mirror that you can do is chain Scapegoat to Creature Swap. Putting your goat tokens on the board, and that mm, way you don't give one. them the only monster that you have. You can just give them a goat token instead, and that's such a good card for for guys to swap over. He he probably didn't have an answer to that that spirit reaper. Now he just gets to take so it. Now, if it. if if there is a BLS involved in this equation somewhere, there is a roundabout way that the game could just end right here. If I if my mathematics is correct, and he he does not have that, so. Uh, I, I guess he, had not, he elects not to do that. So we're going to enter battle phase. And Sidious has a card to activate upon the entry of battle phase. It's going to be Mystical Space Typhoon has been played. Hearing the Solemn Judgment. Wow, what a hit. Well, when he, so he's in battle phase right now. Yeah, he should be in battle phase because he's doing it on the entrance of battle, not in the ending of the main, just like when the battle That's phase true. starts. Believe that's very true. He did. He did, uh, he did clarify that. No, you are not still in main phase one. You are. You have entered. Yeah, it's like it's that window that you want to, you know, threatening roar your opponent. You can activate something like an MST that true. That in true. that window. And Sidious does know the rule. You won't. You. I don't think. I don't think you would make it to this far in an event like this, not knowing the rules again. Sidious has a has a great working knowledge of the rules of this format. So I think he is absolutely correct in his stance that he clarified that when you enter the battle phase, not to be confused with uh with if you are remaining in the battle phase or or ending of main phase one. Okay. <laughs> and we are all tuning into this. It's just they're gonna catch up. I I, I believe. Uh, uh judge i think tk the judge staff is is kind of watching this if, if tk if you can just 
hop in there. Thank you so much, DK. Again, I, I, man, you're you're all star of this of this whole thing. Couldn't do it all without you. We really appreciate it, head judge. Or if we can get a judge in there, just to kind of clarify, because uh, guys, these having some having some internal dialogue about what's going on. Insidious, I believe, was very clear when he wanted to activate that card. Very responsive in the chat, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just to clarify, this is the World Championship online, so you want to make sure everything is done correctly. And uh, I believe, I believe Insidious activated that correctly. Let's see, let's see how it shakes out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, while they're setting that up, let's go check out check out the YouTube comment section, see what you guys are talking about over here. We are on a slight tape delay, so I'm gonna try to go back and read some of these things. Um, do do do. Hope okay, so oh man, nothing more do, 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 do. man, people people aren't filling the control mirrors. People think they're very boring. I disagree. You guys are crazy. I disagree as well. right. You I guys are crazy. Crazy. okay. Control mirrors are where it's at, okay. Uh so it's not gonna be a snooze fest, I mean, I don't believe you. Uh okay, shout out to everyone who's pressing the like button. We really appreciate that. Uh and yeah, continue to do that. Uh, what uh, what does the what is, what do they do with the money? Is it for no? It is not for me. This is a complete volunteership. I have no I have no stake or no claim. No, there is no financial incentive. Any money or any 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 coin that I garner will be recycled back to Go Format in some form or fashion. There is no. This is a not for profit situation. You know this is a uh, this is all for the betterment or the improvement of this format. Okay. And, and these prize pools that you see, these mats that you buy, the all this stuff. It's all from uh, the donations and all the YouTube stuff is getting sent back to the GOAT format in some form or fashion. So we appreciate you guys to do that. All the Patreons out there who are who are uh, paying to play in the premiums and all of the people who have donated to the format in any way. Anyone who's watched an advertisement on YouTube and provided that, all that money is being recycled back into GOAT format in some form or fashion. Thank you all for doing that. We could not do it without you. <laughs> Yeah, and as the judge is clarifying here, the intent here, I think Insidious's intent was, again, in that sweet spot where at the start of the battle phase, exactly, you can activate like quick, like trap card effects that if your opponent, you know, passes their priority over to say, like, I don't want to use any of their quick type effects. Mm. Um, it's different when they say I'm like proceeding to end my main phase to go to either the end phase or the battle phase, which in that case, if you do something like this where um, I proceed to end my main phase and then they chain or activate MST after they pass priority over to you, then you can still say, okay, I will continue my my main phase. I, I, I think I think I honestly I believe it's I, I'm with you 100%. I think it was very clear what Insidious was trying to do. Um, and he said it upon when 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 you enter BP when you enter BP like that's 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 where we're at so we'll see let's see TK is going to uh, it's going to make make that call he is in the chat right now again huge shout out to the TK Griffiths um, I can't wait to his audio book series drops and he can uh, he can read me some bedtime stories it's beautiful beautiful voice voice of an angel okay so everything is clear mst does go through but that 2800 points of direct damage to the health of the opponent also goes through and we're going to flip up the sukiyomi and yeah, torrential he, tribute yike oh yike he had yike. to flip up the sukiyomi because snatch deal is is still in the hand for insidious that is true and that that's that uh, torrential tribute was very potent and powerful as well wow um, the D Dark Magician of Chaos should be banished. Uh, I... Yeah, it, it is. Okay, so Dark Magician of Chaos is banished. There Got we it. go. Nice. But I thought, would it, would it, it would not be set because it, uh, Torrential would activate. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you're chaining to the, the flip summon of Tsukiyomi, and then, like, Tsukiyomi activates, and then you use the, uh, the gotcha. target's T-Mock, and then you, you're chaining Torrential in that window. Gotcha, Racial Charity, gotcha, gotcha. huge for Insidious, can now cash in the Thunder Dragons that are in their hand. Well, they've been sitting there for a hot minute, too. That's so maybe it was better was to... Powerful. Maybe it was better to hold on the Thunder Dragons after all, See, huh? Again, and, and, that, and that's why that's why Insidious is where he is, and that's why we are where we are. He knows what's going on. You gotta have a feel. It's all about vibes sometimes, too, man. Yeah, you'll just... Linic... You gotta vibe it out. Just your Graceful Charity later. No yeah, big deal. Whatever. 12 cards left in deck. 12 versus 11. 
We have the DD Warrior Lady standing strong in attack position. Three cards in hand, two on the field. DD Warrior Lady's a tough one to deal with. Guys, Not the cleanest still up a card. to fight by battle because it always gets its its man. For the most part. <laughs> for the most part. For the most part. There's some spots oh. where it doesn't get <laughs> its man, but most of the time it's it's getting there. Okay, so we're going to set one in defense position, throw it back over to Insidious. Nope, let's see. Still thinking in main phase one. Pondering here. Observing the graveyard. 23 cards to rifle through there. Doesn't 10 cards left in deck. They're going to set more. Probably right. more and we're going to roll to yeah, another an, another late game trap dust shoot. I'm telling you, uh, trap dust shoot is powerful. Turn one, it's even more powerful. Turn of 35, I think, when you can get it to go off late game like this. That rarely happens, but when you can pull it off late game, it's even more potent and powerful because you can kind of see what your opponent has access to, make a game plan around that, refresh all your latest information, and then devise a plan to. Uh, execute your opponent okay. this last merchant should is in the, the graveyard for geist so now insidious just dropped the the knock that was in his hand so his hand now thanks to the dust shoot peak is snatch seal that we knew about previously and metamorphosis mm. so relying on the nice. back row that unknown information hopefully he could just get there with this uh with this dd warrior lady I, looking I mean, at the graveyard she can do it DD War Lake is it got some legs. I mean, it can go it can go the distance, but there's there's some dope trap cards left for Guys D. Okay, we got uh Mirror Force, we have Ring of Destruction, you have all the good ones are left. And some solemn judgments. He can get his third goat and finally block. I believe he's on three goats. No, he's only on two, and both of them he's only, are he's only on the two. Both of them are gone. So no more goats for, for Geist. Is gonna set a monster to, to block 15 points of damage going through. Just sitting there, continuing to punch in. Both noblemen are in the graveyard for Guy D. He still has pretty good information on the hand of the blue corner. One one unknown card. Two sets that are still unknown as well. And City is still kind of kind of chilling a little bit, not getting too antsy, just kind of playing the cards as they come along. All right, all right. Thinking about it, and City is going into the to the to the to the think tank. And it Very... still has discard traps left. That's something that we haven't seen from him yet. So maybe he's thinking, "Do I use? Yeah, here's one coming now." Entering battle phase too, discarding the getting ring rid of, of ring of destruction. That's a potential win condition. Yeah, that's a, deciding that's, uh, to get rid of it here. That's tough. Those cards in his hand must be very very valuable. Hmm. It's Just looking at a uh, looking at and and, uh, and, uh, and snatch deal. Looking at Insidious's profile picture, just pondering off, looking into the looking into the ocean. There, it's probably what he's thinking about playing playing this game. Not looking into on. the sunset, <laughs> maybe the sunrise, but that's, that looks a little too like that looks like an afternoon shot. Yeah, pondering, pondering, uh, what to do and the BLS. So he's slamming. Blacklister soldier after tribecking virus coming down. That slam is an indication that Solemn Judgment is backing this play up. So I, I yeah, believe there's no way. Yeah, there's no way you would commit this to the play when you know that there's a snatch deal in the hand and Insidious is going to try to chump, but Solemn Judgment coming out, that's what it's there for, to push your play that's, through. And it does, and wow, played very well. Oh man, what a dope game. What a dope back and forth. Both players bending but not breaking until the very last minute. Oh my goodness, what a dope game. Okay, so reading the chat. I love reading the uh, the chat of, of these games when the players are saying... That uh, it's always really fun to check out. Guys, D saying that he misplayed a lot during that game. Maybe that's trying to infiltrate the mind of his adversary. Maybe he's like, I misplayed, even though he didn't. He probably did. Who knows? I think I think you are. You might be correct. He, uh, I think there might be some misplay with that Book of Moon. Maybe forgot about that with that Sukiyomi play. That could have been terrible, but it worked out. Playing into Torrential Tribute also could have been horrible. But you know what? It worked out. He got the Solemn Judgment. He got the BLS. He got the kill. And now we're moving on to game two.
taking a look at the sideboards for both players, uh, a lot of a lot of sides for time here for both of them, um, and Burn as well. The Hysteric Fairies are in both player side decks. Geist D opted for Emergency Provisions. Both players have access to Karibo. Uh, Insidious mm. has Trap Dust Shoots in his side. Maybe those could come in. Usually you want to put in Trap Dust Shoot versus like those um, those decks that have the Thunder Dragon because later on, if you, if you don't draw it in the first couple turns, mm -hmm. um, the Trap Dust Shoot becomes live if they just have Thunder Dragons in their hand later on in the game. But we were seeing Geist D drawing his main deck Trap Dust Shoots later in the game and then still being live and having a lot of you know, advantage for him. It let him knew what was in the hand for Insidious. It, it tucked back mm -hmm. a couple of monsters. So you never know. Maybe Insidious puts them in, and in the GOAT control matchup, I mean, they don't have something like Thunder Dragon to tuck back if there's that's like the only thing in their hand. They might only ever have one monster. I mean, in Geist D's deck only plays 15 monsters main deck. He could increase that with something like uh, the Hysteric Fairies or Berserk Gorilla, but sending back a monster for Geist could be very, very crucial. As yeah, we see, just, Insidious starting with Thunder Dragon. In, increase, increasing that monster count is going to, like you said, it's going to go empower the Trap Dust Shoot and empower the Tsukiyomi. So I don't know if he brings... I think less less monster counts might be the way to go. I know John claude Van Damme plays not that many monsters. Leo pushing P in his Go Control deck. He doesn't play that many monsters. Guy D also doesn't play that many monsters. It might be something about not having a lot of monsters in your Go Control deck. Might be the might be the way of the future because that's what all these players seem to be doing. I think I play like... 14 maybe i'm up to 16 again but usually that's the sweet spot okay so good trinity coming out for the red corner playing that pot agree it's taking the initiative is what you want to try to do he's up up a up a car well no he got the thunder dragons also still those aren't real you got to trade those in though yeah, they're never real until they become real <laughs> they're just the <imaginary laughs> uh, oh, oh imz one's in the chat saying he loves watching goat mirror but playing them are deadly lovely to watch <laughs> Playing them are deadly. I, I kind of would agree with that because you don't want. I, I get so fatigued after playing one of these one of these games. And, and here's the trap that shoot coming out. Regeki breaks the end of response. Going to get rid of the sinister serpent, which is great because this is in the standby phase. Oh, but it's going to hit a dart. I love that play. I love that play. Like I, that right there is what I don't know. I would have I mean, messed that up at some. That's point. a power I of jar. You can you just set it and they use removal like MST on it and then you just get a card back. Like it's like they just didn't. Like the removal just didn't do anything. I absolutely love that play. I would say 80%, maybe 90% of, of the player base that come into this game, if they have Draw Greek down, you'll draw your card and then just play Draw Greek right away. But he's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just maybe this could happen. And it just will happen to work out. Uh getting a getting a some advantage off of his, uh off of the Regeki break on the Jar of Greed. So that was really cool. I love that play. And now Trap Dust Shoot resolving, gonna tuck away Chaos Sorcerer. Insidious's hand is a hand of Ring of Destruction, Heavy Storm, two Thunder Dragons, Metamorphosis, and now just added back to the Sinister Serpent that they discarded from the Regeki break. Ah, uh, that so is another. All information so... is known, and Insidious is passing back. There's nothing to do here. Don't, don't this... want to expose your storm to any kind of uh, back row removal. Maybe Geisty decided to side in Dust Tornado. They do have access to three copies in the side. This is a uh, this is one of my this is one of my biggest major gripes about the chaos control deck. He has six cards, but you're very reactive. You can't do anything. Now your opponent knows everything that you can do, and you're just sitting there. There's really no play that you can make. You just got to another jar of greed holding on to these jar of greed for value. You just want to see the next draw first before you decide to, to pop off that jar to see if you want to get another card. You just got to have some value just by keeping it face down. You just kind of got to sit there. Waiting on a waiting on a move to be made. Mm -hmm. uh, Insidious does not run card destruction. I would love to just nuke this whole hand right now and start over, but he cannot. He's just gonna have to sit here and wait for this thing to happen. Wait for you have to wait for uh wait for Guys D to do something before you can I mean, make a play. Because it's kind of interesting that he did use the jar of greed here because it could have acted like a pseudo um, solemn in a way. W what he could have done was like. Keep that jar of greed face down, set another back row, and then maybe bait Insidious into using the heavy storm that's in their hand. Right. At least somewhere down the line. That way this jar of greed, like we just chain it to the heavy storm and get a card out of it. Now we're seeing the metamorph come out. Go ahead and plan it. Trying to just get some get something going on with the uh metamorphosis and the sinister serpent, bringing out thousand eyes restrict. Guys D knew that combination of cards was there, so maybe he just set the bluff right into it to go ahead and get it out of the way now. Yeah, we're gonna take uh, a look. 
maintaining maintaining that initiative i think is important especially when you have perfect information in your opponent's hand doing things to make them do something is and you kind of rope that into your plan they kind of have no choice but to fall into it so guys d knew that that play was an option and let's see if he had a plan for the plan Geisty does not run a single Book of Moon in his deck. And, yeah, neither one of these players um, heavily sided for the mirror at all. There is no, there is no uh, goat, goat. The goat decks did not prepare for the goat decks. No. Look at these decks. Neither one of these players have any cards that, uh, that, are, that are for the mirror, as, as they would say. So, uh, very interesting. Ring of Destruction, like, though, or... does kind of do the same thing as Book of Moon in this scenario. I mean, a little bit better because it actually gets the cleared Thousand Iron Strip. I, I take I take that back. Uh, Sukiyomi, uh, Insidious does play a second copy of Sukiyomi in the side deck. Maybe that can come in and kind of help a little bit, but still, it's not any like uh, cards that you come to know and love for that uh, for this mirror match. Ring Destruction on Thousand Eyes is great. So he had a plan for the plan, and the plan executed. Now the hand we know is going to be uh, Ring Storm, two Thunder Dragons. Remain. It never feels great to ring a Thousand Eyes Restrict because usually like. Ring of Destruction, you kind of want to save it to potentially kill your opponent with it. I mean, it's great removal. You just get to get one for one with it and do some burn damage here. But in yeah. this spot, I mean, Geisty values this face down monster. He knows that there's nothing else in the hand that uh, Insidious can use to, to clear it. So might as well just use the Ring of Destruction here. Could be something big like a Magician of Faith if it is. It'll Wait get a back minute. to Pot uh -oh. of Greed. Uh, I don't up. think Geist D is going to disconnect here. Okay, and he's back. Yeah. Woo! It can't be disconnecting the World Championship. We don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, but he's back, fortunately for us all. <laughs> shouting, out to the, shouting out to God for bringing him back into this game, because that is a game loss if you get timed out. And nobody wants to see that happen in the World Championship. We want, we want the games to be handled on the... Uh, on the field of play. I mean, he is up a game, so if he does get a game loss for timing out, it's not too bad. He still has another yeah, we game don't want to play. That. Nobody wants time that. to reconnect. But obviously, do not want that to happen for either player. Do not want. We want to see it solved on the on the field of play. So no flip up of that face down. Just going to add another one. All right. Hmm. Two sets handed it back over to Insidious, whose hand still is a uh, still is, yeah, you know I'm still not, sure not able to be. make it happen. You gotta unbrick. It takes a it takes about ten to twelve cards to unbrick this chaos control hand. Sometimes if you're not just zooming, if you're not executing the plan, it takes a lot, it takes a it takes a lot of patience. That's what I mentioned when I was talking about my power because I had to move it down to a B tier of decks because it takes so much time to uh, to execute the plan. But when it what? when it's doing its thing, you're feeling great. If you're playing it well, you're feeling great. But takes what a lot card of, does Geist want to protect so much that he's going to use the Ring of Destruction and then not flip the next turn? Hmm. I mean, it's good. This this new Thousand Eyes are going to come out. Looks like he drew another Metamorph. All right, taking over the new set. It is the Magician of Faith. It is the the Magio de Fela is taken. The Magician of Faith is secured. Love seeing that if you are Insidious. No one likes to see a Magician of Faith start rocking early on. Uh, so get, getting that is nice. And these... Uh, maybe, the, these maybe this first face down was a bluff of some sort. And then instead of just flipping it up to reveal, decided I'm going to set this faith now that I know that my opponent doesn't have access to meta anymore. But Insidious just top decked another one. Now we're not... We're in, we're in a difficult position for guys because this face down won't be able to flip. He's got to find a way to clear the, the Thousand Eyes Restrict in order to get it to flip, but he didn't flip it last turn, so maybe it, it's not a flip monster. Maybe it's something like Sangan, Ooh, Mini Warrior Lady. That's a great call. A Tsukiyomi, perhaps? Perhaps maybe. it is just a Tsukiyomi. Just hanging out there, just, just, being, just existing in the realm right now, kicking it into fifth position. Sangan is a great call, too, or it could just be like something you never know. It could be a... Try to make the virus something to bluff a nobleman or bluff a mind control. He was trying to test for knock before he puts that. Puts the, and something that yeah. you don't want to, to 
to get ring or get stolen by Thousand Hunter Strike either. Now Tsukiyomi coming down, gonna do the the, the flip flop. The old the old flip and dip. So it's a light in the grave for Geist. Importantly, this this does keep him off of two monsters as well. Maybe there was a potential play. There's the Sangin that we were talking about earlier. So that that first face down is not Sangin. Okay. Okay. Potentially, maybe was trying to set up a Demok play if you just have two guys on the on the board like that and just ah uh, yeah the first get, a, get a hard sack out. Yeah, I mean it, it would be pretty good because you could flip the faith, activate the pot of greed that's in the graveyard. And then normal summon your Demok, get back that pot of greed that you just activated. Ooh, and this Tsukiyomi, so much value. Not it's... only is it going to flip that Thousand Extra Strict face down, but gets to put Sagan in the graveyard. And... Setting, 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 uh, you have to, we have to stop. Wait, oh, yeah, don't he, you have he, to search? You have to search for that Sagan. He absolutely does have to search for Sagan. It's a mandatory oh, trigger. But he, 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 he did that incorrect because Insidious does have Trap Dust Shoot. He, that's... Okay. And it was uh, Morphing Jar. It. it was Morphing. So he draw, add it to the hand, and then he's going to flip that Morphing Jar. Sending. Ah, man. Okay. So he's sending the D-Mock, sending the entire hand, sending the Sinister Serpent that he just retrieved, drawing five new cards. But he also gave Insidious five new cards, and this hand was not active at all. This thing was just kind of hanging out there. So well, he knew most the of the hand thanks the to... Thanks to Dust Shoot, but wow, drawing this duo is great because, you know, the duo blockers are gone. So Sinister Serpent hanging in the graveyard, this, this duo is going to probably get full value. And there's the Trap Dust Shoot, so he did side in Trap Dust Shoot, as we were talking about before. Let's see what Insidious is going to like to throw out into the graveyard here. All right, he is electing to discard. Let's see what it is going to be. <laughs> Let's see it. It is going to be that snatch deal. And we're going to battle in. He's swinging with this um, with this morphing jar. Doesn't Having a pretty good read. Maybe it's something they can clear. That's pretty it wild that you're discarding Snatch obviously. Deal. That, that, that probably says a lot about the rest of the hand on how good it is. And we're going to Ring Destruction, clearing that Tsukiyomi. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so we got a whole giant Whopper with a Morphing Jar sitting I mean, yeah. face up in attack position. Yeah, you uh, don't need the these sets. cards. Anymore, they, you know that they're they're uh, the the heavy storm is gone because you morphing jarred it away. So why does Wall just set everything? Guy okay. still plays oh. solemn. I, I imagine that they he, he kept some of them in. Some number of solemn judgments are in. Okay, probably all of them. I would say uh, I think solemn judgment is great in this matchup and what guys is trying to do, guys. Sets up the OTK with this deck better than anyone I've seen. And when you can have Demok, BLS, a creature swap with a goat, and back it up with a couple of solemn judges, that's that's game out of out of nowhere a lot of times. So it's it's I wild that he only plays like one of creature swap, right? And that enables all this OTK shenanigans that he that he could get to. Very often. But it just happens for him often because he just plays the game like so well that he just can get into that spot that when he mm -hmm. draws the one ofs, he just gets you. Yeah, we got Cyber Jars going off. You got Demox jumping in, retrieving spells. You got Face flipping. You got Sugiyomi looping. It's a lot of stuff that this deck can do. Um, and he finds it often, early and often. So, Nobody Cross Eye is going to go ahead and get that Sinister Serpent all the way out of the game. And this Morphing Jar is continuing to uh, press the initiative, punching in for 700. That's a dangerous smiling rock punching in, doing some damage. That's a clock. That's a, I don't know. That's a nine turn clock, baby. Nine more of those. This game is over. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. <laughs> nine more slaps of this rock, this two star earth rock hitting you in. I think the game would just end in place. I don't know. Morgan Jar looks like he's having a good time, too. Morgan Jar is lit. He's loving life. And uh, this guy's not having a good time. This magical merchant, not, not finding anything super powerful. I mean, 
Jar is fine. You can draw a card. I have to wait a yeah. little bit, but not a big fan it of is. this merchant. <laughs> It is, it is a plus. It is a plus. It's getting a uh, Yeah, getting he did get the float, so it, it is a nice pickup here. Okay. So he's thinking about it. Main phase. Serpent is down. What is the Serpent going to do? Torrential Tribute. Okay, so we're going for some... Maybe this is OTK shenanigans happening right now. I, I think we're going to see Blackluster Soldier come out. That I or Premature agree. Burial. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Okay. Set one, set two. And another. Okay. So I guess he just didn't want that faith to be resolved. He felt like that also you know, works. Yeah. He felt like uh, that was a good, uh, that, was, that was a good investment exchanging those three weenies for uh, not uh, allowing your opponent to resolve magician faith. But now he's got to, has to answer this spirit reaper who's bearing down one three star dark zombie coming in with 300 attack. Let's yeah, see weenies, if he's going to. The weenies already got their value. So <laughs> yeah. might as well cast them in. Just so that get him out of here all your cards because the magician of faith would have picked back. up that heavy and it just would have been would have been really really rough if there's Lord not a solid target. judgment face down for a geist all right so the sinister serpent is going to be retrieved from the graveyard back to the hand in the serpent phase and he's going to play that jar creed that magical merchant was so kindly to add to the hand drawing another card and then we're going to find a graceful charity off of the jar of greed. Perhaps a lot of value coming in late game. So 12 cards left to 21 cards from Insidious. Insidious has yet to find any of that good Trinity. Two of the Metamorphoses have already been used along with the Heavy Storm and the Snatch Deal. So and Geist has not used his Heavy Storm just yet. So if he could find that plus, I don't know, something like Premature. Get back, yeah. a, get back the Democ to find more cards. We will see. We will see. But I'm always, uh, I'm always going to be on bated breath when I see uh, a Geisty in action right now because there's always a way for the game to just end out of nowhere with BLS. BLS and Democ is is game a lot of times. Um, so. And they got the Spirit Reaper in attack mode. Maybe there's some combination of Democ, BLS, Ring of Destruction that can kind of... Oh, Ring, has Ring of Destruction been used from the... Yeah, Ring of Destruction already was gone. used okay. earlier okay. for Geist. Okay, so that is out of the equation. But Metamorphosis. And for all you folks watching at home, please listen to my cry right now. If you're playing on the ladder or if you're playing anywhere in GOAT format, okay, this obviously this doesn't work because Book of Moon is involved. But if you play Thousand Asher's Trick, okay, and he declares its effect on Spear Reaper and it goes through, the Spear Reaper becomes attached, okay? Please share that message far and wide to anyone who doesn't know because I'm so sick of that coming up on the ladder and when I'm playing or when I'm watching people play or anything that happens. That is how it goes. How it happens any other time, I don't know. In go format, that's how it plays. So please, uh, uh, please uh, don't uh, stop. Just stop. I know they were confused a little bit earlier on the battle phase ruling, but I'm sure both these players know that ruling. Oh, they they know this. I know this. You know that, this. But some that, people on the ladder uh, do not know this. That's why Insidious have, used the Book of Moon so that he could keep the Spirit Reaper around. An okay, and that and that uh, that worked out. But please share that message to all your friends and kinsmen playing this game. We all appreciate it. Help people. Help people. Okay. Guy still has so many cards to work with. One of them being this tribe affecting virus, another clean answer to the Spirit Reaper, but is Insidious going to use something in response to the effects, try to keep his Reaper around? Yeah, with prioritization, he's going to uh, elect his Scars and Serpent and declare Zombie, I believe, or Beast, perhaps. He's they thinking, though. Technically, he didn't declare, but I, I, I would bet that he's going to declare Zombie. I would also ask though if I was in City, I would. And it, I know a lot of times it's obvious, but in, in these events, I'm, I'm asking before I make my make my play. He's going to book a moon on this, and he didn't ask, so he could easily change that thing to beast if he wants to, uh, and continue the assault that way. Well, I mean, That's, doing the beast means that he just you know gets rid of his just, own goat tokens, but I don't think it, Geist really wants to do that. Maybe clean that field for uh, some dramatic. Oh, Regeki break being played. Discarding the nobleman across out, sending the tribe to the graveyard. Very cool. So this Spear Reaper is a last ditch. I, I think effort. it still worked out in Geist's favor because he like he just made Insidious use a ton of cards just to like protect Spirit Reaper. Mm 
Mm. And we're pausing the game. I'm not sure why. Maybe uh, one of the judges is contacting Geist. The game is paused. Hmm, let's see. The game can now... Okay, so they're 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 sort they're sorting something out. Uh, they're they're sorting something out from uh from the judge's perspective. I'm not sure exactly what the deliberation is. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure, but they it has to be probably something with communication and buttons and who yeah, knows perhaps what's there was a perhaps there was a something a little bit ago with the Thousand Eyes Restrict play that we were talking about. I know you brought up that Thousand Eyes Restrict doesn't. Uh, when you target the Spirit Reaper, and if it, if it equips it, the Spirit Reaper does just get equipped. It doesn't die. But if you target the Spirit Reaper with the effect of Thousand Eyes Restrict, and Thousand Eyes Restrict still goes face down, Spirit Reaper will still die in this case because it was targeted. The, ch the chain resolves, mm. and like it doesn't, it resolves just without effect. But because Spirit Reaper was targeted, in a new activation, it will just die from its continuous effect there. However, I think it's a question on whether or not Geist actually activated the thousand eyes restrict or not and if it's if he did then this means the spirit reaper would would go to the graveyard it would be destroyed by its own effect mm, if he didn't insidious would have used the book of moon um before it happened so it's a it's a question on, on whether or not if it happened here gotcha i, I mean geist has priority to to you know, to retain priority, activate the effect, and target it. But did that actually happen? Did guys? And that's uh, and that's that's the difference between uh, between playing online, playing in person. You can just talk. Well, online, you got to hit those buttons. You got to hit the you got to hit the declare effect in those situations when it's not uh, when it's not. Out. Yeah, you need to be as communicative um, communicative as possible, Killed both it. in real life and online here, so that these situations it, like don't happen to you. I mean. It, it's all legal. This can happen, right? Like, it's nobody did anything illegal, essentially. It's just communication-wise, we want to make sure everything is copacetic and what should right. have happened within the game happened correctly. Okay, okay. So we're sitting here, and we're waiting again. As we're waiting, let's go ahead and hop back into the into the comment section and see what's going on from the viewers out there. Everybody, how's the stream looking? How are we sounding? How are you guys feeling out there? Uh, this is the, I believe we are in the top eight right now. Uh, these guys are both in the top eight. Winner is going to continue on. Um, everyone's just kind of vibing. Everyone's kind of just digging the scene of what's going on, watching the game, being a part of it. We'll wait till it catches up and everyone to have something to say about where we currently are. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Let me go and update you guys to what's currently happening right now. We have the, uh, we have Leo P. Push and P has been eliminated from the event. Bobby the Bodega Buckets is moving on, playing AJT in the loser's bracket right now. AJT has defeated the Dark Magician. Dark Magician, thank you for your service. He is now eliminated from this event. J4 Druin has lost to Shaggy Powers, who has moved on, playing Ace. He's, he's up game one against Ace. AJ Ice in his veins, Hussein has lost to Dingo Sig, moving down to the loser's bracket. So currently, right now, we have Dingo Sig waiting in winner's finals. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The fighting Frenchman is in the winner's finals, waiting on the winner between Guys D and Insidious, playing the Chaos Return deck. Recruiter, return, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it the Dingo Return deck because you got it all going on in there. Um, and these, so this this is your top eight. This is your top eight of Geist D, Insidious, Dingo Sig, AJ Hussein, Bobby Bo Buckets, AJ TBLS, Shaggy Powers, and Ace. Okay, that is your top eight of this event. Round of applause to all of those individuals and their dueling prowess. They have made it to the prize round of this event, and hopefully, we'll see who's going to who's going to continue on and make it to the to the end. I think it's dope. Um. Very cool, very cool event. So they're still they're still uh, kind of deliberating on what uh, on what 
is to be done. Waiting on TK. We may rewind since Reaper. Yeah, so Reaper should have died off of that thousand extra strict. Um, and we're just gonna kind of we're gonna kind of wait. So you get back tribe and serp, and I get back book and brick. They're gonna try to repair the game state if if at all possible. Let's see what the ruling is from TK. Maybe he might just say this is the way it is. You guys just let it happen, or he might try to repair the game state as well as he can, since uh, both players might agree to that. We'll see. Stay tuned. They're gonna sort that out right now. We are still rocking it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Top eight of the worlds. What an achievement. Uh, so everyone, if you show me your bracket and this is the bracket that you picked for the top eight, I will I will PayPal you uh, seven billion dollars because no one uh, saw that coming. And he just revealed uh, mirror for us. That was that was a that was a mouse slip. Didn't <laughs> did not see that coming. OK. I think they are going to try to repair the game state, folks. That's what is going to be going on. Uh, it is this guy is face down. Tribe is back in hand. Regeki break is being reset. Book of Moon is being reset. Nobleman is back in the hand. And I think this is a uh, and Reaper would go to the graveyard. I take it. OK. And then we will see where we are. So game on, get your game on. We have reset, reset the game. Are we sending back the draws as well? Are we re, did you put your draw back? Just it. All right. Yeah. So just to, just to clear it up for everyone who's listening at home and, uh, and it is, is, uh, is just watching what had happened was the uh, Spirit Reaper should have been dead from that Thousand Eyes Restrict effect. Since it did go face down, his effect did activate and it was targeting that Spirit Reaper. So the Spirit Reaper effect says when this card is targeted, it, it, it just dies. It should have died. Instead of dying, it stayed up and it attacked the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, the judge caught that and, it set and decided to uh, go ahead and repair the game state back to its original position. And then each player will continue on from where it was after that was played. So the cards that were drawn were re-put in the deck and then they are going to redraw, shuffle, and play the game as it happened later on, as if that never happened. So we completely reset the game to that position and then we're going to start it back over as if the Spirit Reaper died and the Thousand Eyes was set. The logs were checked, the cards that were drawn were replaced and then we're gonna continue on. So time warp magic, pretend all that didn't happen and now here we are. Everything is copacetic. Thank you for watching. That is what's going on. Very nice. Previously, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I'm going to be a voice actor one of these days. I'm telling you, that's going to be. <laughs> Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> You're too much sometimes, my friend. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, it's fun. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Game is back on. Woo, what a match. What a match. What a match. These guys got to be fatigued. They got to be exhausted. Played all day yesterday. Going deep into this event today. Top eighting worlds is an achievement, all which to itself. Very impressive run by both of these, all eight of these players so far. So good, so nice. Love to see it. Okay. 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 So, so yeah, gonna is... they rewound the whole sequence of events, and now Insidious is left with a face down. Or sorry, Insidious is left with the Spirit Reaper in the graveyard, and a face down Thousand Eyes Restrict is on the board. And we're gonna kick it over to Insidious, I believe, after Terra was set. He ends turn, passing it back over to Insidious, I believe. Is that is that accurate? I think they're still communicating a little bit here.
thinking about it, talking about, thinking about, thinking about, talking about. Here we go. What's happening? I don't know what they're. Yeah, you have to checking. You have to figure that out. I don't know if we need. They to don't draw know. I, I think they're they're not sure if Insidious needs to draw at this point or not. Yeah. Because he's passing, like, Geisty would be passing the turnover, just trying to make sure the card count is already good. Okay, so, boom. It is draw to Insidious. All right, he so we're, two in we're hand. on Insidious' turn. And we're ready. Okay, now we're back. Now we're back. Uh, I don't, I, I personally, uh, I wish we would have caught that earlier, uh, that that happened that way. I hate doing the whole reset thing. Kind of, kind of takes takes me out of the out of the mindset a little bit but you know i think it's best to kind of do it that way just to make it as fair and as seamless as possible but uh they, they were yeah, able it's to a little bit the more game difficult for could. us because we don't have access to the logs from a commentary perspective right usually the logs are going to be able to be accessed by um the players which then can be given to the the, the judging staff right so i'm sure that somewhere in the logs it, it might have been revealed and much clearer that they both missed a mandatory effect and it was solvable enough that the head judge TK Griffiths ruled that they'll be able to rewind the game state as much as possible. So no like extra shuffling of the deck or anything. They're just going to put the cards back to where they needed to be before any of this happened. And now we're seeing Geist go in with the tribe lizards and break her off the top for Insidious here. All right, all right, all Breaker right. Breaker taking out a Solemn Judgment. A really good pickup for Breaker. Fortunately, had to do this first. And then hitting into the Tribe for a nice little crash. 16 on 16 violence. Knocking that Tribe into the graveyard. Mm. And a Pro Set Heavy Storm. So that's, let's see if that goes through. Maybe it's backed up by a, by a Solemn Judgment. We know that Insidious is not playing the Solemn Judgment. He's not playing a way to negate this card effectively, but he does have access to Regeki Break and Scapegoats. And he's just going to Solemn that right away to just end that chain. No more chains can take place after that. And then the BLS yeah, is heavy, down. Yeah, Heavy Storm, BLS, get, you, get in there. That is how that game is going to end. So, guys, D and Dingo Sig, that is going to be a fantastic match for the winners' finals, the top A. And what what do you see, man? What do you see? Let me tell you about this Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team called the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team. I know some people that are on that team. I know a guy that might be in the commentary booth that is closely related and might be on that team himself. Three people in the top Thank eight. You. From that team, that's one, two, three. Bobby Buckets, Shaggy Powers, and AJ Hussein. I think that's the best team, uh, uh, the best newcoming team for sure. Uh, I don't know. They're all work. the losers bracket right now. So hey, 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 hey. We're gonna keep that negativity to a minimum, my co-host, because right, I don't, uh, I, I don't like that. And I think that if, if reports are accurate, I believe that Bobby Buckets and AJT are close to an end. I want to say, is that the game we're going into? Oh, I, I, I'm getting some reports that Bobby Buckets has 2 owed the player of the year. Bobby Buckets is moving on, has defeated AJT, removing him from this tournament. Oh, my goodness. Bobby Buckets will be playing Insidious. Shaggy Powers is playing Ace currently right now. Guys D and Dingo Sig will be playing each other. So, wow, wow, wow. Everyone, take your hats off to the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Team. Give them some congratulations so, because they have put the work in and they have gotten the results. Love so right now, it. if we're looking at this at the bracket right now, sitting in the the, the winner's finals, going into the finals of the uh, like who, who's going to be determined to go to the grand finals here is Geist D running Goat Control and Dingo Sig running Chaos Return. I mean, if you told me what is going to be in the, the winner's finals yesterday, I would have just said, oh, it's probably going to be like a Turbo Mirror, right? Or like Turbo versus Warrior. I mean, and, oh no, my goodness. The, these guys are are killing it on the, yeah. the decks that they know how to play the best. I mean, Dingo Sig is known for playing this, this deck. 
And we're look we're looking at the top. The, I think the results just came in for the top six. Just to piggyback off of that, we have Go Control, we have Chaos Return or or return based strategy. We have Insidious on Chaos Control. We have Bobby Buckets on Warrior. We have one player on Chaos Turbo, and we have an Earth Aggro deck. So six different strategies okay, being being shown, being showcased. You could not have asked for a greater outcome of this event. What and a it's, showing. it's gonna be it's gonna be ultra instinct on ultra instinct violence. Shaggy oh, yeah. Powers versus AJ Hussein. Only one Ultra Instinct member can make it out of this event, but we are so proud and blessed to be in this position. All the hard work and effort from this Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling team is being showcased right now in this event by having three members of the same dueling team in the top eight of this event. That's impressive. Very Rampage-like. You know, maybe new Rampage? I didn't say that. Who said that? Uh, you said that, so it's, <laughs> I'm joking. Where are we going to next, Maskers? Who are we going to go see? What are we watching? We're standing uh, on the winner's we're, side. We're going to follow watching. on the winner's side, and we're going to take a look at Geist D and Dingo Sig. I know we've been following them all day today, but this is where we're going. This is the the hype. Pass. <laughs> These guys have not lost in the uh, the tournament. So, or, well, they did lose earlier in yesterday, but they haven't lost today at all. I love seeing that. I love seeing that the the six the top six six different decks top eight. You know, you had two uh, you had two turbo decks being featured, or I'm sorry, you had three turbo decks feature in the top eight willing it down to top six being six different uh different decks i, d I don't match i don't see the match up right now we're waiting for dingo to join guys d calls dingo sig dingo bingo i think that's quite hilarious i think that's quite funny okay so dingo bingo and guys d playing against each other in the top this is winners winners finals okay guys d i think uh, he he has the pedigree. Okay, look at all these players. The two players that are playing right now have that pedigree. When you're talking about what is a champion, when you think of a champion, you're thinking of Guy D because he has he's been here before. So he does have that advantage because he's done it before so many times. A lot of newcomers down here in that loser side. Uh, but AJ Hussein is a title champion as well. He has uh, had success in the IRL game back in 2012 in a different format. A little uh, what's that? Uh, trap tricks, trap tricks. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that format, he played that game pretty well and had some success IRL way back in the day. Uh, and City has also had some, had some effects. Bobby Bodega, Shaggy Powers, newcomers essentially blowing up this year. Team Mason at 3v3 getting their invite. So it could go anyway. I think we're in the game now, I believe. Are you seeing it? Is it up for you, uh, it's Masters? It's up. Looks like Dingo Sig is starting this one. Starting off strong with Graceful Charity. You love to see some Trinity in your opening hands. Gotta, gotta love it. It's one of my favorite things. Some old good trend. Getting rid of the Shining Angel. The recruiters have just not seen a whole lot of play. But Dingo Sig, I mean, on, still on that strategy. Oh, man. He's getting some good old light, dark Trinity. And he's got the... And he's, he's got, got the, the pot, pot of greed. What more could you ask for? Maybe Delinquent Duo? Starting off with a full a full trend. We haven't seen a full trend on stream all day. Uh, all, all this whole tournament, we haven't seen we haven't seen one. I'm sure it's probably happened, but we haven't seen one take place. Nothing in main going into the main phase here, so no trap dust shoots from Dingo Sigs and after they drew a bunch of cards and just set a bunch of cards on the field, two in the back, one in the front. Dice D. Keeping all of his cards, no duo has to contest with. Thinking about what to do here. Dingo Sig. Play Solemns as well. We could get into a potential Solemn War down the line as more cards are added to the back row. Mm -hmm. Dingo Sig also, you know, is on return. Has the copies of... And there's a Solemn coming out for the Graceful Charity. Going to deny Geist D a draw at the cost Early of 4,000 life often. points. 4,000, but you want to maintain your advantage that you do have. You don't want to, you don't want to increase the decision or the process that guys D has to go through, giving him more cards, more resources as at hand. You want to keep him kind of locked down. So I think uh, 4,000, that's a hefty cost. I mean, that's if he a has, hefty cost. If it's something like Dust Tornado in the back row, right? You could do like, I'm not sure if this would be, this would be actually be lethal or anything, but he could do a play where he goes Dust Tornado, your back, like your one back row, say guys D does like a T set. And then set the return that's in his hand already Ooh. Ooh. from the Dust Tornado effect. I like where you're going with this. Yeah, I mean, that could that's be something. Spicy. It happens. 
summon a Chaos Monster next turn and then just attack. We might see a T-Set here. No, I'm just going to add a couple more. Might be thinking about that play and <laughs> playing around it. <laughs> Dusternado coming out. Going to hit the first one. It was a solemn. Good one to hit. But no set from Dingo Sig's end. Off All that right. second effect of the Dust Tornado. So Dingo Six trying to maintain his position in the driver's seat. Got those good cards early. Trying to get something happen and trying to maintain that initiative that he currently has. Still up cards based on uh, events that have taken place. Grave Fever Spy is going to increase that value of cards. Uh, bringing another Grave Fever Spy from the yeah. deck. Dingo runs Whoop. three copies of Spy and three copies of um, Dekoichi as his only flip effects. Mm. Both of those cards, if they get hit by Nobleman and Crossout, is actually good for Dingo Sig because he can use his return from the different dimension to just bring them all back and attack with them. Just kill you out of nowhere. So he's gonna hit that hit that Nobleman across out on his set right here. Seeing if he can uh, if he can get that bandage out of there, chunking up to twenty four. Let's see if it goes through. Yeah, it doesn't have to to fear that he hits any of his own Great Keeper spies or Dekoichis because Geist does not have those cards in his deck. Not that, again, Dingo wouldn't mind that. Loves to see Magician of Faith off of this. Making sure that Geist can't get back the Graceful Charity that Dingo negated. And I don't think, uh, is Dingo playing Magician Faith? I don't think he had, he's not on any not. copies of Magician Faith at all. So that's a, that's a fair exchange. That is a fair exchange. Oh my goodness. I am I'm laughing at these comments. I'm so sorry. All right. So setting up, passing it back over to the red corner. Star Greed is going to be played, uh, increasing one to the hand. Not worried about dust shoot. Hitting the Nobleman across on the Dekoichi, just like you stated, Maskus. So now this Dekoichi is going to be fueling the out of play realm. That's something that Guy Steve is going to have to keep in the back of the old brain bucket. Because you don't now return is going to be uh, that that's forty eight or excuse me that's twenty eight hundred points of damage out of play. <laughs> that's right a lot there. of damage for, for return. <laughs> Just hanging out in the in the out of play realm right now, but you and know, there's no, a Borg, the Thunder you know Monarchs, such a MVP, good card. MVP, <laughs> MVP of, of the of of the, of the day for Dingo, I would say this card has been doing work every time we turn, turn put him on the stream. You see that level five Thunder Monarch just blowing stuff up and punching for twenty four. That is. A beefy card. People, get your Zaborgs today. The card's good. Play the card. He's going to have to Solemn Judgment that. Will we get a follow-up Solemn Judgment? We will not. Okay. So that's going to bring him down to a 2,800, which is enough for... Is will he going to go for it, it if he has it? Is, and he doesn't. He elects not to go for it. I, I think Dingo... Uh, not to play right. Dingo has a lot more experience with this deck, I think, than you and I. <laughs> mm. So I feel like he knows the best moments in which to use Return from the Different Dimension, if this is a Return from the Different Dimension. We'll see, see now, thanks to the Breaker. Breaker will reveal. Reveal all, it is the Trap Just Dust Shoot. Trap and dust it was shoot. But That's if it was, up. I mean, I'm not sure if Dingo actually does go for it or not. It's possible that he does and just says, okay, I'll, I'll go for it. They half my life, and if it works out, it works out. But, I mean, Geist D still has access to stuff like Mirror Force. It cannot work out in that case. It could be another Solemn in the back row as well. All right. And that's a that's a, that's a a really, really strong breaker. When the breaker could come out, pop the card, and clear the monster. Oh, but now we got an enemy breaker has landed. Okay, what are you doing here, Maskis? Do you, uh, do you, do you risk it for the biscuit, or do you go for it? What are you going to do? if there's a negate first. I feel like it's more uh, likely that, that there isn't something in the back row for Geist D to block an attack with. So maybe you just clear the breaker, like try to attack with it. So he's saying the counter the counter is at it. And he's gonna go in for it. He's trying to get the return. He's trying to get the he's trying to get the drawback. Oh man, he's so it goes it. through. Double plus breaker situation. Yeah, maybe this, this is just be like a jar. Oh, so Vol Breaker is getting double action happening. Action. That Breaker oh, was man. so much value here. I mean, it left Dingo Sig kind of open. If Geisty had something like a, a a Snatch Deal and then like another monster, might have been might have been able to do a bunch of damage. Swing Tempo in that way. Ooh, and there's Bazoo, the Soul Eater. Now, this is a monster. 
this guy yeah. gonna go up to 2500 <laughs> attack points and more importantly banish three monsters to fuel return from the different dimension now if that breaker can get in and this bazoo can get in and there's no defense this game is over right here yeah, that bazoo like is strong. Strong. and that's it and that's it that's, that's game one dingo oh, sing just running my. over guys d also kind of started by denying that graceful charity turn one just Geisty wasn't able to get any momentum going thanks to that, I believe. That's, that's how you do it. But if you get the trend, you got to get that good trend. You play that trend early and you stop your opponent from playing trend early. It's just kind of spirals out of control. He was just getting so over aggressive, just beating down, sending everybody in. Both of those breakers were getting maximum value. Super, super, super dope match. Love to see it. It's super oh, awkward man. because if you're if you're guys D here, you, you kind of want to keep your solemn judgments in because it's the best tool to like beat an, an opposing solemn judgment. You also need to like make sure that you can solemn away a uh, return from a different dimension if they're going to try to OTK you that way. But solemn judgment, you know, you pay half your life points and you're facing an aggro deck. This this deck from Dingo Sig is for all intents and purposes an aggro deck. He is just it trying is. to get control of the board and attack you with. It, the monsters aren't as big as something like Warriors for the most part. I mean, he does have access to Warrior in um, Blade Knight. He's got DD Warrior Lady as well. He's got some Shining Angels that, that can do a bit of chip, and, and Dekoichi's so strong for, as, in that regards as well. We all, we've seen all day people just normal summoning Dekoichi just to have a guy on the board and attack. And just pound, so, just pound. Absolutely. Yeah, just, it's going to be interesting to see what, what guys decides to do here and how to combat the strategy. Maybe he brings in uh, more dust tornadoes to try to just pick off the solemns or the the returns before they're able to activate ever. Uh, you could also see the Sakuretsu armors coming in. Karibo it could be an option for him as well if, if he, you know, Dingo tries to go for that big return push. Just use a Karibo. Oh, I forgot he does damage. have access to that to that car. Uh, uh, they I, both have man. access for Karibo. I know that's interesting. Do you think he brings it in? I mean, it's still level one. It's still dark. Know. You can still go meta stuff. It's gonna. He's going to oh, TT that right away. TT the trade one for one, but Dingo going to set four. Kind of like a, a, and take a look at the hand as well. Dust shoot as well. Takes the dust shoot. Let's see what's in the hand here. Okay, I might be experiencing a little bit of lag. I don't know if that is on me or if that is on. Let's check into this. Okay, he might just be thinking. He's still just viewing yeah, the hand. Okay, so I'm here. thinking about what he wants to send back. Probably will break down the hand for us. Okay, so I'm getting some in the in the in the comment. We're saying 2012 was a uh, Dino Rabbit Wind Wind Up Executor format. Okay, so that's yeah, that's where he played. Or I might I might be mistaken. I think he played with the 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 hat. I think he played hat. I want to say he played hat format. That was 2014. Is that 2014? So I might be mistaken. I think he played from 2012 up until uh, 2014. I know he's a very good hat player as well. Uh, AJ Hussein is. I'm talking. So I'm about. gonna gonna send back Magician of Faith here, and the rest of the hand is Abyss Soldier, Sukiyomi, Nobleman of Crossout, Metamorphosis, and Heavy Storm. And the Heavy Big Storms heavy are solving. Storm. Yikes! That's a strong, strong Heavy Storm. But it's misclicking. He's calling misclick. Misclicked it. Let's see, because I mean, I guess it's fast enough. To go back, yeah, you, you take it. I think that's a misclick. I think he hit the wrong one. He's trying, probably trying to hit the solemn judgment. I would assume. Uh, I would assume that is what is going on. Because why, why would you, uh, why would you death tornado a, a, uh, a heavy storm? I think that's. Masses is uh he's, he's with me. I, I they're 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 trying to uh they're trying to ask for a judge. What happened? It, it looks like a misclick. Uh, he hit the dust tornado, trying to probably solemn judgment here, and they're trying to get a judge to kind of clean up. TK is in the building again. A huge, I, can't, I, I must say, shout out to these, uh, shout out to these judges. Every time they have to make a judge call, uh, all the judges. TK being the head judge, we got Cal Calcifer who who had to manually do that Swiss event by hand yesterday. All day he kind of did that, and we and it went 
exceptionally smooth. So shout out to him. Shout out to TK. Shout out to uh, a Manic Lord and Leswin Fox and everyone who is volunteering their time. If I'm missing anybody, I do apologize greatly. But to the judging MMF staff. And, and Cameron also oh, okay, volunteered. Yeah. K- M- MMF as well and Killer Cam. Really appreciate that. And uh, I got to give a huge shout out to, uh, to Dueling Book as well, man. You guys are killing it. Uh, I know we had some lag. I'm not going to jinx it because it's not over, but Dueling Book has absolutely been crushing it ever since they reset these servers, and we are zooming uh, today. So I really appreciate it, and, and yesterday as well. So very, very, very cool stuff. All right. So, <clears throat> so just, I, right. I, I presume that we're reviewing the log here and seeing if, you know, this was a, a, a misclick or if it was a intentional, I'm going to let the storm resolve sort of play i mean i that's that's one of my I, I, that's one of my least favorite aspects about the online game opposed to the uh opposed to the real life game because it's just stuff like this happens way too way too consistently with the clicking and the buttons and the missing and oh uh, it just seems it seems a lot of a lot of extra thought has to go into it and it takes time to uh to do that but both of these players have been playing for actual years now lots of experience from both of these players 4500 for uh for dingo sig and also 4500 for geisty so that's a lot of experience a lot of compet highly contested competitive matches for both these players as well uh no surprise dingo topped this event last year as we mentioned before and geist d has won four major titles in the current goat format game so both of them no 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 surprise that they are in this position and uh we're going to see how, how it goes down going forward That is true. That is true. That might be uh, that might be against the case. Mm. So they okay. are going to allow the misclick to happen, and he is going to okay. use solemn judgment instead. So uh, I'm going to reveal some information there, not on purpose, obviously, but was you know did it quick enough and called misclick quick enough. Basically, the same thing as just like flipping your card up by accident when you didn't mean to. Yeah, you didn't mean to. I mean, that's 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 easy. So we got that set, and we're going. So the abyss, the abyss soldier is on the board. He's sticking and he is doing damage. But we have the DD war lady who's going to attack, taking three more damage from uh, from Dingo Sig, and then banishing that abyss soldier. Now, Di- Geisty is up, and he has a little bit of information, knowing that one of those cards is in fact a dust tornado. Sets into it, just getting out of the way now, using the dead metamorphosis. All right, so now Dingo Sig is on the draw, way down in life points. Shining Dingo Angel knew that there was in. a meta in the hand as well from the 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 dust shoot. So I don't think Dingo, if even though he misses, like it, it's not a, a, a real like a real trap card, right? That you want to hit right. with your dust tornado. I don't think he minds using the dust tornado there to get rid of a metamorphosis, especially because he kind of knows the hand is a little bit weak. Now Sukiyomi okay. coming down, going to be able to combo with the knock. The knock. But Dingo Su- had to push for damage there. He's Suki knock is an impressive so combination. Uh, I've been that's a combo that's been way back to the playground and grade grade school combination. Suki knock that goes way back. Love to see that. Uh, another dust tornado hitting the solemn judgment. Tribe infecting virus going to, is is pressing for game and that's going to just end it. So guys, D hits the gas pedal on Dingo just the way that Dingo just, did and ends this game extremely quickly. See, that's a situation where the solemn like kind of backfires on you because he he wanted to use it to protect himself from the heavy storm. Wanted to keep his dust tornadoes, even though he knew the hand already. It didn't seem that the dust tornadoes were going to be like very powerful but just in case you know if if, thing, if geisty wanted to set cards in the back row he'd be able to pick them off pretty easily uh make way for his monsters to come through but but geist just had more monsters instead this was able to beat down all right as we're uh, as we're as we're rolling into game three uh, as you guys have time make sure you swing by the goformat.com website get into the discord they're all in the announcement section spooky has finished all of the deck text for the top uh players that uh that that he's written them for so get over there and check those out it's a great read spooky is a fantastic writer shout out to him for 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 doing that for us i love reading those things every time uh every time they come out a lot of work goes into that so make sure you check those out too we also have 
uh, player interviews of all of our top 16 players. The first half of them have been published. Check back later today to see the second half getting published as well. Get a little bit more insight on our, our top 16 players as well as view all their past credentials and the beautiful player cards that were created for them. 100%, 100%. And uh, and we haven't we haven't said this we haven't said this today as they're as they're getting to the game I don't want to I wait to I wait to this but if if you have these skills if you're a talented writer or if you're a talented producer or if you have video making skills or if you have any type of skills and you want to create stuff for Goat Format please reach out we are always looking for people who can write we are always looking for people who uh, want to dedicate some time to uh, help promote the format we can use we keep, we're looking for you so make sure to reach out to us and uh, if you want to be a part of that uh, let us know and there's uh, there's incentive programs to help. Uh, if you want to, if you want to play, if you want to play in the Patreons or anything like that, so make sure you reach out and let us know. But this is the world. Gotta let, gotta let you know that. All right, but we are in the game. Get yeah, the game it looks on. like game so. It looks three. like Dingo started just by setting three and then setting one in the front row. Now we have Dusternado taking out the Sakuretsu armor that Geisty sided in. I think that's a, I think that's a good side. I think he made a good point. This is at its core an aggressive style of deck. So having a card that can just put moss in the graveyard that are attacking is always valuable. But let me tell you, this yeah. started off with graceful charity as well. Drew Dingo was able to draw three cards and then discarded the DD Warrior Lady and the the Sangan. The Borg is crazy right here. This is his Borg when he's at his strongest. Okay, Breaker's coming down. Breaker is going to. Yeah, so set himself up for light and dark already, and now Breaker comes down. Big Breaker at 19. Ugh, this can battle whatever. I mean, Cyberjar is crazy. Cyberjar yeah, hurts. If, Morphin Jar if is If Geist great. kept Cyberjar in, that would be wild if this is a Cyberjar. Oh, it's a DD Warrior Lady. DD okay. Warrior Lady. So you block an attack here. Now, does Geist want to trade his DD Warrior Lady in? Or, sorry, does Dingo want to trade his Breaker in for the DD Warrior Lady? The decision point that okay. he's got to decide now. Do you otherwise, want to go ahead and change? The guys, or otherwise, guys, is stalling. Yeah, with this uh, D Warrior Lady, the onslaught is being blocked. The blocking, and he's gonna go for it. Go ahead and putting that sixteen hundred out of play. So whenever I, you see someone I uh, think that's playing correct. return strategy, keep just keep a tally, a mental tally of how much life point damage is in the out of play realm. And that is that is also a factor this game when return is available. Yeah, I mean, like you're saying, with return available, I think it's correct that you do this. Like, you, yeah, you lose your your value out of the breaker that could potentially break this back row that Geisty just set. But your breaker is now banished. You can bring it back for damage with return, and you continue the beatdown. You saw how important last game the beatdown was for Geisty in order to close out the game and, and push it to this game three. Dingo Sig understands that as well and wants to get in the damage with wherever possible. Okay, okay, okay. He's got to figure out how is he going to fight this T set. He's got a lot of cards to work with. Uh, so Borg here, like we said earlier, would be really big. Going absolutely insane. Zaborg is so strong. That card is just giving people fists. I think Zaborg is going to be played very wow, carefully going the into the next the merch dog? Is that a merch? With that the heavy set? Actually picking off the heavy storm. And if Geist Ooh. D had, had enough foresight and has a solemn set, he might be able to force through this heavy storm and simplify the game state. He's thinking oh, on the battle man. phase, though. He's going to punch in for another 12. Dingo is got to be feeling vulnerable if he has a solemn to protect all those sets or if he just wants to start using those sets now to kind of get some value out of them before this heavy storm is played because like you said if that is solemn down ugh, this game could be wrapping up relatively know, quickly did, did, as well guys have that kind of that mental foresight where he's like yeah i'm just gonna get a heavy storm off this merchant and That'll i'm gonna put level. the solemn next to it so I, i'm gonna be good here this is gonna resolve i mean also you know you could just play it and, and just half Dingo's life points, and yeah. this is all assuming that Dingo even has a solemn face down. He could not. He could just have a yeah, bunch he, of back row. We've seen, we've seen a big blowout. It could be a, this could be a blowout situation. We'll see. But maybe Geist has some value in that set that he has here, so he might not, he might not want to uh, he might not want to remove that just yet. So we'll see. We'll see how these players do it. Man, I'm intense. I'm on the edge of my seat. Hopefully, you guys are liking it. Hopefully, you guys are is, are rocking with us as well. This is make or break because you know this. Whoever wins this is guaranteed at least second place. That's crazy. 
that's crazy. This is this is intense. Oh man. Oh, I'm I'm so glad. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now for both of these players. But again, this these two guys on the winner's side, they have yeah. that championship pedigree, man. They've been here so many times. It's not it's like probably walking apart for them. But for and, me, I'm I like mean, Yeah, like they'll they'll still get the battle for first place. They'll, they'll be sitting comfortably in the winner's side of the bracket for whoever wins this match. But more in I think the most important thing is that they're they're getting all the swag that, you know, guaranteed second will get. But an invite to next year as well is on the line in this match. That is impressive. That would take so much pressure off, you know, of the of the grind because it's a grind. These invites are hard to get, and they're only going to become even harder going into the next and dueling this season. This is super interesting. Going to start with the th with the tribe infecting virus first, even though we know that the heavy storm is in the hand. Going to try to scout for a solemn judgment first before anything ha before like committing to the heavy storm play at all. Oh man, Whew. oh man. So let's see what's happening. Let's see if we can get some value out of this tribe. What's he gonna do with it? Is he going to elect to negate this summon? Maybe, maybe, let's see it, I don't know. Dingo is big time thinking here. Yeah, Dingo has to consider that. Did he set a Solemn? He's gonna let it resolve, asking for priority. Priority, is he going to do it? Hmm, everyone thinking, thinking here, thinking beard. It is a tough decision. Have to think of what possibly those four back rows could be. Dingo has access to multiple Solemns. Could, could he have sided in more Sakura to Farmers? I don't know if you do that. He, do, he does call, he does call a uh, priority and uses the Morphing Jar to And it remove. resolves. So and no, nothing like Book of Moon from Dingo's side. To protect one of the the gray peepers and we're going to set one and we're going not pass. attacking and no set attack. one might be the solemn from earlier and he's going to try to dust get tornado. Up. yes <laughs> dust oh tornado being God. able to get rid of solemn judgment so geist was trying to set up that play that we were talking about earlier but dingo uh -huh. with the multiple dust tornadoes picking it dust off very smart play from dingo dust tornado is looking great too dingo is making dust tornado look like a phenomenal car it's looking so <laughs> strong the way he's using his dust tornado <laughs> It kind of fired the last game, JDZ. Here, it was very good because it was good. I mean, no, I'm talking throughout the. I'm, you know what? You guys have a short term memory. I'm talking about the entire the entirety of this event. He's. I've seen Dingo play a line. That Dustin has been doing great great work for him so far. It backfired. Yes, yes, it did backfire once, but he's not giving up on it. He's going to keep it in there. So he's going to swing in with Here the, comes sure the Priest. Sure, a Priest a card that fell out of favor. Oh man, oh man, how much graveyard check? Popular. Somebody graveyard check. How much damage is that out of play? Oh, I'm scared. I'm tilting. Oh no, what's happening? Oh and god. Here's here return. <laughs> oh man, the return has been returned. Oh no. So that might be game unless Guys D has a response. Oh, he might have it backed up with a solemn judgment as well. Just play the cards and we will see. And there it is, solemn judgment. And has he's got been scapegoat played. here in he's response to it. see, and then you have to test for the solemn if Dingo there has it. it is. This, and this, this game, game. <laughs> Wow, oh. return from a different dimension. Ashura Ooh. just needs to clear the goats anyway. It didn't even matter that he had scapegoat. Oh man. So that dust tornado actually kind of just kind of just popped that off. That dust right tornado there. sealed the deal for Dingo Sagan. He is moving on to the grand finals of the GOAT Format World Championships 2022. He is guaranteed at least second place. He's also guaranteed an invite to next year's GOAT Format World Championships. And now that, that All grind is hard. Yeah. Chaos Return, the deck that he uh, top aided <laughs> this same event last year with. I think, uh, I think, I think Geisty is going to regret not going ahead and just ripping that heavy storm right there. I think he's going to I think he's going to think about that I one for a while. He had, I mean, I don't know if he had the du the double solemn. He might have been able to yeah. use the heavy storm a little bit earlier. And then if cuz if, if he if he rips the storm there, I I think he might he might feel a little bit better. He might feel I, a little I, bit better. I see the I play that he was trying to go for because, you know, he had the solemn in the hand already. He could have set it there like he tried to and then have a safe little play. He thought that, okay, even if I use my goat here to protect myself from being OTK'd from uh, return from the different dimension, and he tries to solemn my goat. I have a solemn for the solemn, and then my heavy storm gets a lot better. But that dust tornado really Ooh, picking return. off the the solemn judgment, doing a whole lot of work in that game. Even though the game before we saw him just getting beat down because he had two dust tornadoes that weren't really doing anything in, in that match, like you're saying, JDZ, 
making Dust Tornado look really, really strong. And not just this game. All all the games he's played, man. It's been it's been uh it's been a it's been a treat. Okay, so it looks like we are going uh where where are we going next, Matthew? We're gonna see Shaggy, we're gonna see Shaggy P versus AJH. This is team on team violence in the top eight in the losers bracket. Winner goes on, loser goes home. Uh, but they all made prizes, and no, I I think that either player will be happy for the other player, but they're gonna play it out. Because on UI, uh, we don't scoop. We just gonna we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it and we're gonna settle it the way it's meant to be settled. They're gonna play each other like they don't know each other, and it's gonna be a mess. So they should be hosted up here soon, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I just saw the game. Are you guys in game? I I saw it and it ended right as I right as I got in there. All right, all right, all right. If we can get uh, if we can get someone to go ahead and prompt those duelists to go ahead and hop into the game, so we can go ahead and start. Uh, AJH versus Shaggy Powers will be the next next deck. Shaggy playing this Earth Aggro deck. I love the deck. I think it's very cool. I love to see it. I love to see him playing it. I think it's funny. Uh, and then you got AJ Hussein again, probably one of the most slept on Chaos Turbo players. He is sneaky good as well. Very talented. Any player can take it. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Keep it locked. And all that. Okay, where are we at right now? Where are we at right now? Mm. Yo, 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 yo. All right, all right, all right. So uh, as we're waiting on this game to load up, if you are interested in playing this game on a competitive level, if you play this game all the time already and you're looking for a Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling team, guess what? You might be in luck because the Go Format War League season will be starting very soon. Signups and registrations are open right now. So if you want to play for that, that is another way to play this game. But let me warn you, this is not for the faint of heart. This is for the people who are addicted to Go Format, who play Go Format all the time. Very competitive scene over there. It will get you good very quickly. That's how uh, I would say Shaggy has increased his skills dramatically. A lot of these players who play in the Go Format War League have increased their skills dramatically. So shout out to uh, some of the founders of um, WGM, uh, Insidious, Kuru, myself, uh, New War Chief, Leswin Fox, and uh, and and indoors out there. We're, we're setting up for season two. It's going to be a banger. So it's not too late. You can qualify for Worlds playing in the Go Format War League as well. So if you're into that thing, hit me up. We can send you the link. We can get you in there if that's something that you want to do. Find you a team, dedicate some time to your hobby, and get better. It's lots of fun. So this thing should be hosting up very soon. Uh, I'm still waiting. We got Shaggy and AJH. Did they play? Am I missing something? No, they, they're, they're, we're waiting for them. It's a, it's a lot of, it's a, it's, it's, it's very, very competitive though. So keep that in mind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still waiting. Waiting and wishing, but while we're waiting, let's go ahead and pull this uh pull this bracket back up. We have Insidious. It's it appears as if F, as if Insidious has sent the Wonder Kid Bobby Buckets home, has defeated Bobby Buckets and moved on to the quarterfinals. Yeah, I believe that's are, what that is. We're waiting for the rest of these uh this bracket to fill out. So, folks at home, you guys are not going to miss a single game. From here on out, all the games are going to be covered for the rest of the tournament. Right now, we have AJ, Hussein, Shaggy Powers still in the tournament here. to decide who moves on in the loser side of the bracket. While waiting for them is Insidious, who, like JDZ just said, defeated Bobby Buckets just now. And Geist D, after taking a loss to Dingo Sig, not out of the tournament just yet, sitting in loser's finals. But we got Shaggy and AJ. All right, all right, all right. This is going to be a team battle. Winner goes home, or winner goes on, loser goes home. They're going to do it. It's going to be a clash. Look at these profile pictures. I love seeing both of these players. They just cracks me up. And AJ is looking so cool and suave like a Chaos Turbo player. When I think of Chaos Turbo, I think of a guy wearing a suit and some rose tinted glasses. When I think of an Earth aggro player, I think of a shirtless cowboy man eating some straw or whatever's going on here. Honestly, <laughs> you really, these, these guys really do embody their deck types, huh? Like... This is what I think of. So I think that's very fitting that both of these players are, <laughs> are, do, are doing that. So Shaggy will be going first, uh, playing the scissors, which beats the paper, and they are going to move on to game one. Good luck, have fun to both of these players. I just want to see some clean lines, tight play, no misplays, no sex, and just get busy. I want All to right. see I want to see some goblin attack forces coming down and crushing 
Start with the DD assailant first. DD assailants in, slammed and moved on, throwing it over to AJH. Uh, a lot of test matches have gone between both of these players. I know they have both went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I think they're about 50 50 in, so, in, in matches. So it's going to be interesting to see who wins it right now. Great advantage so far for AJH, starting off with the pot of greed. As a turbo player, you got to love that. You know, getting good trend early is usually going to spell success for you. Yeah, big pot of greed here. Starting off with just uh, some set cards, though. Going to try to defend themselves from the onslaught that might be coming from Shaggy Powers' aside. Dust Tornado picking off back row. See if Shaggy decides to select one, or maybe he's going to roll, do a 50-50. Going to opt it's for the Jar of Greed. N not, I mean, ideally, that's, a, that's, that's fine. Like, you get rid of this Jar, and now they can't draw it because they just said it this turn. Mm-hmm. But you, so, you really want to hit something better. <laughs> still been uh, still been that that one for still been one for one. I think that's uh that's not that's not bad value. Yeah, it's it's better value. than you just losing the card. There's the goblins. The goons. <laughs> the goon attack force has landed. The squad. Oh, no man, <laughs> cross out. Ooh, Get out of here, magician of faith. Get them all out of here. All the magicians of faith will be removed from the deck. <laughs> and th this could be four K so just in one shot here, and there's no more magician of faith left in AJ Saints deck. That means one of them probably is in the hand. One of them is in the hand for sure. So just and just like that, that is four thousand life that points is damage. Just 4, half of your health damage. gone. Goblin attack force has to go to bed. At the end of battle phase, okay, okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to main phase two for Shaggy. Let's see if we can get some protection down for the blue corner in order to, uh, you know. Stop, stop, stop AJ, AJ Hussein snapback. Okay, AJ is drawing, throw it into the standby phase and thinking, purveying this field. Graveyard is not set up in any form or fashion. He does have some good trend in there. He does have a set card, sets one over, throws it back to Shaggy. It's probably the second faith. Really wants to get that pot of greed back. Does Shaggy have an answer to this? Could be like Mystic Swordsman level two. Could be Nobleman a cross out. The second copy. Exile Force would also yeah. work. But now nah, I'm just going to attack in here. Attack in with the Assailant hitting the second Magician of Faith. Okay, so he did not remove one for the deck, which is a great indicator that one was still going to be in the hand. Uh, AJ, back. AJ only has one back, copy. AJ only has one copy of Book of Moon. I'm thinking of a cute play that he might have been able to do by normal summoning the Magician of Faith and then attacking the, the, the Goblin Attack Force. Probably not the best idea. If you have a book to back it up, that, that could be okay. But, I mean, you know, that'd be really funny to see. A uh, Magician of Faith clearing a, a Goblin Attack Force. <laughs> a I, goblin. I'm sure that wouldn't be the first time it, it, it has ever happened in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But, I wanted to see it here at the uh, the top tables at Worlds. That'd be great. That would be nice. That would be nice. And Turbo now, getting to do some Turbo stuff. Shaggy commenting, great plays. Gets to resolve Pot of Greed for a second time this duel. Followed up by a graceful charity. You are a star. Shaggy trips me out. I, I love this guy so much. He is a trip, man. If you get to know this dude, you there's no way you can spend any time, any amount of time with Shaggy and not just absolutely uh, love this guy. He's great. <laughs> just read the comments. Okay. We are uh, we got, we're still resolving this graceful charity. All right. Throwing out the Sinister Serpent. And also, let's see if we're going to toss out here. So this is this is a turbo this is a turbo festival a festival of turbo happening uh, expeditiously sending you got the light and dark setup got a lot of good trend this is exactly yeah, you what got, you want got sinister in the grave as well yeah this is this is uh this is this is this is turbo at its best so if Shaggy can manage to push through this game and get a W here then I, I think I think it's uh, he's just a man possessed and he won't be able to be stopped in this event. But, you know, this is this is not looking great for the blue corner. Tides are turning. The resources are just growing exponentially for the red corner. And the breaker is coming down. Breaker the Magical Warrior has landed. Uh, let's see if he's going to elect to use that effect on what or if he's going to try to try to do something here. No, no there's really no reason to, to not do it this way. He's going to use that effect to pop the set, which is the Mirror Force. Great hit on the Mirror Force. Super good hit. And then we're going to. Go ahead and swing in, swinging in onto the attacking goblin force, the goblin attack force. 
uh, has found their way to the graveyard. So Breaker's getting a plus up. That's a that's a powerful Breaker. And he's breaking and killing. You're feeling great. Now main phase two gonna opt to summon a chaos monster here. Probably gonna be the chaos sorcerer. Throw it up in attack mode. And then the Sork is gonna come out in main phase two and go ahead and remove that DD assailant from the game. Let's see if we can see a, a punchy, punchy smashing ground coming down. Shaggy does have access to three of those cards in his deck. You could also now, summon a Gigante Seer and try to crash it into. Whoa. Well, this is a little bit better if you can just storm. flip off the pro heavy storm. Yikes. If you are AJ. Yikes. 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 Oh, man. You got to be absolutely sick to your stomach if you see that pro set storm flipping. I know good and well that AJ oh, does no. not play. Oh, no. He took a moon. He book a moon, the chaos sorcerer. Okay, to protect you know from the means. punch. To protect from the punch. No, no, no! It doesn't get protected from anything because you can just summon goblin attack force and attack over Ooh, it. <laughs> if he's got it, Gigante's goblin attack force is a mess right now. I would be absolutely floored. I would if, clear the whole uh, board if that is what it is. So, uh, let's see it. He also has access to the mystic swordsman. Can summon Mystic Swordsman here and attack? Could get a giant rat attack into the breaker first, then get a Mystic Swordsman to out the, the Chaos Sorcerer. A lot of things that he can do. Let's see how he breaks it down. We don't know what those whole cards are. We don't know what he has access to. A lot of different things can take place, but that Heavy Storm was a It's, it's in his best bomb. interest to, to deal with the monsters as efficiently as possible because he's going to be able to... Oh, here's a giant rat first. And then the Gigante. So yeah, this is going to work. He's going to be able to yeah. crash the giant rat. And then the Gigantes can clear off the uh, the breaker. And yeah, his whole board will be gone with a... Uh, oh, wow. What a turn. What a turn. What a turn. Goodness now, gracious, what a turn. If what you're Shaggy, do you go through all of your rats just to, just to siphon through your deck? I don't think so. I think you're just going to go ahead and just get right to that level two. Get busy with that. And then uh, and just keep those rats in because later on, Shaggy you know, agrees. yeah, because later on uh, he he might find himself a face up to Koichi if uh, if if he can, and then he can just continue uh, to continue to uh, crash those rats if need be later on. But wow, 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 what a turn! Let's see how AJ is going to respond to that. He is rattled, but he is de definitely not out. He's going to have to send a card. To AJ still has a bunch of cards to work two. with. I mean, it's, he's not out of the game. He is down in life. And the uh, the board is in Shaggy's favor. Oh, that's a great rebuttal. But that's a great rebuttal. You're you're exactly right. <laughs> hitting the hitting the the Earth Spirit or the the Gigantes, and then he's going to go ahead and smack over the level two. That is a that is a great value for yeah. It doesn't your need card. to uh, discard another card if he doesn't have to for the uh, the tri infecting virus, just to get the get the the big one out of the way. Attack over the small guy, and there's an even bigger one. In the Ninja assailant. is down. Let's see if this attack goes through. It does, so that is going to be a clean answer to the tribe infecting virus with the Zabuza, I call him. The great forbidden, the great rogue ninja <laughs> is on the field, and he is doing damage. Snatch Steel is powerful. Snatch Steel is a good one. <laughs> you treachery yeah, it's a rogue ninja for a reason the zabuza is not working for the enemy he works for the person with the highest amount of money and there it is it's set one beside it 1000 will be added to uh shaggy's life points as well not to be a, a lore master but dd assailant is a woman so really not not call 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 them a he i'm telling you i don't know i don't is that true because I've seen, uh, there, there's a current card that has DD Assailant. It looks like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll be wrong. I'll be wrong. Because I've been wrong. <laughs> okay. I, I'll be wrong. I will be wrong. Neither they're just Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so whatever. But <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So we have main phase one. Steal for Shaggyton. Shag Shaggerton power. Just thinking about it. Heavy Storm has already been used. One Dust Tornado has already been used. Not we a got ton that of decision set. points that, that Shaggy can really make here. I guess it just does decide is this optimal enough to use my Smashing Ground on the card that is just going to beat me down and deciding, yeah, I'll, I'll take it here. Couldn't find a, a back row removal. If he had something like MST to just get his monster back, that would have been more ideal. 
than using the Smashing Ground, but not in the cards. So he elected to go ahead and get that out of there. Maybe he could have he could have been been a little, but okay. Here are these spies. Now you know what time it is when the spies start flipping. Uh, you gotta you gotta start bracing for impact. But he elects to limp one on out in defense position and uh, punches in for twelve. So that's that's pretty cool. We're trying to yeah, playing a little bit conservatively on the spies and you don't want to. I guess it doesn't really matter because Shaggy's only gonna be able to summon one monster a turn, and unless he does top deck a Gigante, then he can clear both of them. And here's and Gigante coming out now. But is it possible that there's another one in the hand? I mean, <laughs> Jackie would is. have played <laughs> a monster before the last turn to try to get rid of the spy. So he smacks that spy, bringing him down to a 2,900 life point total. Still no light monster for the red corner. One injection lily attack direct could just end this game as well. Yeah, injection so lily would be pretty it, pretty good here. AJ if you get it through, I mean, there's so much in the front that Shaggy has to deal with. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, he's Shaggy got also is looking Delinquent for a ring. Duo. Delinquent duo. Uh, I mean, the Sinister might still be in the hand unless AJ decided to set it. Getting rid of BLS. Oh, it is a serpent. He, dev he definitely had it. So now Shaggy knows is a that. huge pick off, though. <laughs> but now he does have that light monster. So he does he has access to at least one more Chaos monster, as we do know. So Chaos is live in the event that Chaos Sorcerer is, uh, is found later on in this event. And he's going to battle in. We're going to just continue to swing with this Gigantes. Do you guys say Gigantes or Gigantes? Gigantes. What is your pronunciation? Gigantes. They all Gigantes. G I know. I heard people say Gigantes, Gigantes, Gigantes. I've said it like a, <laughs> a thousand saying. different ways in my life. <laughs> Giga Chad. Giga, Giga Shagante. What do you guys want to say? I think it's cool. MST. Or MST. Night of Salem took out the, the Gigantes. Now we got. Yeah, it looks that like that that Shaggy Powers actually drew the MST the the following turn before using the uh, the smashing because I don't think he he just didn't he just passed on the after you smashing ground so maybe the mm. last card in hand was the Gigante so I mean it would just been better to use the the MST in that case if you already had it. And what are but we doing here? Are you just going to wall person. up? I mean, it's kind of not good here to attack, right? And just wall up and so let's, let's let let those let that gang do their thing book of moon just sinks your whole ship uh but he already has one in the graveyard i think he only has I access only to one, the one yeah uh i think oh man that's rough that's rough but sitting out there you're, you're you're falling victim to ajh's ring of destruction which is a card so he's gonna go to battle phase and just gonna swing. i don't like this and that is game but the ring folks. is coming out anyway and there's nothing that the shaggy can do about it that is going to be game so after a back and forth, a lot of trend came out for the triple player early. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of comeback for Shaggy. A lot of great plays from both sides. I thought it was a clean game uh, for the most part. Maybe maybe there's a world Shaggy waits a little bit on that uh, on that smashing ground, gets his DD assailing back, and continues to press. But AJ played it as well as you could, survived that heavy storm blowout, and we're going into game two. So looking up the decks for both players. Let's see what kind of stuff they're going to kind of side in. Uh, like I said, these two players have played each other a, a significant amount of times in training and testing for this event with both of these specific decks. So they know exactly what the other person is going to do. Um, but that's a little inside information that I have. We got Shaggy Powers. He's probably going to bring in those mine cons. Okay, this is Turbo. He's probably going to bring in those trap dust shoots and maybe even that level two as well. Um, and for AJ Hussein. I would say those soccer rest armors have got to come in. Maybe even those Berserk Gorillas. Uh, Jinzo, perhaps. Maybe even Mobius. Definitely the Swords as well. So we'll see how they break this thing down. The, the soccer rest uh, for sure have to come in. Got to. Maybe, maybe you put in... I don't think you put in Jinzo here. There's not a lot of traps that Shaggy yeah, actually plays. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah. I don't know, but just Shaggy that, just here, that though, body, what, just, what you, just that body of Jinzo. Do, do you put in Tiger? I mean, Tiger's fine, I guess, but... If you're Shaggy? If you're Shaggy, yeah. I, I mean, don't think... My control yeah. would be good, just move stuff out of the way. If he could resolve the Dark Dust Spirit in his in his side deck, that would be one for the ages. Dark Dust Spirit, I'm a big fan of this card, but... That card's slight on, too. I don't know if it's the best in, in GOAT format. Dust shoots for sure come in for Shaggy, especially going first. 
Man, I don't know. We'll we're going to see how. See how... All right. Oh, let's see. As we're as we're waiting, they're waiting to to do it. Let's see. Uh, AJ, I think uh, maybe that Jinzo might that Jinzo might be good too if you're AJ Hussein because you just need a body. You need somebody that can stick and just just be there. And if you can start crashing into those Gigantes, you can uh, clear some of uh, Shaggy's opposition threats as well. So I don't know. We're going into it. They figured it out, and we're going into game number two with Shaggy Powers going first. And AJ Hussein is going to be the response. The Lincoln duo is a fantastic way to start a game. As we mentioned before, I can't think of a better way to start a game, especially game two. The Lincoln duo being ripped early and often. Selecting the middle card, and that is going to be. It's going to be MST. MST and the and Chaos, Chaos Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Chaos Sorcerer dead early. You don't want to have it just sitting there. So, might as well just get it into the graveyard so you can get some get some graveyard setup stuff happening. Shaggy, thing about the next play. Last play was Hard Summon DD Assailant Pass. Let's see if that is going to be the play this time. What is it going to be? Mm -mm. Thinking about it. And he's going to go ahead and set. What are we setting in this deck? Might be a might be a uh, uh, might be the Adidas assailant. Could be a giant rat. Could be a bluff. Could be a goblin attack force. Flip knock swing. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Imagine setting goblin attack force. It's like a Batman. <laughs> That'd be insane. But delinquent duo again. I've seen that. We've seen that quite a few times. We have delinquent duo to match delinquent duo played by the adversary. He's going to go ahead and throw out the goblin attack force. Get Let's him see out what of here. going to toss here. And a Rota. So the the two cards in Shaggy's hand, he says, these are better than any warrior monster in my deck. Okay, okay. That might be the case. It's possible that the one that he already wants is, you know, in his hand already. Something like the Mystic Swords on level two to answer the face down that just hit the board from AJ's side. Ah, what could this flip monster be though? We're thinking that it could be the giant rat. So it usually the is another goblin attack force. Another the, one. The goblins. The exile, exile force. force. <laughs> the set exile force is crazy. Oh man, that's a that's a high risk, high reward play. All right, but he's gonna pop the great yeah, spot, which is a great spy, hit. And here they come. They're coming in. They're coming in. Twenty three hurts a lot. That's hefty damage. That's big damage. That's big like damage. Nothing to protect with. Just here's twenty three points of burn damage. Well, battle damage, really, but if you think about it, it's like casting a, a magic card that says deal 23 to your opponent. And you're fine with that sometimes. Sometimes you go one for one and uh, and smack in. I've seen people use uh, the Goblin Attack Force with Ectoplasma as well. Sometimes Ooh, you can hit, oh my control. goodness, what a strong mind control. Gets Let's to see move if we can this stop breaker this. out of the way, but more importantly, gets to use the counter on the breaker to break the back row. Hits one. It's going to be Book of Moon. I mean, I, mean, I guess that doesn't, that doesn't do matter. anything here, but okay. <laughs> I mean, you could have hard flex and just. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. It doesn't really stop tribe because you can just flip the uh, the guy back up. Yeah. And use tribe effect on it. And injection is game. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to bring injection down with the Gigantes, but he elected not to. No, so didn't 19, have injection. Had it, it, that would have been crazy. Uh, I like to punch in for another 1900. Of damage and this that is so, back over. That's so important because getting rid of the counter on there means that he can't crash the gigantes with the breaker. <laughs> I, I love I love your pronunciation. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal your pronunciation. The gigante. <laughs> I say it differently love, every time, JDC. I, I, love, so I, I, love, I love I love it. The gigantes, the gigantes, gig ant. <laughs> All right, man. So I love. Oh, another that, one. You know, that, this man's holding a tree. <laughs> no. He like he's huge. 
He's not. Oh. It's, it's. I mean, I guess like an entire force of goblins attacking can overwhelm a giant man like this. But I would not want to mess with two of them holding huge trees that just smack you in the face. What's a breaker to do? What's a battle enchanted locomotive to do? Nothing here. MST for the Sakuretsu armor. Yeah, he is just pushing damage. So if he can slap another monster, if he's, if he's top decking his... the nobleman, I'm oh, sick. Oh, that's game. Nobleman's game. Premature is game. I don't know if he, these are played from. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nobleman across that. What? The nobleman across that. <laughs> nobleman is down. Oh man, what a top! What Getting a top! Getting rid of you the great spy that would have walled it, and Jackie <laughs> is forcing into a game three. Oh my wow. god! Sometimes, sometimes you gotta sack. Wow, Earth Deck lives. Other, when you're on Earth. the other end of the nobleman, he is not a noble man to you. He is hey. the, the, the biggest jerk in the world. He is not chival chivalrous at all. But when I you have it. that nobleman in your hand, man, you're feeling really powerful, huh? What a top. What a top. Sometimes you got to be topping. Sometimes you got to be topping. Okay, Part of the cards. There's... That's what this, this, this game was made on after, right? It's molded yeah. after drawing the best card in your deck at the right time. And Shaggy Powers found the nobleman to cross out to deal with the wall that was the Great Picker Spy and attack in with his tree-wielding giants. Okay, so Even we got some... Score. We got we got some clarification in the chat. It says the correct pronunciation is like gigantic, but ending with Tez. So uh, gigantes. Okay. Like Socrates. Okay. Gigantes. Okay. That's that's interesting. It's just Spanish. It's Greek. It's from giant. Uh, and then we got uh it's I feel definitely like there's Greek. There's no consensus on how to say the card. But Ryan McCutcheon has some lore for us. He says it's from Greek mythology. The Gigantes were a tribe of hundred giants born of the earth goddess. Gaia. Interesting. I don't know. You guys got it. Good for I, them. I, <laughs> they figured it out. I love it. Appreciate appreciate the he, update. Something That's that Shaggy cool. is missing it from his deck is the, the field spell Gaia Power, which would make his Gigantes, you know, e 2400 attack points. I'm pretty sure uh, I, I love I love Shaggy to death, but he is a Florida man. He probably calls that thing Gig Ants, dude. Just Gig Ants. I got gig my Gig Ants out for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got my gig ants out here, and I'm vanishing from playing. We got that gig ants. I got the pot of greed as well. Gonna draw myself <laughs> two cards. Well, tell you what, partner, I got this gig That's ants. Not, I mean, like people from Florida do sound like that, but not sometimes. All of them. <laughs> sometimes, depends on where you go. I know Shaggy doesn't sound like that at all. He looks like that in the picture. But... Not even a little bit. It's, you know, it's not even at all, man. Not even a little bit. All right. Okay, we got pot of greed again. Shaggy's loving it. Feeling good. <laughs> MST, MST is going to be the one played. For one. Getting rid of the Pro Storm. Sorry. Not going to fall for it. Let's see if we can continue to follow up. Hitting the reinforcements of the army. Reinforcements is going to be played. What, what's the grab here? It is the little swordsman that could. Coming out. He's slicing. The little He's man. dicing. He's doing damage. Sending it straight to the graveyard. This car is Turbo's one of their worst nightmares. They hate this card. They don't like to see it. Sending that grave food spy right on to the gravekeeper where you belong. Yeah, Get on out of here. Nothing to protect the little guy with. So AJ can just do... He can just summon a de deco here and attack. I mean, that might not be the best because Giant Rat's hanging out in the hand. That's true. We know that, we know that AJ has two Thunder Dragons and now four other cards to work with. Here comes Tribe Infecting Virus. <laughs> Tribe Infecting Virus has been called, sent out word. the Night Assailant. Interesting choice here. I mean... You Trying could to get just, that spy back. Fine. Yeah, you, 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 you just retain your cards by doing it this way. But now that uh that mystic swordsman does does have cousins. He uh he can he can uh call call upon the gigantes now because his graveyard is set up, you know, to bring out some more his earth. His graveyard monsters. is set up. Let's see if we can see uh gigantes dropping here. To clear this tribe infecting virus, but now we're gonna have to have an answer for that grave people spy that is brought back. AJ Hussein not committing any spells and traps to the field, indicating that his hand might just be saturated with orange. He might be sitting firmly uh, supplanted in Brown Town as he's, well. He, as a he's resident. taking up residence. He's got an apartment. <laughs> yeah, a, 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 a high rise apartment. It's, in brown I mean, town he can afford it look at this man look at oh, he's swagalicious i love that he's, picture. he's got he's got like a penthouse or something smashing ground don't care about these lizards just gonna punch him in the face that injection, injection very lily 
Will Looking we at get the grave, a... are we going to see Gigantes come down? No, we're just going to walk there with the injection fairy lily. Give AJ some medicine. 34 points of damage to the face. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> All right, so AJ's draw has got this injection bearing down. We're going to MST this. Snatch deal plus a monster could just end this game. Let's it, see it if could, that's but we're available. not going to see that here. We're just going to see a, a set, presumably, of the spy. That premature burial being on the field was... Uh, but saves the the mind control just for this. Going to flip okay. it up. Does Shaggy have... I think he just needs any monster here. Any monster would do it. And there He's it is. That's it. one. That's game over. The wow. Goblin of the Task Force won't wait a minute here. Oh, and that's it. it. That's game. No that's, Karibo from no AJ Karibo. side. And Woo! Shaggy Powers oh is moving on into the top four. Holy Earth. moly. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Do you believe in miracles? Shaggy Powers is moving on. And if you told me that Shaggy playing the Earth deck is going to top four the, the world championship, I would have said, hey man, I believe you. I think it's possible. It's not likely. Can we, wait, That's what can I would have said. Can we pause for a second here and understand that Chaos Turbo was almost half of the field in this entire event. It Incredible. did pretty well. It put the most decks into the top 16 of the event, but none of them made top four. It is four different decks here in the top four. City and Grand Finals, we have Chaos Return. So Chaos still being represented, of course. Very powerful strategy, as we all know. Mm -hmm. We also have Geist D with Goat Control. Always been, always been written off since like the revival Right, of, right, or, right. Like the, the later editions of Goat format, right around like 2020, that era, saying that yeah, like Goat Control is not really that good, right? No, Guy Steed just gonna play the classic Goat Control with like a bunch of crazy techs. Get there, sitting in uh, losers finals, has a, a pretty good chance to at least come, you know, get back into the grand final situation. Then we have Insidious on the Chaos Control. People wrote that deck off saying that, yeah, you don't need the goats and metas in chaos, just play turbo. But Insidious making it look easy. We saw all throughout yesterday and, and did very well today. And now Shaggy Powers with the Earth Aggro featuring Goblin Attack Force. Insane. I, Insane. And you're telling me these these are the all the decks that have beaten the Chaos Turbo? That is wild stuff here for me. And we got uh, two Americans. Going up against each other, unfortunately, here in the loser side of the bracket. And team, so it's team be or, yeah. American on American violence. We got Again. two teammates just, you know, taking each other out, Take, like kicking that's... one out of the tournament there. All so right, it, it now... is looking like like Europe, you know, already in the grand finals, sitting in losers finals as well. There's going to be one American duelist still trying to win for North America or just, you know, the USA in general. Wow, just a lot of... A lot of stuff. Oh, a lot man. of stuff going on here. A lot more goats left to be played. We've got three matches, potentially four, still going in for you. Ooh, as we're man. waiting for Insidious and Shaggy Powers. They probably need to, they probably need to take a quick break after that, uh, after that intense match. But wow, wow, wow. Earth Aggro might have to just get bumped up. I think I had that deck maybe ready too low. But maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's doing pretty good. I think that's uh, I think that's incredible. I, maybe that's a secret to how to beat Turbo, man. Just beat them quick. Them. Just, just jump on them and, and we go get after those life points. We did last year with, with Burn, right? The mm -hmm. Burn strategy was just attack them with your and then burn them out with a bunch of cards because yeah, they want to keep all, as many cards as possible. If you draw all these cards, wow, the secret barrels get better. You can clog up the board really well with a Jama, uh, and then just desserts to finish them off, right? Like the, that was what dominated Worlds last year. I mean, it didn't. Dominate in the sense where it was the most played deck, of course, but it won worlds. It was in the uh, both decks were burn decks in the finals. Um, so I mean, it, incredible that it did so well. But people ad uh, adapted. People and, adapted and to it, to it, and it kind of like only one of them made the top sixteen here. People figured out the strategies we saw all throughout the day yesterday. I mean, you can look at all the side decks on GoatFormat.com if you want to take a look at the. Uh, top 16 decks here a lot of people preparing for burn not only that just preparing for time as well with those life gain cards inside 
And also, I want to point out, I want to point out. So just just talking about Shaggy, he he he's all. He, I think he kind of he kind of spoke this whole thing into existence. He's going around. And he's like talking in all caps, and he's like making these affirmations out. He's all into this like spiritual, mental health, eating right, doing all this kind of stuff, and just put it out. He's like, I'm going to go in and I'm going to win this event. No one's going to stop me. I'm going to play. It's like really crazy. Like, uh, and it worked out. So now maybe that might be something that people might start doing next time. I don't. I don't know. Very intense. <laughs> so it's so it's it's really it's a really it's a really fun fun stuff to see that uh that he's able to do man so shout out to shaggy i'm so he's, proud of your performance he's definitely, today he's definitely yesterday. a personality for sure everyone loves shaggy and everyone loves shaggy i would i mean he's he's been successful throughout this entire tournament not just today but yesterday as well finishing out x and two but making it in there into impressive. the top 16. Impressive. Impressive. Somebody definitely look out for. It. I love to see it. Shout out to him. Shout out to the whole team. Shout out to everyone. Insidious is hosting right now as we are waiting on Shaggy Powers to uh, finish meditation probably and get into this event, get into this game. He's locked in. Uh, but this, honestly, I think Earth Aggro has a great matchup against a lot of decks. I think it's great against Warriors. I think it's great against uh, Turbo or decent, decent against Turbo, fantastic against Warrior Control. Ugh, I think you might struggle a little bit game one, so we'll see. Uh, Insidious is probably look probably uh, probably a slight edge, I would say, but sometimes you just won't be denied. I think you just might have to, you just might have to, uh, you know, do what you got to do. Well, I'm in, I'm I'm locked in. We're gonna see. All right, all right, all right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are they in? They're Are not they in yet. They're not in. Insidious is hosting right now, but still waiting on the duel to go up. Shaggy obviously just came off of the, uh, we just saw defeating AJ Hussein 2-1. Uh, Taking a little bit of a breather before joins in the game with Insidious. Earth, Earth Aggro. Okay, Earth Aggro is in the top four of the world championship. I mean, you you tell me what you guys think about that. I personally, I, I love it. I love that. But what what is the chat? What are you guys thinking about? Uh, what are you guys thinking about Earth Aggro deck? Is it a real deck? Is it? It's in the top four of the World Championship. So I expect to see this deck being played a lot more once these decks are they already released right now. So if you go on the ladder, it's probably already on there. People getting their Earth Aggro on. But again, like I said in my uh, in my Spice report I did last night, I'm telling you, you gotta vanquish all fear and panic. Okay, you gotta you gotta remove all the doubt from your mind allegedly I, I can't i can't i can't make this up this is what i'm told if you want to play this deck successfully so remember if you have any doubt in your mind the deck will not work you'll break and lose but if you vanquish all fear and panic and then use the deck with no doubt then it'll work whatever that means you uh you decide so <laughs> make sure you uh keep that in the back of your head when you're playing the earth aggro strategy okay 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 as we're still waiting they are hosting uh, again, shout out to everyone who's spending their time with us on this Saturday and on this Sunday. We really appreciate it. We have about uh, 250 people watching this right now on YouTube, probably more out there in Twitch. Hello to all of you in Twitch. Hello to all of you in YouTube. Again, wherever you're watching this, take some time while we're waiting to go into the top four. Hit that like button. Okay, if you haven't done it already, if you did, go ahead and unlike it. Hit it again because uh, we want to get maximum volume on the on the prime time finals of this we are at top four we're almost done we're wrapping it up soon we're about to get a champion it's either going to be insidious it's either going to be shaggy it's going to be geisty it's going to be dingo it's going to either go to france it's either going to go to germany it's going to go to america or it's going to uh what was what, what florida <laughs> or go to florida <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Florida, it, it could go Florida to Florida. Its, own country. it's either going to go to Florida, it's going to go to America, it's going to go to Germany, or it's going to go to France. Those are the locations that this world title is going to be. Uh, I'm rooting for Florida, obviously, so I have my bias. But out of any of these players, I think they all deserve it. They all played very well this season, and uh, it couldn't go to anyone better as a representative of Go Format. All, so, all four of these players are well deserving of the title of, of world champion. All right, it looks like we are in, folks. It looks like we are in game. Insidious is hosting to Shaggy Powers. Uh, all right, I am almost in, and I am in. We are locked in. Game up. We have 
I, again, I can't, I can't say enough how the profile pictures just so happen to match the strategy of the person that they are playing. You have the Florida man playing the, I'm um, a punch you in the face, mega, mega power deck versus the pensive thinking, thought provoking turbo <laughs> control player gazing off into the distance as they ponder their next move. Shaggy gets another rock, paper, scissors win. That scissors has been working. Pick something else. Stop picking paper, you <laughs> thinking scissors, and it is working. Okay, so Shaggy will be going first again. Let's dance, he says. All capitals. Cap lock button is locked. Uh, Shaggy is locked it in. It seems okay. to permanently be on half the time for Shaggy. <laughs> Oh man, so he is just like, I don't care. I don't care. I have on no underwear. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, Powers. he does have underwear on in this picture. <laughs> I did crop it out specifically so that okay. we not get demonetized. I, but... I think that's that's what. Oh, Shaggy coming out with Potter Greed again. Oh man, the luck of the Irish. I, I can with... share the full picture if he does. Uh, if he wins the the, the, the championships, I'll, I'll post it up in the, in the Discord. You know what? I'm so, going to, I'm more going incentive to, uh... for anyone who hasn't joined the Discord already to join up. I'm, I will I will be doing a deck profile with Shaggy win lose a draw. I told him he's gonna come by the program. I gotta have him on. People's gotta meet this. Gotta meet the Shaggy power. I'm gonna do a deck profile and I will make that the thumbnail of the full value of this picture. He was very upset that you had to censor that program. Censor. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know he was upset. I heard it. <laughs> That's when the caps started. Okay, we're gonna go right away into some right into the extra deck immediately securing that thousand eyes restrict and it's going to activate the effect on. The night assailant. Okay, let's see if this goes through, and it does. So that is going to do. be seventeen hundred. He's swinging right in, getting aggro right back. Sometimes, in order to beat the aggro deck, you gotta be aggro yourself, and that is what he's elected to do by punching in for seventeen hundred yeah, damage. Be beat them before they beat you. That might be the name of the game a lot of time. Main so phase two going to opt to use a thunder dragon now. Only going to search one. So, uh, uh, oh wow, that indicator that's that lets you know that he has double Thunder Dragon opening, but he does have a potential light and dark situation with his Thousand Eyes representing the dark and a light monster already in the graveyard. So, Chaos is online early, which, which is something that you absolutely enjoy to see. Okay, so the Breaker, and the Magical Warrior, so, has something landed. to note here Insidious is on the control version of Chaos, so there's going to be a little bit more defense, a little, a little bit more resistance. That Insidious has versus Shaggy's deck, if he can can get it all together. It, right now, it looks like Shaggy's doing an excellent job at picking Insidious apart, thanks to Breaker the Magical Warrior picking off the set back row and now smashing ground, just punching that that eye, one, one of the, the the thousands of eyes of the thousand actors stripped and, and getting it out of here. Okay, okay. So you got standby phase main one. That was a good breakdown of that. That's Master Ground showing some intense value right away. He's going to set one. He's going to MST that back row right away. Just going one for one is still not what you want to do. It's like a warrior deck on steroids. You don't want to be one for one in this deck too many times because you're one for one too many times. You got Goblin Attack Force just jumping all over you, and this game will just cease to exist relatively quickly. Graceful Charity is being played from the blue corner, adding three, sending out two. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, Grace of Charity, it's like really good when you discard Thunder Dragons, but we've seen, you know, you don't need Thunder Dragon in here. I'm gonna discard Delinquent Duo, you know? Wow. Okay. You know why? Maybe. Because you just search one Thunder Dragon, yeah. and you just know that's in the hand. Yeah. So this card's kind of useless. No, there's that. There's two. There should be two Thunder Dragons in the hand for the opponent. We're well, we only know anyone. for sure that there's one because Insidious okay. only searched the one. We're just okay, assuming I, that the other one is in there, unless it's okay. just. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to play this game with you, man. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do. It. Yeah. If 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 Shaggy can't close the game out or, or get into like a, a more dominating position than he is, I mean, it, it does leave Insidious room to like top deck something to get out of the situation. Maybe. Maybe not Graceful Charity, but, you know, Regeki yeah. Break, even okay. a uh, Tribe Infecting Virus would be good. We're going to punch in. We got the Exile Force. Let's see if we can get some gig So there he is. The Gigantes, Gigantes is here. Will we get a Premature Burial as well? We got Gigantes has landed. Uh, will there be 
No, there will no be no premature barrel. Bring him down to twenty nine hundred life yeah, points. Thirty five to the face. I mean, that's a lot of damage quick. here. And Insidious with presumably one card to work with, unless he can turn on those Thunder Dragons, cash them in for, I don't know, two, maybe two other cards. That's got to be some scapegoats. That's got to be. He's going to dust tornado. It does not matter what it is. So that is game. It's, it's, the game is over. Scoop it up. Yeah, not even going to show you what it was. <laughs> the game has that ended and just like over. that. Whoo, man, that is that is not how you want to do it. But Shaggy, <laughs> that is how you want to do it. If you are Shaggy coming out, playing that Earth deck, getting super aggressive, had some good draws, you know, getting that good Trinity early is what you want to do. I mean, Shaggy's playing high. He's a man possessed. I don't know. Maybe the, the heart of the cards are with the Florida man. But going to the side deck, I fully expect to see the dark dust coming in. The Wangoos are going to be in there. Those dust shoots are coming in if you're Shaggy Powers. If you're Insidious, on the other hand, you got to play some defense. you got to go through all the defense you have, and it's gotta, you gotta, got to figure out how to slow this deck down. Uh, he doesn't have a lot, but he's got those Berserk Gorillas. He's got that Mobius. He's got some smashing ground swords. He's got to put something in to slow down this ruthless aggression that uh, that uh, that uh, <laughs> that, uh, is, that, is, that Shaggy is going to be trying to trying to use against him. Uh, and uh, I'm, yeah, those Kribos, those level one dark fiends. <laughs> you <laughs> do you consider it, Mascus? Would you play them? Would you put them in? Would you, you, is you it might, worth it? like, you might just put in Karibo just because, you know, it's a dark level one that you can meta at the very least. But if Shaggy is, if you're going to get in a game state where you just have an open board and you need an additional turn, you can get that turn right back. I mean, let's see here. I mean, if it's, if it's, if he does, if he does play that Karibo, okay, and Shaggy does the injection, and he allows to, and he goes, he likes to boost, you can play Karibo, and you'll just lose, you'll just neg yourself 2,000, because that can if, if happen in the damage step. So you'll neg yourself 2,000, and Karibo will, uh, will just, uh, will just find itself in a graveyard to protect you from that damage. So that's something Shaggy's going to have to keep in the back of his mind. That is how, uh, Okay, so yeah, yeah, I think Kribo, Kribo might might be good in in this if you're in cities. I don't yeah, know if he wants I mean, to use it. There's a lot of applications that he could have for the Kribo here. Like you know, blocking blocking the damage is important, but the effect of Goblin Attack Force, if it battled, it goes to defense. It still like it doesn't negate the attack. It did battle, so he could just you know use the Kribo, not take the twenty three hundred, not potentially die, and now that Goblin Attack Force is going to defense. But slower start here from both players. Insidious just setting one passing. Shaggy doing the same. Okay, Breaker's down. Breaker's out. Enemy break or uh, Breaker has has met the Ring of Destruction. Sixteen hundred. Yeah, gonna take sixteen on both sides, and that's the normal summon for Insidious's turn. So does he want to add another card to the back road? No, sir. Just gonna pass it on over. Insidious okay. doesn't have a ton for the aggro matchup. I mean, he can do something like what are you? What are you premature barrel? Yeah, what are you premature? That, I, yeah, that you is can a put it on the <laughs> on the premature field ring. without <laughs> without a target. That was a misclick, a fortunate misclick because had there been a monster in the graveyard, you might not be able to do that. You could well, tell the I nerves mean, he would have activated it. I mean, yeah, you could tell the nerves are kind of uh, are kind of adding up for both uh, for both both of the players, especially Shaggy playing uh, playing the premature burial unwarranted. They need to be the reinforcement of the army. Let's see what we're going to grab here. Okay. They the don't look similar at all. Not even in the slot. I mean, they both have a hand. Okay, okay there's I a guess, hand. I guess maybe there's the arms reaching out. And there's a guy with a head. There's a head and there's a hand. So In mm. very different positions, though. <laughs> One has a little symbol on it that indicates that it's an equip card. Okay, the D... This uh, DD assailant has landed, and now he's going to he's he's put looking for seventeen hundred points of deck direct damage directly. Let's see if that can uh let's see if that goes through. Let's see if that's going to happen, and it connects. It looks like it's going so, through. That's seventeen hundred more points of damage. Do you got to You got to really keep an eye on your life points because that health is fading fast. Yeah. Hmm. Thinking about that uh, that artwork, reinforcement of the army, Marauding Captain is a cool card. Maybe a Marauding Captain could find his way in a deck like this, just adding more special summons and pushing the pace a little bit more. Uh, Marauding I Captain, this, 1200 I think cast. I say this a lot, but I'm, my first ever locals during GOAT format, someone normal summon Marauding Captain versus me, and then special summon Mystic Swordsman level 4 from Marauding Captain's Ooh. effect. 
That's power. That's a so power I, play. I understand the power of marauding captain and the warriors first off. And if you think about it, he can clear marauding captain can clear a lot of the sets that turbo use outside of uh gravekeeper spy. You know, you bring out the marauding captain, clear the Koichi and punch in for 23. That seems powerful. That seems like something. And then they can't attack the goblin attack force until they remove the marauding captain. So that might be something you can add to this deck to kind of kick it up a notch, put a little spice on an Emerald Lagasse style RIP Emerald Lagasse. Okay. So the, Ka the Kaiko comes down and banishes himself by sending uh, the DD assailant to the out of play realm. And then we're going to go main phase two and then uh, play swords. Okay. Swords was a great inclusion in that side deck. I think it is great in this matchup. Hmm. <laughs> so he he he's going to just set one, kind of slow it down, kind of slow it down. This is the game that the control player wants to play. He wants to slow this thing way yeah, down. Yeah, it's definitely way down. Hit hit the gas. Hit the hit the brakes. Eight cities hard. might be in favor now that the swords of revealing light has come down. Uh, he's just got to find action to do while he's underneath the swords. He can't just buy time forever because this also gives Shaggy powers some time to draw on the more aggro. If he doesn't put anything like on the board to defend himself or to like set up a, a play up, maybe if, mm -hmm. he, if he gets to like a magician of faith kind of play, or if he's got Dukoichis or spies, you know he can just do that instead. But Shaggy just drawing more cards, waiting until he has an amalgamation of of attack oh, power to just put oh. on the board once the swords is gone. There's only one more turn Gantis. left for it. And. Now, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Insidious, he if he wants to survive, you know, you found some goats, you found a way to stall this game out, you found something that can uh, relieve this pressure because now Shaggy has a grip full of cards, and they are they're all coming after your health. Swords is gone. Swords can no longer protect you. Now you have to commit something we're to this board in we're order still to protect even in cards now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how Insidious wants to break this down. Looking at that profile picture, gazing deep off into oblivion, trying to decide his fate. Thunder Dragon up, going to secure more Thunders from the deck to the hand. Not doubling up this time, which is fortunate. You don't want to be drawing two Thunder Dragons. Absolutely hate it. The Berserkerilla was sided in. Another Earth. We're going to aggro you back. If you want to aggro me, I'm aggroing you. Berserkerilla is down, and he punches in into he a Psychoretic in. Armor. And Berserkerilla Shaggy in. identifying this, this is, this is something that is... like. I mean, I don't know if you side out Sakuretsu Armors anyway in this matchup, but... Something that he considered, especially in a format like this, yeah, this is top 16, it's untimed rounds. I mean, obviously we, we want them to play as quickly as possible, they still have slow play warnings, but it right. doesn't have timers in the round to, for, you know, like Swiss does, where you go into time and you get into the, the turn scenario. It also means that you have open deck list as well, so right. Jackie can bring up the deck list for, in, like, for his opponent during siding, and say, okay, I'm going to see this is what he could possibly have. Do I keep in my Sakuretsu armors if he puts in the Berserk Gorilla? And Insidious did, and now the Sakuretsu armor coming into play here for Shaggy. And Insidious Hard now summon. putting the Magician of Faith down. Interesting. I like uh, this. <laughs> He's going to bring out the Magician of Faith. Just getting it in there, yeah. And just get in. Let's let's see it. Let's do 300. Aggro. We're, we're attacking. Playing around all the level twos. Playing around the Nobuna cross out. This is an indicator that Book of Moon might be a card that Insidious Could have a Sukiyomi as well. To Sukiyomi to get, uh, to get something going. Trying to get back those swords to kind of stall this game a little bit more. But we have the Ninja is down again. And it's going to punch in on this Magician of Faith. Let's see if Book of Moon is going to be played to kind of recycle some spells. Or will he just lure him headlong into a trap? Stay tuned to find out. I mean, if you book a moon here, you're, you're, probably, you're probably going to get back the swords instead of the book of moon to cycle. Yes, I would definitely grab the swords just to keep stalling. Just keep stalling. Uh, as, I, as I've mentioned before, several times, even during this stream, that it takes a while sometimes for chaos, chaos control to just unbrick and get their plays going. So the longer you can stall this game out, the more it's going to shift to uh, to the favor of Insidious. So I'll play these swords and I'm going to sit behind them and just keep stalling until my hair falls out. I'll deck myself out before I just before I, before I lose this game. So I'll, I'll be fine with stalling if I'm Insidious hanging tough until the end. Main phase one. Let's see if he likes to play those swords over Villain Light to kind of stall a little bit more. And he likes to do just that. So swords is down. Swords is down. The Swords has landed. The aggro deck cannot attack for three more turns. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thinking about it. 
It's got a bunch of dust tornadoes and a bunch of uh, spell trap removing cards, but probably not electing to use them on this uh, Swords of Villain Lie. Electing just kind of sit here and stall. You want to stall? We'll just stall. Totally fine with that. Both players are good. Sending that thing to defense position. Yeah, hmm. and Insidious now with the, the second copy of Swords here. I mean, exactly what you're saying. Stalling the game out, trying to find something to crash through. I mean, we saw Geist be able to assemble OTKs with his deck. Insidious has more avenues to do that thanks to stuff like having multiple Chaos Sorcerers in the deck. He isn't just using his BLS plus ring combination, you know, to, to clear out and make sure to you can go for an easy game shot that way. Mm -hmm. You can also do it with Chaos Sorcerer plus, you know, a couple of other cards that are that Insidious plays. Do it with like a, a Kaiku. Well, there's one Kaiku's banished, but maybe if he puts a Berserk Gorilla next to it. Ooh. That could be the play. That could be the move. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let us see it. You know that he has a, two Thunder Dragons in the hand, but uh, it's still a full grip of cards besides those Thunder Dragons, thanks to this Pot of Greed that was just picked up. Yeah, gonna okay. commit more. We're gonna Get go rid Metamorphosis of the, the here. Second Magician of Faith for the Metamorphosis. Okay. That was an extra trick. We saw this game one. Same sort of scenario, except there was less back row on both player sides. Let's see if this resolves. What could Shaggy have? Not much to respond to this outside of a Ring of Destruction, but was the Ring of Destruction was already so that, used. That 17 also connects directly. So a lot of 17s attacking directly, doing direct damage. Love to see that. Very smooth. Smooth. I feel like I'm gonna Jeez. we're gonna see a smashing ground come out to deal with the, the thousand eyes restrict here. A what King late. Tiger? <laughs> King Tiger better late than never. Let's see if there's a let's see it. Let's see a smashing ground. Th this will stop it? goats. You could also just leave the tiger up and not use the smashing, but he's gonna use the smashing here anyway. Okay. Smashing is gone, sending another Earth Monster to the graveyard, turning off all uh, 1,400 or below normal summons or special summons. So goats are turned off it, right now until that King Tiger is dealt with. If he wanted to preserve the Smashing Ground, he, he might have been able to do a play where Insidious uses the Thousand Eyes Restrict and tries to crash because Thousand Eyes Restrict being equipped, the DD Assailant would just fall off and it wouldn't die. And then he would try to use the effect of Thousand Eyes to take the King Tiger after the DD Assailant has fallen off. But if he just mm -hmm. declares the attack in battle phase, Shaggy could have used a um, a Dust Tornado to uh, get rid of the DD Assailant that was equipped to the Thousand Eyes Restrict. And then the Tiger would have just ate the, the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. But, I mean, I, I don't I don't mind I don't mind the way the way Shaggy broke that down. Just getting the getting the Tiger up uh and then uh plan plan the smashing so kind of plan around the terrain i don't think i mind it that. either i think that the dust tornado is pretty valuable for him when he's trying to go for those game shots mm -hmm. and now with the tiger up he's able to do something like uh you know use the uh the dust tornado on a scapegoat and then the scapegoat can't resolve well it can't res will resolve but the tiger will just eat all the goats as soon as they come out but now but now we have the swords have revealed their last light and now the stalling is done. So now we can get the opportunity to start declaring some attacks from both players or from at least from the from the red corner or the blue corner. That's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to start swinging. Let's see what happens here. OK, we have a set and we're going to throw it back over to the blue corner. Blue corner is going to draw for turn. Give it a quick shuffle, survey the field and stand by phase and go to main. And let's see how he's Hitting? going to do it. Hitting the Spirit Reaper was really good for Shaggy because he has very limited outs of this card. He has to use something like like he has to use one of his Smashing Grounds to clear it in the first place or Exiled Force. One of them is searchable, but outside of that, there's not really much that he can do to that to that card. Okay. Nomen on the Reaper and and uh, Nomen on the DD War Lady wasn't bad either. I think uh, now both of those using hits. the Regeki Break to clear the the King Tiger finally. Let's see. It's interesting to see what uh to see what to see what Shaggy's got on these set cards. There's a lot of cards being set in the back row. And another one. So there you go. <laughs> another one. Surprise. Did you just okay. have this tiger? The Tiger King. 
Oh, we're going to torrential tribute the the uh, the tiger in main phase two, and then we're gonna we're gonna see if we got an in turn. We got some misclicking going on here. Looks like. Uh, no, I think turn. Shaggy just went to the the end phase quicker, right? Because didn't think that Insidious had a response, but gonna use the torrential tribute now. Shaggy is indicating yes, I, I will pass my turnover. Okay, so now this no is a prime heavy Insidious. storm. Yeah, neither player oh, right. is on solemn judgment, so this is resolving uh, a bunch ooh, of dude, a bunch what? of bluffs here. A lot of a lot of stuff set. I don't I don't know what the purpose of all those cards being on the deck. What are you trying to accomplish with the deck? Didn't want to released. discard. Didn't want to just keep them in the hand. I or mean, them in because the swords were on the on the board for so or, long, or, right? Or play them. Yeah, get them get them played. If they're down there for so long, you got to go ahead and play those cards because that was a humongous heavy storm. That seemed like a, lot a good of green, opportunity too. to play any of them, really. Yeah, I mean, especially just... with the swords up. <laughs> I mean that that, that reinforcement. You could have kept. You could have kept all those cards in your. Uh, he he could have. Yeah, that's. I think he was just concerned control. that he wasn't finding any action, so he didn't want to maybe die like and discard those cards as a hand size. That's possibly why he wanted to set them. But yeah, the heavy storm just punishing that line of thinking. Yeah. Now the the mind control is going to flip and see the Tsukiyomi. Not going to flip yeah. it up. Just use to check it. And we're going to punch in directly with the Gigantes. Here's a tree for you. Let's see if that goes through. And it Ooh, does. And it does, and Insidious falling ever so closer to zero life. But now that frees up some back row spaces for Shaggy. Although this this could be difficult because if that's not anything like Sakuretsu armor, anything to block an attack, if Insidious can, you know, use the Tsukiyomi to set the Gigante's face down. And then attack over it with one of his monsters. Maybe he uses the Thunder Dragon that's in his hand. The the Gigantes can backfire and heavy storm he the field. A, uh, yeah, he does. He does have. Uh, he does have access to uh, Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer and uh, other monsters that do have higher than thirteen hundred attack. Now I think he only has one Kaiko in his oh, entire deck. Oh, it's banished. Oh, okay. So Breaker's gone. Dekoichi can still swing over. Berserk Gorilla can still swing over. He has a Thunder Dragon in the hand, so he can go flip the Tsukiyomi up. Uh, Book the the gigante some normal summon thunder dragon to try to attack. That's a line. Him. That is a line. Let's see if what Insidious decides to do. We're yeah, get some value out of the nobleman the... instead. Nobleman stand in game two is interesting. That is interesting. I I, I think that's a. I, I don't think play. it's that interesting. Like I don't think it's that wrong because he does use Sukiyomi. Can book your stuff down, and we saw Shaggy commit to setting stuff like Exile Force. He could set giant rats. That is true. I mean, it got value. So whatever, whatever the play. Again, I I I have my buys. I have what I would do, and that's why I'm sitting at the house. And Insidious is top four of the Go Format World Championship. So clearly, if, he knows if, what's going on. If Insidious does the play that we were thinking about using the the Thunder Dragon to try to attack, if that gets Shaggy to use one of the backers here, mm -hmm. and then he can just follow up with Nobleman to clear the the Gigantes anyway, get value out of it. That that's pretty pretty good. Maybe. Might have a better card to set, though. Like, he, he could have, uh... Well, not a Magician of Faith left. He could have a Dekoichi that he wants to set instead. Yeah, there just might be a better card in his hand than Normal Summon the Thunder Dragon. Oh, but he does he's, it anyway. Gonna, Main Phase 2, we're going to Normal now. Set. That's very interesting. interesting. That's an interesting uh, interesting line of play as well. Uh, but in, oh, he's going to hit the Dust Tornado. You hit dropping off the Mystical Space Typhoon. Maybe the back row that's in his hand is just is really strong, and he doesn't want to heavy storm it away. Oh, and, and look at those level two. And his card, so the level two is going to be able to walk over the Thunder Dragon. That's if it I, resolves, I you, if the attack I, goes through. It's Ring of Destruction. Ah, okay. I can see it then. So at the same time, you kind of want to, uh, you have to do something. Maybe setting there was kind of like a like a, a little bit of fear maybe showing because that's a lot of damage that uh, that you're trying to miss out on. Well, he doesn't have Nobleman's left, so it's more likely that he has something like Smashing Ground. No, I'm saying if he if he... If he didn't, if he didn't, uh, if he didn't set that Thunder Dragon, you, that's more damage that you can that you can potentially take. You know, if, if you don't have something to defend yourself, because Tsukiyomi is going back to the hand. You know, so that's probably why he decided to. Uh, it's also to interesting. You know, he, he could have done normal summon the Thunder Dragon, use the Nobleman, attack in, uh -huh. and then use the Ring of Destruction that was set on his own Thunder Dragon and, and win the game. Oh, that's a line. I think that would have been a good play. I think his videos might have missed that one. I mean, it's kind of hard to to navigate because there's still two back rows to contest, and 
trying to make the safest play possible. This is the top four of the world championships. You don't want to play it, go into like a risky line. But you have to kind of think, what could he have in the back row? Mm, 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 mm. All right. Okay. And even okay, so, it's, it's riskier because like if Shaggy does have something like Sakuretsu armor and decides to use the Sakuretsu armor on your Thunder Dragon attack, and you decide to chain ring, you're you're just losing out the uh, the ring to anyway. Like you're just losing your ring. You're taking sixteen, and then any, yeah. any monster could like kill you. So I'm re I'm reading the chat, and he's like, "Hey, they know the decks are open, so he know he doesn't have access." Yeah, to Yeah, now he says he doesn't, doesn't play torrential. So he's playing around no a card that play didn't exist for a minute. Let's and now see he can just it. try to attack in here, but no, he's got the Ryu Senshi instead. Ooh. Oh man, that twenty three. That twenty three was. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. We're gonna. Uh, yeah, that's really. Nothing, nothing you can, uh, nothing you can do to stop that onslaught. So that is going to be going into game three. Game three will be a deciding match. Wow, oh, that, heavy, that heavy storm was kind of a game changer. That blowout heavy storm that was played. I think that was a that was where the that was where the metal meet the meat. Insidious might have been able to win the game a little bit earlier, but maybe was maybe did not consult the deck list and, and did not realize that torrential had no potential because there's not even any uh any torrentials in Shaggy's deck. There you go. That's that's one of the benefits of knowing what your opponent has access to. Both of these players are playing on a computer, so it's not illegal to just have your opponent's entire deck list open and available and just check off cards as they become as they become used. So going into game three, I think both players executed their side deck plan efficiently and effectively. And we'll probably see more of of that. I think that heavy storm with a blowout for Shaggy that was kind of the decisive moment, if I had to say, of that previous game. But you know, that is go format. These things do happen. You gotta send it. You gotta play. You gotta pay to play. What do you guys think out there? Viewing in the viewers. Let's check into the chat. What do we got? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, everyone's kind of just vibing with the last round as it showed out. We are kind of tuning in to what's about to happen. Uh, early, so I'm, we're, we are slightly ahead of everyone. So, again, everyone tell us what you guys are, what you guys are vibing with out there. Going into game three, winner of this moves on. Shaggy getting that duo. <laughs> Love to see it if you are the Shaggy Powers. Okay, delinquent duo is down. He is down and he has landed. 1,000 life points will be removed from his health. But get rid of starting Sangan, first, the critter. Delinquent duo is great. Throwing out the meta, throwing out the Sangan. Shaggy off to an excellent start. Ripping away two cards from his opponent's hands. Okay, and we're going to set one, set two, throw it back over to the red corner. Insidious getting duo, shaking it off. He's got champion mentality. He does not mind being down two cards to start this, but it is time to go. Okay, okay. Four cards in hand. Main phase one. Pondering a little bit. Thinking about it. Thinking about talking about What does about. the ocean say? What is, <laughs> what is the ocean spirit? Hands in the pocket. What is life? What is the true meaning? What is my existence? What is control? Are we all in control? These are the things I think about as I gaze. Are we into all the in control or is there just chaos in this universe? <laughs> Well, so Bell Tornado takes off the Book of Moon, so nobody's going to be doing any reading anytime soon. So we, so we have, we have a potential open shot, which is where you don't want to be. Open shot coming in, with, maybe get big damage, a big push, maybe for this Earth Aggro deck. Let's see if Shaggy can tally we up can some see serious damage here. The injection Fairy Lily pop up, slap in some thirty-four hundred points of damage. Maybe we got a face down giant rat attacking in there for an additional fourteen. Can't play Gigantes just yet because there's no Earth in the graveyard, but the goblins could be coming out. We got the Rota. We're going to call reinforcements. reinforcements, and will the boys hit the board? Shaggy could also it. opt to get the DD Assailant, but no, okay. gonna going to smell blood in the water. I think uh, I, I, that's that's what Some you got to do, and we guys, got the Ninja too. The DD Assailant down, that's 4,000 damage Half to the face. Health. Half your health is gone. That's a... Man, I... 
That is just rough. And that That's goblin so attack force must take a nap, go to defense mode. Hits the slumber button. Okay, okay, main phase two. We're going to go ahead and set one behind. Throw it back over. Insidious still trying to find the way the, the aggro deck is doing what the aggro deck does. Being very aggressive. Getting after the life points right away. Graceful Charity. Probably just drew that this turn. Going to try to find... Okay. Some, Got to find something. Put some put a light and dark in the graveyard would be really good. I already have a, 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 a dark in the graveyard thanks to the Sangan. Getting Delinquent Duo to way. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. And City is talking about how... <laughs> The prize pool for uh, fourth place and third place. Uh, it's the, I think it's a five hundred dollar. Is that the where you make the jump from fourth to third? Get that five hundred dollar difference. Yeah, is I believe accurate? so. Uh, yeah, third place definitely secures five hundred dollars. Fourth place only two fifty here. It's like the five hundred dollar thing. Everything is five hundred dollars. This that's insane. A lot, a lot more than just five hundred dollars though. A, a lot of swag as well. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperium, Gem, and MetaMats. Love to see it. And he got the snatch deal. Uh that's I think the right choice is the DD assailant, perhaps here. Uh but yeah, I think I think that's the right choice. Uh mainly because it's the one that's in attack position and the one that can switch its its uh you know, I the believe, other one can't switch its battle position. No, I believe if he takes control of that goblin attack force, he is then allowed to uh to switch it back to attack. Because no. it changed position. Is that not true? Am I wrong? No. Okay, I I gotcha. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Next phase, the end phase of the next player's turn. Got it. I thought you. Yes. Did, I thought since it changed control, you're free to. Uh, you're, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm no, not, it's just I'm like an, an effect that. that applies onto the goblin attack force at attack. Gotcha. So there's okay. nothing that gets like reset or anything. Yeah, he cannot. He cannot move this goblin attack force. It just stays in defense here. You know, because uh, primarily you'd want to do it the way that you described. Ooh, and now the Linkwood Duo coming out. So Insidious knowing this is as I'm just going to duo you. If he passes here, that is rough because that means that any top deck of a monster could potentially just end the duel. Besides maybe like Mystic Swordsman or Exile Force. It is Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer. Right now Kaiko so to block it though. Okay, but... Yeah, Shaggy just playing off the top of the deck. But you can't, uh, you can't Gigantes here. That B shaking menace, Kiko the Ghost Destroyer is not yeah, allowing. Kiko just oh, doesn't allow Gigantes to come out. Yeah, he just said, nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that, dog. Can't have it. Now, if you're Insidious, Pot agreed off the top. Ooh, you gotta love that. If you are what Insidious, you gotta be feeling great. Oh my lord. A monster here with good enough stats would be really strong for Insidious. Just be able to attack over the goblin attack force and then Kaiko get rid of the both the earth monsters that are banished. Not like Rain Dingo Stig's deck. There's no return from the different dimension. So you can't return those monsters back. They're gone forever. Ring of Destruction is gone for Shaggy. That's something to uh something to think about. And and Insidious might be considering that because but he might have drawn a, a small monster, a weenie, maybe like Sinister Serpent, Magician of Faith, Spirit Reaper. Probably thinking, is it worth it to put the Reaper out in attack position and try to attack? And he's going to go ahead and elect to go ahead and battle in. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all right instead goblins. of getting greedy and putting another monster down, but deciding instead to not commit a monster, but another back row. Shaggy powers. Gigantes won't do anything for him, but a back row might be able to save some damage. And Insidious is kind of getting back into the driver's seat, getting back into the swing of 1800 coming in. Let's see if that connects. And it does. It's Vanishing. so wild here how good Kaiko is in this matchup. You it's would think strong. that, you know, Insidious cited this card for the mirror match for Chaos Turbo, but it's doing a lot here. Just being an aggro tool and also preventing the, the card that might be able to even out it from coming down in the first place. The Gigantes cannot be summoned 
under the spells of the Wily One, Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer is stopping that from happening. Shaggy forces set another car, passing back over to Insidious. Insidious enters the standby phase, surveys a little bit, goes to main phase one, thumbs up from Shaggy Powers, and he elects to battle in for 1800. Will it also connect? Mirror no, Force the Mirror Force played. finally coming out. Does Insidious have a response though? Just gonna let it go through. I think Insidious has to put a monster on the board here. Yeah, gonna set one, pass it back. Okay, so now Shaggy has removed the bead shaking menace from the board and is electing to uh it just sets one. Just sets one and keeps yeah, that but monster no top, down. No top deck monster. Can't put apply any more pressure. And no monsters in the grave thanks to the Kaiko banishing the two earth monsters. So any Gigante Stroll just is very, very poor. And Insidious looking at the graveyard now. Might have might be an indication that they drew a chaos monster. Oh, the DD Warrior Lady. Okay, DD so Warrior that's a great Lady. Monster for this situation, if you a are great insidious. aggro card, gonna attack in and drop Shaggy down to two thousand. All right, all right, two thousand left for the for the red cor for the blue corner. Snatch Deal would be great if it can go through and resolve. Uh, let's see what else. Lily can't be played. Okay, so what are we going to do here if you're Shaggy Power? Yeah, you need a combination of cards. Getting down the 2,000 to have... cuts off like just a lot of potential plays that, that Shaggy could have gone into. Let's see what Shaggy has. Ring of Destruction, hmm. not a factor. It's already been gone, and Insidious can't really use it. Anyway, since they're in lower life points. So he sets one. Thinking about yeah. it for a brief moment. Main phase one. Thinking assailant, more. It could be rat. Preserve and there's a gorilla. Monkey. This could be game. This, this is, is presenting lethal. Card. This is presenting lethal for the red corner. Dee Dee Warrior Lady. What if this kinetic soldier? That'd be crazy, right? It is not. It is level two. Mirror Force is gone. And Berserker Look, has to attack. You need an answer right here. Oh, wow. Shaggy goes down in Sidious with the clutch down. gene. And, and it, it was, was the Gigantes. Gigantes the entire time. Oh, my goodness. It was the Gigantes. And Sidious secures that victory. What a stellar performance all day and yesterday. It was nice. Very well done. Very well played. I think that was a fantastic showing. Uh, good, guy. good good, job for both players. I'm so proud of you, Shaggy, for what you were able to accomplish in this event. Uh, continue to, to, to refine this deck, and you, you, can, you can go great places. Top four of the GOAT Format World Championship is no slouch. Can you tell us what those prizes are again, Matt? I know you went over it briefly, but I, was, I wasn't paying attention. For those who may have missed it, what prizes does Shaggy Powers get to go home with well, as the fourth place uh, finisher of the GOAT Format World Championship? Well, let, let's not just go over that. Let's just say what all the top 16 oh, okay. is that's getting perfect. here. That's so perfect. I like that. Even better. It, it, top 16 gets the uh, the 2020 GOAT Format World Championships qualifier play mats. So the, that's the playmat that you've been seeing on all of our promos of the belts and everything. That green playmat with the um, the premature burial and the graceful charity. It looks so great in person. That's the playmats that all a lot of the qualifiers um, were able to receive for qualifying at all like the GOAT Grand Prix and such. Mm -hmm, uh, a mm -hmm. lot of the GFC qualifiers as well received that playmat. Fifth through eighth place gets $125. A full set of the tokens for the uh, Go Format World Championships. The Metamats Top 8 Playmat looks very okay. similar to the Playmat from last year, but instead of, uh, it, it, oh, this version actually has zones this time around. Uh, the Gem Goaded Deck Box, as well as the Goaded Sleeves, that's the orange deck box, and those, when you fold it out, has that awesome art of Delinquent Duo and Pot of Greed. You get the sleeves of that art as well, as well as the Imperium, Imperium Duelist 3D dice and that Imperium Duelist goaded uh, dad hat. Dad hat, that's I for, like that. that. I want the hat that's for fifth to, That's for fifth to eighth place. Uh, fourth place gets all the same, but instead uh, gets 250. Third place, all the same, but instead gets 500. Second place gets you 1K as well as all the same plus an invite to the World uh, Championships 2023. 
and of course the granddaddy of them all, the first place, 2K in your pocket, Ooh. as well as basically all of the same prizes as well, the tokens, the invite of course, the MetaMats top 8 playmat, but you get the gem backpack as well. Whole product sample, a set of Mana Moon goat plushies, which are adorable. If you oh, haven't seen those is in those there. Too. But the goat, you get the title, of course, the title belt, that beautiful belt. I, I know it was on display in Connecticut. I've actually got the whole that one of the belts, or the belt itself, actually. And uh, it's it's awesome. It made it made me feel very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, okay. I'm sure whoever is going to get it here, there's only three people who are still in contention. That's Insidious, who just won his top four match here, moving on to play Geis D. Or will it be Dingo Sig? Well, okay. The lone and that's, American this is, now. <laughs> the lone American. Alone on and mission. unafraid. Representing your entire your entire nation, uh, Insidious is representing the United States. A lot of pressure. Uh, it's gonna be hard to go one for two of the two of these really really good players in order to uh, in order to secure that victory and represent their nation. But it looks like uh, it, there's a high likelihood that the Go for Met World Championship will be retained in Europe for the third consecutive year, which is incredible. All right, let's see. Wanna, it. Let's before see we it. get into it again, I want to just thank the sponsors one more time: MetaMats, Imperium Duelist, Gem, Mana Moon. Mm. Thank you for making this event possible. All the swag that you're supporting us here. And of course, all of our members of Patreon and our premium for without you guys, this would not be possible either. A lot of the uh, the Patreon dollars that you guys put in for us go to the prize pool for this year. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to join up on either the premium or Patreon, just head on over to goatformat.com, of course. Head up on the Discord if you want just the premium Discord features. Or just uh, join up on the Patreon as well. All the links are there on GoatFormat.com. If you haven't already checked out GoatFormat.com, you're just joining us. I love and it. if you're in the Patreon, if you're a premium member, you get to be involved. If you sign up for the tournament tier, in uh, twice a month, we have premium World Championship qualifiers. Where the winners of those earn a spot at the World Championships. And I, and I got mentioned, as I mentioned before, uh, that we are in some talks, we are in some discussions right now with some of the some of the staff of the GoFormat.com uh, Discord. Invite's going to be a little bit harder to earn next year. So uh, if you want to if you want to participate on a competitive level, planning those Patreons is a good way to uh, qualify for Worlds. They're going to be harder to come by. Uh, and also, it's just like a, I, I figure it's just like playing playing at a local. So each time I go to a local card show or card event, I always you know you know a little little something to do, and it helps the game a little bit. I know some players if you don't have it or if you don't believe in that kind of thing, that's fully encouraged. There are free events um, that that happen periodically as well. Uh, the Freestyle Friday, I think that's going to be something that is a uh, that is a staple of of the community that a lot of people enjoy. So if you want to play some competitive go formats every Friday, okay, there's going to be two tournaments: one starting at 1 p.m. Eastern and one starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, those are totally free to play, high level competitive games, all ranked uh, go format matches. Uh, two tournaments a week, free to enter all year long. So continue to do that. If you are able and willing to pay for the Patreons and get in that and play, like I said, those are highly contested tournament style matches. All right. I think we are in. We are in course, game. They go for my championships as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That's true. That uh, is true. Pretty prestigious as well. Earns invites if you do very well in those tournaments. And uh, the winner of this game gets one. The winner of this game, I mean, yeah, you, you'll get an invite if... if you win this game, you'll be guaranteed top two. And you don't have to grind nearly as hard. Your grind is over because you're already qualified to return to this event next year. Uh, everyone else will have to get back in line and grind. Again, we are totally community funded, supported. So thanks to you guys watching and donating, coming into the, the Patreons and the premiums as well. Let's us put on events like this for you, for you all. All right, we're in. So the winner, yeah, we're we're in for sure. All right, yeah. Let the players know the, to release to release the hounds. They can go ahead and start playing. The Losers finals. We've seen this match before earlier in the day, I believe. <laughs> right? 
I think so. I think I these believe guys so. have played at least twice already in the tournament altogether. I think they played earlier in the Swiss rounds. I believe they played what in a, the bracket. They did. I, I believe yeah. uh, Geist won that, sending Insidious down to the to the down bracket, to the loser side of the bracket. And then we have... Uh, I, I don't know what the results was in Swiss when they played. Did, if they played um, in Swiss, I, I, I think, can't remember. I think... Uh, I think Insidious won in time in Swiss. Okay. I know guys, no, nobody finished undefeated at the end of Swiss. And I think Insidious was the, um, like, Geist was the one that paired down into Insidious. So Insidious was able to win that last match. Yeah, that's that's what he's saying. Insidious okay. won one tiebreaker. This is going right. to be the... Uh, this is, this is, <laughs> this another is this control. Wild. They have played... This is the third time they're going to be playing in the entire tournament. Oh man, and they're both one and one. And it's both Another control, control here as well. My brain. And, and Insidious in the head to head has actually is coming out ahead of Geist D. He has four wins to Geist D's two. Wow. I would my brain would just be melting out of my skull right now if I'm sitting here playing this control deck all day like both of these uh both of these gentlemen are doing, but they're built for it. They're built for it tough. Let's see if they can let's see if they can continue on. I expect maybe the play might decrease a little bit. Maybe there might be some fatigue setting in. They played all day yesterday. They're playing all day again today. High intensity, stress inducing matches, but this is what makes the champion, okay? So guys D, like I mentioned before, has been here before several times, four to be exact, four time major winner. Probably one of the only people that can tote that feat in our current game right now. Quadruple majors, two FLCs, two GFCs, trying to add a world championship to that title as well. Insidious, trying not to be denied, representing the entire nation of the United States of America, trying to secure victory for himself to gain some kind of notoriety. Because a lot of people sleep on Insidious. I don't know why. I do not know why, but he's trying to change that. And I think he's already done so based on this performance. So he's got this Spear Reaper. It's going to require an answer. You got to do something about this. Level three. Geist D's just setting five. Jeez. Big old whopper. He's not even on Warrior. Yeah, it could he's be a combination of Solomon's and uh, Jar of Greed's in there. He does play 11 trap cards. And we're seeing Torrential and then followed up by Trap Dust Shoot. In incredible that he waited so long to Trap Dust Shoot. That's the patience. The patience it takes. Yeah, he decided to commit to the normal summon first and then use the trap dust shoot after the normal. The Thunder Dragon was already discarded from the hand. So we know two Thunder Dragons are chilling. Sorcerer, Blackluster Soldier, Magician of Faith, and Serpent, as well as two Thunder Dragons. So a Chaos Monster in the hand for Insidious. Still. Sending the BLS back to the deck, though. That's yeah, sending one. the better one, not the Chaos Sorcerer. Have... You don't have to worry about BLS for a little while, but you can theoretically one in thirty-two chance draw the same card again. Uh, yeah, the next draw phase. could draw it again. Very unlikely though. After a little bit of shuffle, light and dark in the graveyard. I don't think Insidious will pop down the Chaos Sorcerer now. Okay, okay, and then the Jar of Greed. Yeah, so th these back rows just going away for Guy C. Getting all, all of them getting used. They're all getting used as well. Another Jar of Greed being played. So getting maximum value out of all those set cards. One remaining in the far left position. Another oh, Jar of Greed. Three wow. Jar of Greeds. Oh, wow. Oh wow, my wow. gosh. Dude, he, he was looking for a heavy. That heavy would have just been the saddest, the most depressing heavy storm that has ever been played if that thing would have came if, down. If that heavy that. came down, I mean, it, it would have been... More of a storm yeah, for been, Insidious to side. Uh, a storm of tears, maybe. It would have been the saddest storm you've ever seen. Sad storm. So we're thinking about it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Geisty with four in hand, one set. Passing over to Insidious. Played those Thunder Dragons, so two of those still to be Thunder Dragons sitting in the hand. Yeah, it doesn't have any spells, so can't commit them the, the Moth. Well, they, they could commit the Magician of Faith, but 
nothing really to do for it unless like they're trying to set up some sort of like fancy play where they like duo and then they flip up flip it up and then duo again but i don't think that'd be advised here just gonna set a new back row and i mean that indicates that that's what was drawn for turn since guys knows the entire hand Okay, okay. Main phase one. He's going to bring out the Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Breaker, the, the next new card. The guy Breaker says, says, okay. He's fine the Breaker, Breaker, Breaker sure. gets some value now because it's going to... Yeah. All the jars all, are gone. Yeah, all the, all those all those shenanigan tricky cards have all kind of found their way into the graveyard. So you kind of... And the Torrential's gone, so you know you're going to get maximum value out Geist of these. Geist doesn't uh, main deck MST. So he can't use MST... In response to the breaker and yet insidious with the foresight because he knows the deck list can attack in for 19 relatively safely and it's not very likely that the mirror force is there oh but it, it, there we go the goats are out and they're on the field and yeah they are and i mean sticking. guys guys couldn't use the goats to block the attack because then he just loses his other card so make insidious do the 50 50 in main phase two okay Insidious the pot loses out, but Pot of Greed is a great pickup now for, for Geist. And can we see one of these tokens getting switched to attack mode? Creature swap play is 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 possible. I don't know Maybe how I feel about it here because, I, I don't know, taking a breaker is not amazing, especially when you know that there's a Chaos Monster in the hand that you want to take instead. Same with the Magician of Faith. If you're able to do that, probably want to save the creature swap for something more impactful than this breaker. But if Geist doesn't have any other options, it might be a play that he can he can make. All right, all right, all right. He always right. just uses Metamorph. Tsukiyomi works as well. That's a clean. That's a clean clear. Okay. Plays into Torrential, which Insidious does run. And I, I gotta, I, I personally have to give a good shout out to Guy Steve. Guy Steve is a notorious pensive player, thinks a lot, but he's going very quickly. He's moving, uh, he's moving very quickly in this, in this top, and I, I appreciate okay, that. Okay, well, does. we're seeing Get now. Book of Moon booking the Sukiyomi face down. Potentially, if Insidious has a Metamorph already down or draws one now, we could see a play where Insidious uses the Metamorph. On his Magician of Faith, or the Serpent, probably likely the Serpent instead. Just notice that it was still in the hand for Insidious. Okay, and but... opt to not take any of the monsters on Geist's board, effectively goat locking him. That doesn't he's... seem to be what he wants to do now. But he's gonna flip. He's gonna flip this breaker and give give uh, Sukiyomi a target to, in fact, uh, yeah, to in one, fact, once set, just clear it. it, get it out of there, setting the breaker again. And throwing it back over. Let's see if he puts another monster besides this Breaker, the Magic Warrior. Uh, he, could, he could set the Faith now. It just cycles the Book of Moon. Not sure how strong that would be. All right. Okay. Okay. Main phase one for the red corner. Gives it a nice little shuffle. Gazes over, looking at Guy D's profile picture of the wicked, what is that? Wicked, wicked, wicked monster in the attic. Wicked, uh, it's not. It looks Karibo. like a discount Karibo. It looks like a discount Karibo, but that thing is called Wicked something or another in the attic, something like that. Uh, you know the vibes. You know what I'm talking about. Somebody in the chat's gonna let me know. I'm sure you guys are super smart on that kind of stuff. Wicked, uh, wicked beast, wicked fiend of the attic, something in the attic that is wicked. Very cool discount Karibo. Not to be confused. Geisty electing not to use the profile picture. No one knows what this duelist looks like. It could, in fact, be a cybernetic organism or an android. Who knows? I don't think it's that. I think it's a real man. But <laughs> I don't believe you. No nice one's seen coming out. <laughs> no, no one has seen. <laughs> I'm gonna take. No gonna take this. Uh, <laughs> this magician of faith that Geist already knew about. Tricky play here because that could have been the sinister serpent. So Geist D is uh it's got the thousand eyes going in rotation. Insidious is standing by, seeing what's going to happen. Here we go. This is Goats, baby. He can, use, he can put the Chaos Sorcerer down now after a metamorph comes out. 
I mean, Geist can always just respond with another Metamorph. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, ah, okay, okay. So we're getting some feedback. We're getting some feedback. It is Wretched Ghost in the Attic. Wretched Ghost of the Attic. Okay, so that's what this guy is. Not wicked. I was wrong. You know, sometimes you're right. Sometimes you're wrong. It's all good. So it sets another one, and we're just kind of hanging out here. Again, I think this is where Guy D wants to be. Just gaining resources, lining up Insidious for this OTK push. That is That can happen. He's going to try to plug that graveyard with some dope stuff. Get Demonk, BLS, something like that, and the game just ends right away. So look out for it. That is that is uh that is something that happens early and often. OTK, remember that. Keep your keep your keep your uh keep your third eye open for those OTKs out of nowhere, off the top rope. Like a like a RKO for all my all my WWE fans from back in the day, you know, out of nowhere, off the top, you know, anything can happen. You're just standing there and you got a OTK on your neck. Here we go. And <clears throat> all right, main phase one for guys. Thinking about it. Thinking about talking about. Really thinking about how he wants to break this thing down. Ring of destruction. Yeah, ring his own. Thousand Ice Restricts, just to get it off the board so we can flip his guy. Okay, doing no damage. Ring is another piece of those OTK type maneuvers, so maybe it's a little less likely. And then the Delinquent Duo is played. Delinquent Duo will find. Let's see what card is ripped from the hand of Insidious. Well, he knows that there's Thunder Dragons in the hand. So it's likely that the, the second half of the duo is going to hit the Thunder Dragon. Um, Sinister Serpent still could be in the hand. It, 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 it's Ooh, looking more like it's set. Ooh, but what a rip. he snipes the Chaos Sorcerer. What a rip. And the Sinister Serpent was not in the hand. It was, in fact, or excuse me, it, it was, was not in on the field. Yeah. It was in the hand uh, being discarded. Flipping Magician of Faith for another, another go. Uh, at. Let's see maybe that's why, because again. he wanted to do the double duo play. And rip more resources out of the hand this way. Or but not. He's going to go, go Pot of Greed instead. Okay. Pot of Greed is being played. Drawing two. Taking over that advantage. Manipulating the Trinity. Using that using that Trinity multiple times. How you get ahead. He's probably has another Guy Guy work, And right? the Charity. Oh, wow. oh my charity. goodness. Game's getting blown wide open. Insidious is bracing for impact. Let's see what the discard is going to be. I would clinch if I see that Demok hit the graveyard right about now. Let's see if that is what happens. But Insidious not in too bad of a spot. You know, he's got two set monsters, two set spell traps. Could be some ghosts down there himself. I don't know. Uh, let's see what uh, guys is going to discard here. He can really discard whatever he wants. He's. I feel like he's firmly in the driver's seat in this position here. I would have to, I would have to agree with you, but sometimes this game is just about, if you could just, if you could just wait a little bit, stall it out, get some of your good Trinity cards as well. You can get back in. I mean, I he is down possible. in life. There was a, there was a lot of just looking at the board and not really adding anything to it. No action from either player, but he does know most of the hand at this point. I mean, he knows that there's two Thunder Dragons hanging out there. And then let him draw a whole bunch of cards. But I don't know. I think he, uh, I, 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 I mean <laughs> he just saw five new cards this whole turn and took away two from his opponent. That's we call that a power turn. That's a big. That's a big swing. So if you want to uh, get back in this, you're in cities. You need to just stall this game. Stall this game. Just make it last yeah, for a while. And, and he probably drew into the solemns. So now yeah. he's more insulated when he finally does try to make that big push. So whatever Insidious wants to do, he can just solemn it away. Ah, uh, the second trap does shoot. Oh, that's a powerful this dust shoot. That's a strong, strong, strong trap does shoot. Wow, late game like this. Like you said, he might be sent behind some serious solemns. He might be sent behind some stuff to, to change it up. So now getting a peek of what your opponent has access to, all the new cards he's gotten in this whole... Oh, man. Strong trap does shoot here. Solomons might be might backfire on him though. It, it's possible that Insidious has like another copy of Magician of Faith face down. 
Now, if he had something like Heavy Storm, but there's no Heavy Storm to be found. It's just Tsukiyomi, two Thunder Dragons, Sinister Serpent, and DD Warrior Lady. So just Insidious in Brown Town taking up residence there. Maybe a beachside <laughs> view in Brown Town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ocean view in brown town that's probably what he's looking at right now he's trying to trying to buy some property in brown town in that photo that's probably what insidious is doing right now checking out some checking out the brown town real estate because that could this, be where he is prompt firmly located <laughs> look, looking for looking for a bungalow to pass down to his kids <laughs> oh, no, in this town. market in this market with these interest rates i don't yeah. know buying a house i don't know good. i mean it's i, I don't insidious probably could afford it he's got <laughs> oh, he's got a nice job Okay, okay, that could be what it is. The Koichi gonna get that card right back. Check out the DD Warrior Lady. So we know the hand is Sugiyomi, Two Thunder Dragon, Sinister Serpent. DD Warrior Lady was tucked away, but a new card added to it thanks to the Koichi. Okay, chug okay. along here. I mean, it's possible that if you're Insidious, you just summon your summon your Sukiyomi here to reflip, or you could go attack here to clear the faith and then summon Sukiyomi. Either way, mm -hmm. you're playing into Torrential Tribute. Uh, Torrential Tribute's gone, so never mind. You just Probably better to set the Dekoichi now to play around Mirror Force. Let's see. And he's going to go ahead and like to battle in. Yeah, but it works battle out for him. In. No Mirror Force is going to do the no maximum Force? amount of damage here. And Tsukiyomi can just reset this Dekoichi. No Mirror Force, no book. Everything is feeling good. Looking good, feeling good. And we're gonna reset. There it is. Tsukiyomi's down. Okay. And the Tsukiyomi is going to find his way back on to the hand. Return to me like a Pokemon. Okay, standby phase for Geist. He's starting to think about it. Meditating a main phase one. Gives it a quick little shuffle. I'm looking at this wretched creature in the attic and is gazing back at, at me with those green eyeball green eyeballs. Insidious is up in life, has a lot of cards to work with still, Can has the flip-flop going with, with Dukoichi and uh, Tsukiyomi now. And um, if Geisty has a Solemn in the back row, I mean, it's just not not looking too juicy, that Solemn. It's going to be paying him down to 2,000. And that, that, that means Insidious can use some weird combinations of, of cards Aaron to do damage. Breaker. And that Breaker, that's been set forever. And the BLS is and here's slammed. The BLS coming out. Ooh, yeah, it feels aggressive. safe to do it. It's a little bit of an aggressive BLS, but if he's got Solemn back up, it's a it's a safe one. He knows uh, that his opponent doesn't have an out to it, at least from what he thinks. In the hand right now. In the hand right now. I mean he could use Regeki Break to clear it. That could Main be pretty good. If, I mean, it, it, it might prompt the Solemn, but I doubt it. I, I think he would just let it go away. What's good about Geist's deck is that he has access to Premature Burial, which is a revival card, so he can get back his big monsters like Demok or Blackluster Soldier. And he's asking, trying to get some clarification on which set is the new set, which set is the old set. Okay. Yeah, there, there's the a target one. button that you can do, but that's all right. That works as well. Okay, is the one that's behind Fat Goat in the second position. Yes, yeah, Insidious might be thinking here to use their Regeki Break or, or an MST works as well. MST uh, hitting one of the not to set. Yeah, yeah, because if he knows that there's a Solemn in the back row that was probably previously there before, just try to Solemn or get rid of that Solemn there. And, and now he can Regeki break, break on Rez, targeting the, the Blockbuster Soldier. Getting that out of off. here. So, okay. And just like that, it, Insidious still hasn't converted those Thunder Dragons, but he still has uh, kind of an equal amount of cards, but still needs to find a way to exchange those Thunder Dragons into something more usable if he wants to turn yeah, one, this game around. Won the 50 50 on the MST there. Because I, I feel like Geist would have used the Solemn to protect his BLS. Now, Tsukiyomi, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Serpent in the hand, one new card. And we're just going to set one right in the face of this DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, it might have to. It might not be having any other moves. Throw it over, uh, back over to Guy's D, who gives a quick shovel again, staring down with this DD Warrior Lady. 
thinking about it again. What's he gonna do? How's he gonna how's he gonna break it down? Let's see. Main phase one. Thinking here as he's observing the graveyard. 16 cards left in deck for Geist D with 25 to Insidious. Insidious still has not found any of those good Trinity cards. Thinking. Thinking again. Much to consider. Okay. <laughs> Much. Oh, that's a good card to play. Just it like I said, premature, premature burial. burial. Gonna be able to bring back Black Ghost Soldier. It was summoned properly. Has to be summoned in attack. Has mode. to be summoned in attack position, as we all know. And he probably just a misclick there. Yeah. And are we retaining Pryo? Geist has and not done any damage to Insidious. And this is still game one. <laughs> this is these are control mirrors. I mean this is uh this is this is a control this is how it is. This is how the format's meant to be played. If you don't like these kind of games, I don't know what to tell you, but this is the way that the game should be played. A lot of thought process, a lot of a lot of information that is being deduced and rededuced by each player. They're trying to play each other. Um I think this is this is my favorite st style of matchup. I'm not too good at playing it myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and hold y'all on a cap like that. But it's definitely fun to fun to observe. Uh, so Upstar Goblin, giving a thousand life points. Yeah, I mean, this is just the new card every time. I mean, he's just got to find a new one. And then, yeah, the new card here was Metamorphosis. Going to be able oh. to sack that Sinister. And looks like it's going to try to summon Thousand Lives Restrict. And you would think it's going to take the, the Black It is Sound Soldier. Judgment. Sound wow. Judgment has so been the, played. The other set was Solemn. Mm, let's see. Does Insidious still have access to the Ring of Destruction? Ring of Destruction would in the game right now if that second would... card can't uh can't answer that ring of destruction well yeah, it would be so big here but just a sukiyomi and two thunder dragons in the hand for insidious blacklister soldier resolved on the board insidious what could you have in the back row you could have potentially a scapegoat to block some attacks you could have book of moon that's guys you know, and force still in play insidious hasn't used any of those cards yet Geist, with his heavy trap lineup, a lot of them are in the graveyard. He runs 11 traps, and I think there's like about six, nine of them in the graveyard. Wow, well, let's see. He's he's really pondering. Do we, does he just punch in and just do maximum damage here? And I, I think, think he's he does. He elects to attack. 1,500 is coming in to Insidious. That's 5,000, and then 3,000 is going to swing in. Can Will that connect? Another ridiculous break here. Just gonna let it no, go through. So we're gonna just eat. We're gonna eat another three. We're gonna eat three thousand direct damage to the life points, bringing it down. Ring destruction will no longer be a factor in this game. Well, if he, if Insidious can somehow dwindle six hundred life away, he could use the ring of destruction on the uh, on the DD Ward Lady. Insidious does still have access to that heavy storm. Let's see if he can find it. Yeah, but he's. He that only has help. one card to work with. If if that face down is heavy storm, he's feeling good. That is that, that, that is the a, that is the most proest storm of all time. He just <laughs> waited ever so seen. long. Okay, okay, okay. So now back over to Guy D. Yeah, didn't thinking. set a monster because it would just get banished anyway. Just gonna rely on on his back row to keep him in the game. Geist still has access to one solemn, one more solemn judgment. So could potentially, if he just attacks with, yeah, if he just attacks with, um, oh my oh, god, never mind, guys. The heavy is like, storm I'm here play. clears the way unless there's a scapegoat, but the scapegoat can be met with solemn judgment from the back. Let's Doesn't say, let's need BLS on board if he has just any other monster. I hate no well, but response. That no response. So we're going to clean up. Uh, the BLS is going to get sent back to the graveyard. It's Mirror Force and Book of Moon and, and now trying to affect to clean it up. Oh my gosh, Ooh, what a crazy what a game. game one here. What what a game. Hey, Mask, I got to step away for a second. I have to uh, I have to go check my uh, I got to go water my dog real quick. I'll be back. I hope that dog didn't eat your homework. Or just goat format deck. And if you want to learn more about goat format Head on over to www.goatformat.com. Again, you should be familiar with this. If you want to learn more about our format that we love so, so dearly, head up to the website and join the Discord while these two players 
insidious, the lone representative from the United States of America. From the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, letting freedom ring, will the Liberty Bell ring for insidious today? Oh, Geist D. The German juggernaut. Crush the hopes and dreams of us Americans. Will Europe continue its dominance in this format? You know, Europe won goat format in, in every World Championships in 2005, won by a, a Greek player. In 2020, won by a, an, an Italian player. And in Germany, last year in 2021, will the Germans continue with their engineering? And Geist D is engineered just such... A, I, I really love this goat deck. I'm going to be honest. I love goat control. I'm such a goat purist. And I have returned. Okay, okay, okay. What did I miss? Anything I missed? Uh, you, you missed Insidious discarding this Thunder Dragon to add two more to the hand. That started off pretty okay from last game, but Trap Dust Shoot just kind of nullifying any hidden information. Geist was able to use that to his advantage, just the, the high hand count. And Insidious also, you know, took up residence in Brown Town. Graceful Charity okay. being the start for Geist after Insidious just committed one to the back row. In that good Gosh, trend. I, I don't know about you and JDZ, but what's that? I, I love just putting down cards like Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed. Just and and is so, oh, Grace Charity so is powerful. Serving. Is there a better combination? And Sidious is hoping that he can get some of that good trend this game. He saw none last time, so he's feeling probably pretty tight about that. I think he's probably upset. So hopefully he can get some this time if he's uh if he if he's hoping to keep this game going. Discarding the Cyber Jar as well. So yeah, it kept that in. If you're insidious, in if you're insidious here, I guess you put in mind controls. Maybe you have dust shoots of your own. For Geist, I'm not sure. Maybe you don't really do much for your deck. Maybe you put in dust tornadoes. Probably. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and throw those goats out on the field right away. Maybe this is indicative that a metamorphosis is incoming. He has no answer to that set right now. So perhaps it's usually the sign. And guys, the guys the electing to use those uh those that morphing jar and cyber jar. Those cards are terribly underplayed. I think those cards are very good right now. I think they're they're very powerful if you can harness that type of energy. But I like adding the five cards more to the than the cyber, but that's just that's just me. Those those cards are they're terribly underplayed. They're not played nearly at the clip. I think they uh that they should be. But you know, to each their own. Some people don't like to add those many cards to the game for both players. Cyberjar recently unbanned in the advanced format. Really? In the last how, forbidden did, did that, limited list. Is it is it getting uh is it getting played? No, it's terrible. That's why they unbanned oh, it. Okay, okay. But it's great in this format. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I yeah, I I don't play I don't play too much current, but I don't see a lot of setting and passing. There's not a lot of T set. If you're T setting in current, your deck is built in, built incorrect, and I know that. And I don't but play if you're T setting in go format, that's just the standard turn one play. That's a power play. That's a power play. It could be anything. Mm, you never know. What is what is something here is Thunder Dragon. Being sacked up for the uh after the thousand has done his thing and uh, a good Getting sacrifice. That's in. a textbook play, sixteen hundred. Punching Denying down. a flip effect in the magical merchant. Man. I don't know about magical merchant, but Geist D has been making it look really good. I, I, tell think you what. I, I think it's fine in Go Control, especially when you don't play that many monsters, and the monsters you do play, you don't all you don't mind in them going to the graveyard because they're just fueling your BLS. As long as it's not the BLS, you are playing Recursion. Okay, you see got that, that's the thing with me. I always well. I always mill my BLS, but also <laughs> then when I play Morphing Jar, I always whenever I open Morphing Jar, BLS is right next to it. So it's like I can't even set this, or I'll just lose my BLS forever. And you're just sad. And I'm just sad. I just have to. I just learned to win the game without BLS. Is, is really what I did. Yeah, I see you out there. Uh, I see you out there, Viking Goats. That is that is Lucas Lucas G. I, I love me some goat control. I love some goat mirrors. Everybody does secretly, even if they, even if they don't want to admit it. Some people think they're boring. I think you have a bad opinion. I I like I like watching them. Playing them is too stressful. Some people think playing them is is the is the way to go, and and can't can't stand watching them. I can't get enough. I can't get enough. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to host 
a go control only event, a detox pure tournament to see who's the best go control player. That might be something I've been trying to put together for a while, just haven't had the time to execute that. So if you are a detox player or a go control player, you can come up with a mirror list and just send it up for everyone to uh, to join that event, free to enter, and I'll put some kind of prize together. Maybe we can make that happen. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do that. So, I don't mind. So Trap Dust Shoot resolving yet again for Geisty. Sinister Serpent, Sorcerer, Breaker, Mind Control, Metamorphosis, and the Thunder Dragon. I think you put back... It's, it's kind of difficult here because the Mind Control might just get a lot of value. It doesn't That's really it. matter what you put back, I don't think, because like, if, if it is Mind Control that you're dealing with here, you just... I don't know. Could just be like the Magician of Fate that's face down. Yeah, he's gonna get, send get a the sword back. back. Gonna send the sword back. Yeah, because there's already light and dark in the graveyard. Let's see it. Let's see what uh, let's see what Insidious is going to do. He is going to bring that breaker down, so maybe he can get aggressive. Go up to the meta. Go into the extra deck. Bring out yeah, the no dark torrential. Alter. Doesn't look like it, at least. All right, so we're going to go ahead and the counter. That counter. Pop the Get Solemn, solemn. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis on what card? Oh, and here it comes. What are we grabbing? What are we grabbing? Dark it is Walter, the Dark the Valter. terrible thing. Oh, man, I love that. Go for my World Championships. And guess what, Valter? Has a secret effect that gets to negate <laughs> this flip effect. I love that artwork too. I love that OCG dark ah, Walter I artwork. OCG artwork. Get, I know you. I know you there. are. I know you hate OCG artwork. But let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me try to. Let me try to sway you. Look at that dark Walter picture no. and tell me that doesn't look cool. Absolutely. You gotta not. admit, he looks cool, man. That thing looks cool with those curly horns. Look like some curly Q. The possessed Cause... frontier wiseman, <laughs> dark Walter the terrible, is on the board negating all normal spells. This card is actually relatively strong in the uh, in the goat mirror because but it, it doesn't can negate matter that. because guess what abyss soldier says get that out of here look the at whale this well. oh the free willy <laughs> the get free this. willy is down what a, get this what man a, out of my house goodness gracious use this abyss soldier that was a good abyss soldier that was a backbreaker that is, and that, abyss that's why abyss soldier was still good i mean abyss soldier came around kind of in the uh in the old school meta of warrior versus control right because you yeah. were able to use the Abyss Soldier as the Warrior player. This is back when Warriors was playing like Sangan and Sinister Serpent still. Right. You just use your Abyss Soldier, bounce their their fusions that they brought out with the battle, like we just saw, especially something like Thousand Eyes Restrict, because that Thousand Eyes would always lock down Warriors, couldn't use the aggression. And then, you know, the Chaos decks just figured out, well, we'll just run Abyss Soldier too. The Go Control decks is like, yeah. we'll just play it as well. It's limited to I mean, it's, it's, it's got it's pretty a, good it's stats. A yeah, it's a solid card, man. It's a solid card. Pairs got... with the with the uh, Sinister Serpent so well, and I mean, Insidious just setting a card across from it, and you can just use your Abyss Soldier to bounce that card. And just gain, just away generate the tempo, generate tempo, clearing these tokens, bouncing cards. Man, that, Man. that was such a good play from Insidious to like summon the Balter there, not use the Mind Control, because he could have used it and took the Faith and just got back a Metamorph, and you know, like, it would have been okay, he would have denied the flip effect that way, but instead was like, well, I have this play that I can put a lot of pressure on Geist with, and he just had the, the the answer for it in this Abyss Soldier. Wow. That is incredible. And he only plays one. Just, just a one. That's all you need. And I'm telling you, there's some kind of magnetism between these two water-type monsters. When they both are in the same deck, they kind of just lasso each other. You see the Abyss Soldier, Serpent is somewhere nearby, ready to be discarded. Oh, man. So this is a bad spot for Insidious. You got to clear this. Uh, you got to clear this level four Aqua whale off who, the field at who, who some point a whale and a, and a snake would be very good friends huh i bet they're i bet there's i bet they have a very good uh symbiotic relationship as you know in nature some creatures depend on each other in order to uh have an easier life for survival that's that symbiotic relationship maybe uh maybe they, they have something working out i don't know on the nature channel they got a secret deal going the we'll get rid of channel. uh we'll get rid of face downs together If he can, if he can put that together, that would be a crazy line. If he can have a heavy storm with a normal summon followed by a black luster soldier, this game could just end right here. Uh, but we got, we don't, we, we don't got have a DD that. We warrior have, lady. We have the DD warrior lady has landed. 
Okay, the warrior lady is out and about. And he's gonna try to crash you in to use clear the battle this. Phase to crash it, and that's that's going through. Sidious is gonna take some damage here, but the abyss soldier just was too much for him. Just too, just too much, uh, just too much rage he, from the abyss he had soldier. Access to the play this turn or last turn. Oh, but the delinquent duo in main phase two. Yeah, maybe he didn't have the access to the duo. But that's probably was something that he either drew for turn or he drew the pot. Well, it probably drew the pot this turn. And that the creature swap, guys, the electing to leave the creature swap him. in against the goat deck. That's very interesting. Yeah, that that, that momentum swing. shift for Insidious here was really really strong. They're both I mean, just they're get, both laying into each other. I'm I'm get the sinister something. back. Wow. It's gonna set one over and pass. And City is still looking good after that pot duo getting up in cards. Make so still has, advantage. Still has a uh, a Thunder Dragon in the hand, Sinister Serpent in the hand, and Mind Control that we know about, and now two other cards that are fresh and new. City is not committing any more cards. In the front, at least. One in the back. Thinking about Oh, so he's going to set one over to Insidious. Maybe trying this to bait that This could be the control. Sinister, because, yeah, he's trying to bait the mind control, like you're saying, JDZ. Set, set the trap a little bit. Uh, or it could be the, the super mega brain think, thinking outside the box and is going to play the real card because he thinks Insidious is going to think that he... So it's a fake of the fake, you know? Maybe. Usually when I do those <laughs> plays, they never work out. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Let's see it. And Sid is just thinking about it. Oh, man, he is. Yeah, he's, he's, he says, do I do it? Do I do it? out here? He's going to normal summon Dekoichi, the battle enchanted locomotive. We've seen this a lot today. People using Dekoichi just as a body. Instead, we're going to use a Dekoichi answer and Nobleman. And that's a great hit. Going to get rid of Sinister Serpent. That cannot recur now. Will this go through? Yes, it will. Going to drop Geist down to, D down to 34. I mean, we saw Geist go down to pretty low life points before. Was still able to, still able to to come out on top thanks to the power of Blackluster Soldier. He does it, just, it just it just makes your solemns that much cheaper. If you're playing triple copies in the deck. Yeah, he does have a dark in in the form of Cyberjar in the graveyard and plenty of lights to banish. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Guys has three cards in hand. Going to set another one in the face of this runaway train. The runaway train is doing some damage. Like you said earlier, Masters, man, these trains have been punching people all event. I've seen a lot of slam and send so much. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it might, might be considered to just uh, replace that with another And a graceful now for, for Insidious. He has two prime discards already in the hand, the Sinister Serpent and the Thunder Dragon. Let's see if this goes through. This is such a good card for him to get at this stage of the game. What? This could, this what could find turn. power like Heavy Storm. He's thinking about it because he might have to. He might have to waste a solemn here. Uh, he lets it go through with the okay. Going to draw one, draw two, draw three, and we're going to go ahead and discard. He, you know, it might have been worth guys if he had a solemn to just solemn it here because that. And your life is so low. He slaps a normal summon down to this train, and, and this if you don't have a defense, you have to you have to live. Yeah, because then he could just doesn't that go down to um. He'll no, go down to seventeen. He would go down to seventeen. So, I mean, he he would have been able to sack for Thunder Dragon and hit in. But he had the scapegoats too, so he would have he would have survived. So transferring anyway. those Thunder Dragons into some value, uh, getting getting some dope some dope draws. Oh man, main phase two in city is what's he gonna do? Four cards in hand, one train going crazy, one set monster. Just gonna pass it over. Oh Geisty, how can you get out of this jam? We've seen you get out of jams before. Let's Not gonna see. be able to do anything here, just get a set one more to the back row. Okay, 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 okay. Oh man, this is a this is a tight spot for the record. Add back the sinister. This is a tight. Does he does he have? Uh, are there more jars left to be played? Morphing jar is still a card that exists in the 
55 of guys D. Morphing Morphing Jar could even out the uh the hand count. And he's gonna go ahead and crash, clearing up the uh clearing up the one token. The problem though is that Insidious has the mind control and he could just use it on his turn instead. Like just use the mind control, flip up the, the morphing jar. It's tough. Main phase one. Guys D thinking again. Oh man, trying to get out of this hole, trying to make it happen. This is oh my goodness, I'm 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 tensing up already. I'm not even playing. This is this is uh, a lot a lot of on the line here. He's gonna go metamorphosis. Big big top deck. He's gonna go ahead and metamorphosis metamorphosis a token to probably let's see if he's gonna secure that set. Bring down defense mode is usually indicated that you're going after the set, playing around skill drain, you know, gotta do it. And this is all okay from Insidious. Gonna let this go through. We're gonna get to take a peek at what it is. It's just a Kaiku. Decided to set Kaiku instead of a flip effect monster that might be hiding out in the hand. Not too unhappy to grab a Kaiku. It's a pretty good beater and prevents you from uh, summoning your Blackluster Soldier. Obviously, you're trying to grab uh, a good flip effect monster like Magician of Faith. Maybe a second Let's copy see. of uh, Yukoichi. So, a little bit of a bait from Insidious. I've also set it to flip it up next turn and play around Torrential Tribute. So that if he does Torrential Tribute, the field gets cleared, but Insidious still has a summon. Alright, so Jar, Jar Green is played. Okay, guy's trying to look for another card. Let's see it. Let's see it. Here we go. It's the Breaker. The Breaker is down. We're going to go ahead. Prob Let's see if he pops the set or if he pops uh, Insidious' card. Let's see what happens. And Sid is thinking about it. Thinking about it. Hmm. A lot of thinking. A lot of time to think. While we're thinking, shout out to you guys. If you're still, if you're still enjoying the stream, we have, uh, I think about 200, 200. We've been rocking about over 200 all day. Thank you. Uh, thanks everyone again for both days for your participation. 260 i'm hearing we got 260 people viewing this in twitch and also on uh on youtube as we mentioned earlier in day one if you didn't know we are going to be uh going to youtube exclusive going into the next season so make sure that if you are a twitch user you hop into the youtube go ahead and uh like and subscribe oh, this... and get into there and do that whole thing and, and do that so I, I don't mean to cut you off but this is such an exciting play actually from Ins from insidious's end Guys, okay break it down break it down Geisty normal summon breaker and instead of responding to breaker's effect to remove the counter and break the back row insidious used ring of destruction on breaker's summon to add the counter in order to um ring of destruction the thousand eyes restrict away because he's gonna try to use the mind control to ah. take the breaker and then use it and then you know use the breaker effect on one of geisty's cards but to prevent that Geist D is using Breaker to break his own Jar Agreed and then chain Jar Agreed to draw a card. Wow. Oh my goodness, man. This, see, stuff like this is why this is this is why these gentlemen are here, and this is why I am where I am. And if you're watching the stream, I'm sorry. This is probably why where you are, where you are. Because plays like that, man, uh, I, it's next level. I, I forget a lot of stuff. I, uh, I, I it, it's just it's just what you got to do to be on these levels. These guys are clearly on a different wave. So, uh. Main phase one guy still thinking about it, still down a few cards. Yeah, say, saying he's he thought that it smelled of a snatch deal, but he just remembered that the mind controls in the hands. So he was like, he knew some shenanigans were up, deciding Things. to use Breaker on his own card. This is something that you you can do, but don't see very often. A little telegraph, little telegraph action. Uh, but that Decoyce did a great job and I mean, was finally it, sent to the graveyard. Think of it this way: like the the Breaker was gonna you know, use the counter anyway, so you might as well just, like, preemptively do it, and if your opponent just, like, forgets they can... I, I don't think Geist would ever forget in this scenario that he can remove his own thing, but... But, you know, you, you could have also, like, just waited for Insidious to use the mind control, or if they weren't gonna snatch steel, use the snatch steel instead. Take the breaker and then see if he would hit the 50-50? Awesome. But maybe Geist just didn't want to play the odds, and was just like... You know, I'll just use the breaker effect on my own guy. 
It's interesting because, like, he used it main phase one, too. When he could have went to battle and done 500 more um, points, or 500 damage to Insidious with the counter still on his card. Mm -mm. Oh, man, so it's so much to think about. And I'm sure, I'm sure, you know what, I, I am I am in the booth for a reason, so I can't, I can't, I can do my best to try to describe things as I see them because it's the game nine I, I love and Maskey used to say the same, but I cannot put my I can't put my mind into what the players are thinking because it's I would, like a, I here it's like a slight mind. damage optimization. Like now you now you do what um like three hundred less dam or yeah three hundred less damage. So you could have got you know a full five hundred out of it instead of the two hundred that you did, which could come down to <laughs> bite him in the end. But if you do it the way the Geist did it, you get to draw a card first, so then you can opt to maybe play uh, that card that you drew. So it depends on what you value more, just like doing a little bit more chip damage or seeing a card. Man. Oh, man. Edge of my seat. Main phase one, guys is thinking. And I think the longer these longer these turns take, the more my anticipation level is just rising. I am stressing out, and I'm not even playing. Both of these players, they're probably cool as Cucumber. Look at that little look at that little fur ball in the attic. He's hanging out. Look at that guy. He's just pensive, gazing off into the distance. I can't I get enough oh but BLS is down. The BLS has landed. Well now, okay. now BLS is walking into a mind control. I mean sometimes you might have to exchange that mind control for uh getting this value. It, it, yeah, out I of mean the, it's just really really big value. Insidious has all the power spells in the graveyard, the Trinity, Grace Soul, Duo, and Pot of Greed. All Somebody, three of them are, are hanging out in the graveyard, so if that Magician of Faith did resolve, he could have access to any one of them. Somebody hop into the, uh, I don't know what time it is in France right now. Uh, I know it's 2 It's two p.m. where I am, approximately. Hopefully Dingo Sig is not asleep, because this match is taking a very long time. So hopefully he continues to be awake I, and I is think ready. I he's asleep. Nah, he's probably, he's probably pumped, motivated, probably on the ladder right now, getting some extra grind in while he's waiting on this, uh, on this match to... Well, on this match to take play match to finish. Okay, so we got main phase two. Poor Geist. By the way, it's almost mm. eleven o'clock in France. Hmm. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's prime time. And same, same time. It's almost eleven o'clock in Germany as well. So. Okay. So Insidious is uh yeah, is in the prime dueling hours for most yeah. uh, in, in, in Insidious is, uh, has a little advantage there. He's he's got a little advantage, it's a little early here in the in the uh, in the United States on the East Coast where, I mean, where he's Insidious located. Might, it, it's getting close to dinner time. Insidious might be hungry. Ooh. I mean I know he's hungry to win this game. Hey, look at that. Ew, air horns. That's a bar. I like it. Alright, so we'll, well the mind control's most it, it's looking like it, it's gonna take that that Black Luster Soldier. Unless there's just a better play for it. Maybe he's trying to bluff. That's another hard bluff by setting another monster next to the Black Luster Soldier. So the mind control has to go for the Black Luster Soldier, and then you can execute your flip. Uh, that could be interesting. I don't know what Insidious is going to do. These are the decisions that you have to make. These are the Heavy decisions. Heavy Storm will complicate things. Heavy Storm, man. Heavy Storm. If that's, a, if, that's a pro, if that's a pro storm, that would be pretty cool. If uh, he's had that, that. I don't think he's. No, he nah, just said. He would have played that so. A yeah, it was years the ago. Ring of Destruction that was set for a little while. Yeah. He could use something like Regeki Break. He already has the Sinister in the hand. Oh, Snatch Deal first. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, you gotta do it this way, too, because you gotta pop the Solemn Judgment. Okay, so Solemn has been played. Now Insidious can make the next move, leading with the uh, leading with the snatch deal on the BLS. It was negated by the Solemn I Judgment. I wonder if he if he mind controlled first, if he would have been able to oh. do like if if he would have been able to prop the Solemn that way. I don't know if Geist does that though. Oh, this is level two. This is the level two threat that he's going to bring down. Let's see if there's an answer to the Thousand Eyes of Straight. We have a thumbs up from Insidious. Let's see if Geist D is going to respond. Okay, he says, so Metamorphosis will activate and resolve. Thousand Eyes of Straight has landed. Let's see if he's going to declare that effect and what the target is going to be. It is going to be the Blacklist Soldier. Yeah, as you gotta take the Blacklist Soldier. He's been holding this mind control all game. 
He's going to try to attack in for 1400. And it's it gonna goes go through. through. And Geisty dropping down to 300 life points. Woo! Oh man, 300. It's, only, it's the last life point that matters. You can still activate only, Solemn Judgments if he needs to. You only need the one. No ring oh, destruction to play for either player. Ring destruction gone for Insidious. Geisty obviously not in a position to activate it here. That face down is now locked down. Let's see it. You gotta have it now. Let's see something. Something. He's, oh not, he's, not, he's not under the knife. So, with the mind control, Insidious could have, before he used Metamorphosis, use mind control uh -huh. on the token, switch it to attack, then use the Metamorphosis oh. to take the Blackluster <laughs> Soldier, attack the, the the what's it called the um the breaker, and then in the end phase, give the token back in attack mode, and Geist D wouldn't have been able to switch it because the, the Thousand Eyes Oh, that would have been a cool play. But I mean, it's still it's still a, it's a higher risk, high reward play, but that could have been a cool it, play. It's, like a, it's a very high risk play. If you if you think that the other back row just isn't real, and you say, I'm just going to do it this way. Wow. But if it is something like a solemn judgment, and he uses the, if he sees the trick coming up, Wow, he might okay. solemn it, but he can't solemn it because the metamorph will just kill him. Wait a minute. So why would you do this? I don't agree with this play. Maybe I missed something. You can't do that because you attacked. Am I am I incorrect? Yes. Why would he do that? Insidious. The fatigue is setting in. It's oh, Insidious. He, oh, no. Why would you do this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. Oh, man. The fatigue yes, is they, setting in. They, effects you know, remember like once per turn effects they do get reset they do forget that those happened if they get set or if they leave the field and come back oh, oh wow <laughs> he mind controlled and it is the morphing jar so do you activate it here or do you let it go he's just gonna let it go yeah. but dice guys could just use it in his um oh, unless he just flips it here yeah I think he, he is right gonna now. flip it here okay Oh, oh but, it's the the demon, but it's dead. It it's in the grave. There's no, there's no, there's, uh, there's, there's no, no, there's no premature. Premature is offline unless Upstart Goblin is played here. Yeah, he just can't use Upstart Goblin if it's still in his deck. Oh man, flipping that thousand eyes restrict oh, into wow, face down defense a, position. That what was a huge that huge mistake. That was a lap, lapse of judgment. I think that was something that uh, you could tell fatigue is setting in. You, these guys have been playing all day yesterday, high level intense control mirrors. All day today, high level intense control mirrors. These guys have played three times in this event. And matches go like this. This is what they all look like. Very complicated game. Another mind control. Wow, another one. Let's see this what this is. Gonna be. Is it gonna be a full effect? It's just oh, DD it's Warrior. A DD Warrior Lady. So that is gonna up. be a, a negative one taking place for uh for the uh for the And he just corner. gave he Geist had like one card to work with, right? I, and he just gave him five more. Wow. So, oh, but now yeah, guys. Insidious he... had had a dominating position, an interesting kill shot that he missed, and then complete control like of this game, and just just by using Sukiyomi after attacking with his Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh man, that oh, was oh uh, man. Just just a lapse of judgment, but you know yeah, what? Like, the game's not over. You take your you take your oh, we gave you take your and you got to keep going. No duo access because he's at 300 life. I agree. It's played. And this morphing, this morphing jar was just so much better for Geisty than it was for Insidious, probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, but you did kind of refuel your hand a little bit, and you got to protect your Sukiyomi. So that's that's a, that, but, those are good things for. But uh, with Geist at 300 life points, does Geist have a win condition left in the deck? Is is something to to think I about? Mean, he, yeah, could BLS, have, he could have. He could have sided in Berserk Gorilla. If, what would have been wild no. here is if Geist decided in Emergency Provisions or Hysteric Fairy, he could like no summon chance. Hysteric Fairy, use it to like clear his own guys, gain a thousand, and then now his premature burial is online so he can get back the Dark Magician or the uh, Blackbuster Soldier. He, he does have access to those cards, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no way that Geist brought in Emergency Provisions, Emergency Provisions, Berserk Gorilla. Or uh, or hysteric fairy for this matchup. He's, not run, a chance. he's running low on threats. Is the problem? I I think he's he's it, trying to play the game, just, and the game kind of got got kind of got away from him here. Uh, Insidious has to be aware that that this 
He's got a few cards left in the deck. He's gone through a lot of gas. The Demonk is in the graveyard and dead. BLS is in the graveyard and dead. I mean, you could probably do some some thousand eye stuff. You could probably get busy if you can, you know, just generate. You got ten cards. Maybe you can get some. Ah, that's a long way to go. He's attacking in. Still, his attacking. biggest threat is the is the DD Warrior Lady right now. And I I think did he declare that attack with the Morphing Jar? I might yeah, have he's missed declaring something. It with the Morphing Jar, it is thousand eyes restrict that space. Okay, that's right. He he does, he did. We do know that. So thousand eyes restrict trying to clear that with the morphing jar and then punch in for another 1500 points of damage you know what could happen is insidious could normal summon tsukiyomi and set his opponent's morphing jar and attack it with tsukiyomi and get five new cards okay Whew. thinking here the sweat is on we're gonna book him wow insidious is a mad lad He's going to Book of Moon the Morphing Jar. So now we're talking about some deck out options. You got five cards left in the deck. If that Morphing Jar goes off again, uh, now that now the game is gonna the game is gonna start changing. Guys, he has a lot of cards, so he's gonna go ahead and Regeki Break using it on the DD Warrior Lady. I'm assuming discarding the Magician of Faith, popping the DD Warrior Lady. Wow, Main phase two decision to, to do that. If because you I mean, still had access to the Tsukiyomi. I mean, maybe the, the five new cards that Geist has intimidate you a little bit. Um, you have to look at Geist's graveyard to see what he has left in, in forms of traps. He still has a lot of the traps, like uh, Torrential Tribute and Mirror Force left. He could have also sided into Dust Tornadoes, Sakuretsu Armors to stop Onslaughts from Insidious. Setting setting four, throwing it over to Insidious, getting back that Sinister Serpent. So there's a whole the landmine. There's a time bomb just sitting there in defense position on the red corner side. That morphing yeah, drop, it flips. That, <laughs> that's a uh, that's gonna be something. You can, you can also use just flip up the the thousand eyes here and then summon the Tsukiyomi, flip it back down, not use the effect if he wants to try to get the morphing jar. I mean, it's possible that Geist just didn't draw any action and is setting cards to play around morphing jar flipping back up. Uh, he's whoo 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 whoo. He's thinking here. And Insidious, uh, you don't want to slow play too much, but a lot of cards are in the graveyard already, so you can kind of do some uh, some analysis to figure out what Guy D could potentially have. Let's see if he's going to do what you claim. Let's see if he takes your move. Maybe he might just uh, maybe he might just activate that effect. And is it going to go through? And he does that. He does that. He is. He decides. You know what? I'm not going to blow it up right now. I'm not going to try to risk risk the attack i'm just going to uh i'm just gonna declare the thousand eyes restrict i mean he can still just summon Sukiyomi here flip the thousand restrict back down and try to attack for lethal he still has his normal summon this turn he cleared the monster out of the way it's on geist now oh man does he have a oh, metamorph man, oh, man. left Back in no the all the metamorphs are gone I mean, do you risk it? Do you risk it for the biscuit? Heavy Storm still in play for for both players, I believe. Is that something that you want to do? Do you just risk it? No, he did, he he likes not to. I think he is. Uh, he's probably spooked out by Torrential Tribute. Doesn't want to absolutely blow up his whole entire position right now in order to attempt to go for game shot. He's fine just sitting here playing the deck out game, realizing that Geist D doesn't have a lot of threats left, and he could just sit here and draw cards and pass Geist, until he wins. If Geist has emergency provision set, can you imagine? I can imagine, but I'm not buying it. I don't think he brings it in. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, may, maybe, maybe in some world, and there is the Torrential Tribute, Torrential as tribute. predicted. Uh, I think maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll give you this, Mascus. Okay, so he is playing Thousand Eyes Restrict. He's playing a control deck. You bring in Emergency Provisions. You play it, gain some life, send the monster to your opponent's graveyard, and you can activate that effect again. So maybe. Maybe. I mean, it, it's something to consider. Maybe. It, there's just but. He's just running low on so many threats that it's like, the only way that I can see him actually winning the game is using Premature Burial to bring back Blackluster Soldier or Demok, right? The, yeah. those, that's his best option to, to going forward and closing the game out. Because there's only like so much that the Go Control deck can do in terms of putting a threat on the board. It usually involves just like BLS winning the game for you. Yeah. So if you don't have access to that anymore, 
it, it it's it's just not very good. I mean, he could use Snatch Steel if Insidious throws something out, but Insidious only needs to view 300, so he's not really prompted to put a Chaos Monster on the board. I mean, oh, as I say that, it. he's going to banish Light and Dark. <laughs> as, right? <laughs> I couldn't have been a better timing, because right as you said that, uh, he is going to I mean, bring out the BLS in defense position, and he's going to priority banish. Uh, priority banish, I'm assuming? That means he's going to ask that if, gonna it's, go if it's going through first. And Geist is going to say no. But maybe he could just summon a card next to this BLS and uh, try can, to get out of this game. He possibly could. And that... Oh, and there's a, a Tsukiyomi. We're going to go ahead and set. So If this resolves, it, it, it plays around Snatch Deal. And it's also a threat on the board. And Geist has to think about it. He's just going to say okay. And attacking in here. Scapegoat to is the scapegoats. So Geist continues to live. We're hitting one goat, sending it to the grave. <clears throat> this is tough. This is a tough spot because Insidious, like I said, he There's did it. He no did make a crucial still misplay. Left in the deck for Geist. He can just noble in this BLS away. That's a clean answer. But again, seven cards left. Seven seven cards left in deck. I don't think even if yeah, I don't think even if Geist had access to that Nobleman across out, I don't think he plays it. Because that BLS on Insidious' side is Geist's win condition at this point. No, I think he, he needs here, that thing to live. He goes I, <laughs> Nobleman, Heavy Storm, Chain, the set emergency provisions. Mascus, I'm gonna tell you right now. Emergency provisions is not, not a part of this. Emergency provisions is not I'm a part of this. I'm willing it to happen. <laughs> what you? If my, I mean, if it is, I'll you know what? I'm, I I'll be wrong. I will be glad to be wrong if it's gonna be the emergency provisions. I maybe, like you said, thousand eyes emergency provisions. Emergency, it maybe. <laughs> Doesn't have it now. Poison would be great here, it would, because he, that premature... Poison the old man's other great. option as well. He can poison, gain some life back, gain 12, and then use the the premature burial. That was uh, that was Nomen Across out, sending that BLS out of play. I think that was Guy's win condition. Just looking at the cards available in the graveyard, he's going through a lot of juice. A lot of cards have been played that can... Oh, what does he have left to even summon... Uh, 6300 is a long way to go. And he can has deck tribe, out the but if, if Tribe somehow gets on his opponent's side of the field, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 oh. the, the, the Tribe Lizards are going to be like super infected, double pneumonia to get in there just to <laughs> just to deal 63. And it, I mean, Insidious still has still has Regeki Break left. He still has Mirror Force Torrential left. Yeah, it's just it's just a no, goat no of his own can, to block yeah, it's, attacks. It's, like, there's no it, card there's that can no do. There's no way Insidious is dying here. He's up in the like it doesn't feel like he's dying here. There, Geist needs to just have some ridiculous combination, and I, I keep willing it, but it, it, it it's got to involve some sort of life gain. Like he's got to get back life in order to to get the premature burial. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's. Let's see. He's got the. Uh, he's got the. He, okay, okay, okay. Getting break being used on a bluff duo. Obviously, can't activate duo right now because there's 300 life points left. If you do so, you will die and lose the game. And or he's he can't got even the activate serpent. it because he can't pay the cost. Hmm. Sinister Serpent has Sinister landed. Serpent normal. Oh, he's going to ring the serpent. Oh, Torrential. Torrential's play. Insidious is getting too. He's just too. He's getting too impatient here. Trying to end the game on his own terms instead of just letting it happen. It, it, it could not matter in the end because Geist, he could recognize that Geist is out of threats. And that there's no way that, that Geist could potentially close out deal 63. So he's just trying to clear as much as possible. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, Ring is still in play for Geist, and it, and it can get a draw out of it. Oh, he's going to go down to 150. Okay, we're going... It's going to be hard. That's a long way to go for a try in, in, this, in this short amount of turns. But Insidious I, I also think Insidious has... Insidious just recognizes the outs here and is not going to play to them. He's, he's either going to try to make a play that ends the game right away, or if it doesn't, 
He's just like, alright, I have enough life, I'm not going to die because there's no threats left. I'm just gonna, like, make him have the answer to what, like, my potential game shot. And go from there. I mean, Geist has a ton of cards to work with here, but are any of them good? And any of them do anything to Insidious? Insidious still has Chaos Monsters to play. One was tucked away earlier in the duel. Mm. And it, it, if Insidious wins this one, this is game two. This is game two. This There's a whole nother game that must be played if Insidious wins this game. So this is not even game three. And we're going to have to do this again. This game two has been going on for pushing 45 minutes, I think. I don't I don't know. I don't have my timer. I don't have my stopwatch on me. But this game has been going on. <laughs> This is <laughs> this is probably yeah, this is probably why people stop playing goat 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 based decks because they just take such a long time. <laughs> oh man, this is why people probably stop playing them. I think. Oh goodness. Yeah, next tournament. Heavy only, storm coming out now. Only warrior decks. I think uh, what was it? Uh, Lucas, Lucas, and SDL. Their match, their whole match took ten minutes. The whole thing. All ring of matches. destruction gone. No ring of destructions will be able to be played. Tribe Infecting Virus will be able to clear this whole board if Geisty opts to play it. And Here's there Tom. it is. Here he is. This is the last body. This is the last dragon of uh, the red corner. The last swinging thing that you can that you can do. He's thinking about what he's going to discard here. And he's going to discard the Discarding premature the burial. Premature which is burial dead, that's a sign that he beasts. doesn't have any of the life gain cards. He's going to get rid of all the beasts. It's just not. I just don't see it here for Geist, unfortunately. He's trying. I mean, not giving up. Why give he's up? Not, yeah, I mean, he's not giving up. This is the World Championship. He's not just going to concede. At, at least not in a. Like, make sure that the, that the position's definitely unwinnable here. You don't know if Insidious actually has the Chaos just yet. You might get lucky and it, it could be in the bottom two cards of his deck, right? The last two Chaos Sorcerers just in the bottom two. And he just doesn't have any action on his end. Yeah, maybe maybe Insidious just doesn't have any cards. If he, I mean, we're talking about what guys doesn't have access to. Maybe to Insidious storm, doesn't have, so doesn't have access to a lot of good cards left. We know he has Chaos Steel. So at a minimum, he's got that going on. No more, not another dust shoot coming out. And we're one light, one dark. dark. Here comes Chaos Sorcerer. Doesn't need to banish, can just attack if he wants to. I don't know, but Geist might have access to it. Let's see, how many Magician of Faith have been used? I think all the Faith, all the merchants are gone. Yeah, Mirror Force is this. still in play for Geist. What about Snatch Steel? Is Snatch Steel still available for Geist? Snatch Steel can be used for Geist then. But we're gonna, gonna play around this. it here by summoning the Tsukiyomi that we knew Insidious had from earlier. And the Mirror Force and is gonna get used up here. That one, guys going all the way to the wire, never giving it up. No man across oh, out has to play it. And that, one, that one. Oh man, this is coming down to the wire. This wire. Is, <laughs> this is nuts. Coming down to the wire. Ooh, what a match. What a match. I'm not even playing, and my brain is just goo right now. My brain is melted, and I'm not even playing. Matter of fact, let me pour... Let me, let me fill, let me fill the glass up a little bit. If Insidious did this play that I thought of with the mind control like a while ago, I'm pretty sure he would have just won the game. Unfortunately, that... I mean, that's, it's, that's the it's, game. It's that he dragged it out for a little while. He that ran Geist out of all of his threats, but it's it's looking real good for him. He's in the, he's in the winning position, but he still has not closed it out. Geist D is hung on for these last like five or six turns did make that misplay with the thousand eyes restrict setting it with the Tsukiyomi after attacking with it way way back and that kind of led us down this road of dragging the game out a little longer than it should have gone <laughs> but geez don't count Geisty out and that and that And that, uh, and that, uh, and that, like you said, that mind control play was pretty strong too. I think if it would have missed, if it had hit that one, like this game would be done. So, oh, another Chaos Sorcerer has landed. Oh, this is it. Maybe Snatch Steel is available and City should have a plan for that. He's trying to end this game. He's, He's trying to he end it. Aggro. 
Got attack. Attack. Sukiomi oh putting goodness. it face down. And he will not be denied. He can just snatch the Chaos Sorcerer away. Oh, oh my. Man. He will not be denied. He's like, uh, this is just a flesh wound. I will. Oh, let's see what it is. Two cards. Three cards left in the deck. Three cards left. What is it? What does Geist D have? Is it the Snatch Deal? What's going to happen? No access Typing. to Heavy left. Last, last chance. chance. Snatch Top Deal. Of snatch Deal. Does Insidious have a response here? Nope. No, he does Just not. Just going to give it to you. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. It's, He's can can it's he gonna... attack the Sangan? He's gonna <laughs> He's going to attack into the Sangan. Ooh, but no. Nah, I was about to say, if he gets the Sangan, right. will that change? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. <laughs> Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. No, his number six, level no, six coming level in. Level six, he can get his like. I don't think he. I don't think Ojama King is good here. I don't think. Oh. Balt the Dark Blade is good here. It's probably just Ryu Senshi just to not he be can't targeted. Pay for it. Just just to not be booked. You can't book him. He is. Uh. So he's going to. Oh, in. you know what he should have got is the boring uh, notion sea snake, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> in city is with the protagonist or the antagonist line. Last chance, solid, but not enough life. And that game is over. I am sweating. Okay, I am sweating. I'm sweating as much. well. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jesus, not even that was too much. That was too much. But oh man, oh man, We're oh man. We're going into a game three. <laughs> so for all of you out there who like to go control mirrors, that was for you. That's what I like to see. It's a lot. A lot to think about. My brain is goo thinking about it. But again, shout out to all of you for watching this stream. We are about to, we're encroaching on 300 viewers. That is huge. Uh, a lot of people checking out some GOAT format. We really appreciate you guys doing that. It means a lot. But again, one more time, if you're so kind, hit the like button wherever you are watching. If you're checking us out on Twitch, thank you for doing that. If you're on YouTube, thank you for doing that. Let's look at some of these, uh, let's look at some of these comments. You know, yeah, I'm in here dying, dude. This is too much. This, this is too much. Okay, yeah. Everyone yeah, kind of agrees. JDZ really wants the Goblin Attack Forces to come back because that at least you understood. Yeah, Shaggy Shaggy played, you know, 17 games in the amount of time that that one game went through. You know what I'm saying? I think that might be what, what, what we need to what we need to shift to. I love some goats. I love watching some goats, but I'm telling you right now, my brain would have absolutely fell out of my skull if I'm Insidious or if I'm Geisty. You saw, you know, Insidious kind of showing some imperfections. Uh, you can see some of that fatigue starting to wear into the Chaos Control player as he's making some less than optimal plays, missing some uh, missing some things, uh, resetting that Thousand Eyes Restrict after he attacked, kind of kind of blowing it, but he kind of got it together, maintained composure, and then decided to go on through. Uh, it was it was uh it was good, it was good. Like to see it, love to see it. So I think that's what it takes to have some type of champion level pedigree. You gotta misplay, have a short term memory, shake it off, get back into it because that's what it takes. You know, everything's not gonna go well. Everything's not gonna go perfect. Obviously, you're gonna want to be perfect, but sometimes you uh, sometimes you can't. So uh, Guy D starting this thing off, going first, playing that good pedigree. Love to see it. You want to start your games off every time that way if you can. Getting two to the hand going to main phase one and we're going to think we're going to think okay goat mirrors fatigue setting in both players have to be famished both players are exhausted i'm These famished matches. i'm exhausted just watching this i <laughs> Man, hope they learns how to <laughs> spot the win condition and sides back in to the emergency provisions <laughs> You know what? If you play, if he plays the emergency provisions mask, I think you you got it. You well, got. He's gonna it. play this trap dust. You gonna get a, to look at the hand here. Maybe maybe he puts it in. Maybe he puts it in. That would be so sick if he gets a thousand eyes set up on the field and then he emergency provisions that uh that set monster or that uh equip card to get another suck on. Clip that. No, we're not we're not sucking anything. Again, getting demonetized. Hey. As, uh, I mean the effect. You know that's, that's that's clean. That's PC. That's PC. Okay. We're gonna take we're, a peek at. At Insidious's hand here, Geisty gonna write it out for us. It's DD Warrior Lady, Tsukiyomi, Book of Moon, Mind Control, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Snatch Steel. So only two options are DD Warrior Lady and Tsukiyomi. Probably gonna tuck back the DD Warrior Lady because that's the one that can be summoned at this point. But now Geisty has to contest with um, setting a card in uh, Mind Control. If he sets a monster, he can just get Mind Controlled away. And also yeah, Snatch Steel. So like snatch. if he puts a if he puts a threat up, it can get Snatch Stolen, and then Tsukiyomi can come down and and set it. So he has to 
has to contend with both of those combos. Mm -mm -mm. So the, right. the, the hand is super reactive from Insidious, and, and he knows this, so he's just going to pass. He doesn't need to do anything. And Jar agreed, agreed, now finding a new card. So Thank with you. the draw, I mean, he's going up two cards to Insidious's fives. Now he finds a graceful charity, so that's some good trend. Good trend, very indicative of game one, finding that trinity, finding that dust shoot, discarding the demock. Oh, this is oh, not looking good. In the really serpent. good this discards. This is not looking really, good really for the blue good corner. discards for him. This is absolutely not looking good for the blue corner. Insidious has to be clinching a little bit and the complete and the delinquent trifecta. duo. Oh gosh. Oh, not like man. this trinity just to just to pick apart this hand. Insidious, I think it was right for him not to really commit any cards to the board, but now he getting might punished go. for doing so thanks to the delinquent duo. This hits a snatch We're... deal that's so big. Let's see what it is. It's the it's an MST. Space typhoon. Probably going to discard the, the mind control. You can, you can discard Book of Moon. Definitely want to keep your monster. and Definitely want to keep yeah. that snatch, though. Let's see it. That's it. So, and that's something that's that's tough very call. tough because that's it kind of dictates what your opponent does, right? That's a that's a very and that's very tough, man. Coming into the winner take all game and you got a full Trinity does shoot opening in the control mirror. This is tough, tough, tough. Hate to see it. Oh man, I feel I feel so bad for Insidious, but he's not gonna give up. He's gonna keep playing. We're gonna play it all the way through, all the way to the bitter end. He sends that mind control out, uh, electing to keep the snatch deal, so freeing up that set to be done. Geisty has near perfect information of the cards available yeah, to Geist, Insidious right now. Geist can now set freely thanks to the mind control being discarded. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if if that was correct to discard the mind control. Oh, because oh, no. the Magician Faith can come out, and it's up to Geist on oh, what he wants no. to do. Let's does see. he want to draw yeah. more cards, or does he want to just take away his opponent's resources? I I, I don't know. I grab the link with the duo. duo. Yikes, baby. Very, very yikes. Oh, man. This is not looking good. This is not looking good for Insidious. As he's pondering, uh, maybe I should have, uh, you know, did a little did a little prize split. You know what I'm saying? But he's he's here. This is it. We're not, it's not over. It's never over. Nothing's over. It's never finished. I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking good, though, for the blue Yeah, corner. gonna discard the Book of Moon here. Probably gonna get rid of... Yeah, the Tsukiyomi. Down card might be something decent for him, then. Yeah, double, Geisty double... could just Ooh. put in a Tsukiyomi now. Can I? Can, can you think of a, a worse possible start than a full Trinity, Trap Dust Shoot, double duo, with a, with a Sinister D-Mock discard? That's... Ouch, baby. Very ouch. Yeah, it's just very, very rough to come back from. That's repulsive. But you know what? I mean, he's got. He could draw his own pot of greed. Pot of greed into graceful into a bunch of cards. That's strong. That's strong. We'll see. We'll set up. Uh, we'll set up maybe a thousand eyes and kind of stall this thing out. And then we got the magical merchant. A you bug. need to see. It. The bug has flipped, adding the scapegoat to the hand. The cockroach. Five hundred damage on board. That's that's, that's big. That's clock. It's clock. Only gonna attack it for two hundred. Just gonna play around mirror force, just in case. That is a clock. And okay. Geisty, put, putting the pressure on in not in terms of damage, but in terms of just raw car card advantage. Just being able, like, it, it doesn't really feel like Insidious is in this game right now. I mean, it's possible for him to come back. Of course, he's. It's not over until he's at zero. Got to play around Snatch Steel and two Thunder Dragons now. Insidious could use, I don't know, a Regeki break here. Perhaps. Probably not that good. But you got to figure something out. You got to start trying to gain some advantages back. You got to. I, I, these are these are hard. These are hard positions like, to claw back from. Snatch deal on the Magician of Faith to get back. Like if he had a, a Book of Moon or, or a Sukiyomi off the top, isn't really that strong because the, the spells in the graveyard don't really do that much. And oh no! Finding another trap does Finding shoot. Finding a trap does shoot from the magical merchant is going to get a peek at the hand. I mean, it might not be good to use at this junction because you know what we just know that there's are. two Thunder Dragons in the Snack Steel, so we don't need to take a peek. But man, this is just. Oh, this is rough. I think he's going. Let's see if he rips it here. 
he's, he's going yeah, to go ahead and rip it just to just I to mean, get it's full fine. idea just to get more of what knowledge. He's so he has perfect he has perfect information on uh, on the whole entire situation it's that uh, that, that Insidious has. Oh my goodness! You know what? If so the D... snatch is set somewhere, it's the yeah. <laughs> set the snatch deal. Get it off the okay. He oh, now he did have the Yomi. He did have it. Oh my goodness! Oh my what, goodness! That would have been a, that uh, that been a card that could have got him back in the game, kinda. If the snatch was able to resolve, I mean, it's very difficult snatching resolve into three back row. But that's some information oh. that Geist gets to learn thanks to the trap does shoot. Gets to see the hand, know that the snatch deal is set, making making like a, a breaker really powerful. Oh man, Jared Greed just drawing extra cards. Jared Greed has been so good for Geist D this entire tournament. And he, yeah, he can all just them, switch all, the... all of his dudes into attack mode and just kill the goats. Not even all a factor. Those, all those micro machines just coming in, little guys doing damage. Oh my goodness, this is uh, this That's is not looking great. This is not looking great. And it's, I, I just, I just realized, I just read, I just read some of the comments. I just realized if, if guys D can manage to win this event and secure the world champion, the world championship stays in Germany for the second year in a row. That is just, we, we gotta, we gotta fix something. Yeah. Now. I think Germany, best like country in goats. All the shipping fees got to get paid. <laughs> you got it. You let me know. You let me know. Okay, so it's a lot of little dudes clearing out all those goats. Uh, and this is a lot of cards. Oh, man. If it, oh, but look at that. Look at that key code to Ghost Destroyer. He's down. And he's like, I will fight for king and country. I am Kaiko. I am the Ghost Destroyer. I mean, he's got to mount some of sort of offense here. Uh, he knows every card in the hand. Gotta just try to wow. put up a guy. And he got it through. It went through, so you get to banish that demock. That kind of leaves a little bit of pressure, uh, because you know, getting that guy premature to get more Trinity is exactly the opposite of what you want to need. So maybe if we can get through uh, all these level ones, Metamorphosis is looking extremely juicy yeah, coming from the blue corner. A big Metamorphosis <laughs> display would be. It is looking. Nice. It is looking supple right now. A Metamorphosis being played. To go ahead and add that Kaiko to the spell and trap zone and continue the assault. Let's see what happens. And they're going to go ahead and creature swap. Sending over one of the level one insects oh, in wow. exchange for the bead shaking menace. Keeping that creature swap in is interesting against these goats, but he guys is a talented player. He knows how to read and analyze and knows that those probably aren't going to be goats on the field right now. So let's see if we can go ahead and well, switch one to defense. Deal. So he's gonna play it and go ahead and crank in, getting the clearing clearing the light and dark from the graveyard. Kiko is now working for the enemy. Oh no! Insidious draws again. Oh, and we're gonna pot of greed. So it, find some good start, I mean, guys, guys might slam Solemn here. Let's see if Solemn is played. Let's Just gonna let it go through. Okay, so the Pottergree is good. Insidious gets a small breath of fresh air, looking for some light at the end of the tunnel to maybe piece together a winning combination of cards. Snatch deal being Snatch played the from the here. deck. I mean, you can take the level one if you drew a Metamorph, and that might be what happened. Oh, happens. that's what he's going for. He's going for the Magician of Faith. Maybe he drew redrew that Tsukiyomi. You can get some value out of here. He's going to go Metamorphosis on the level one. Level one. Sorry about. That. Excuse me. Yeah, you're gonna take the level one away. Gonna go into Thousand Eyes Restrict and now. Oh, attacking. So mounting some sort. I mean, he's got a, he's got a threat on the board here. He cleared. He cleared his opponent's monsters. Down only down by a hundred points of damage. But Abyss Soldier is going to cleanly answer this Thousand Eyes Restrict. Geist D just had so many more cards, just got to see them. Thanks to siphoning through with Jar of Greeds, Magical Merchants, Pot Graceful. 
That doesn't put a dark in the graveyard. Oh, it does put a dark in the graveyard because of the Kaiko falling off, but not an additional dark in the graveyard. Does still have access to a light and thunder dragon. Okay, okay. Whew, man. So the city is still down, but not completely out of the game. Hanging tough, trying to make something happen for himself. That's a that's that's a nice a nice combination of cards. If he can if he can put together a string of combinations like a heavy, a ring, a BLS, uh, something like that, and he can probably steal this thing. Never giving up. Insidious is not uh not gonna not gonna just toss it in. Discard a Thunder Dragon. Discard a Thunder just to shuffle. Just a sh just a shuffle and set up that light in the graveyard. And and, and he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. Is mo the most important. Wow, Blackluster Soldier. This has to be met with something. But he's just letting it through. Let's see it. It is DU attack here. Is there a oh. mirror force still left for Geist? There is. Torrential also as well. Is Insidious going to retain Cryo to use the ignition effect of Blackluster Soldier and banish Abyss Soldier? Let's he's just going to run it. He's going for it. Attacking for 42 if this goes oh, through. Wow. The first attack hits. The Let's second attack connect. is a goat. Oh. We'll run headlong into Gate Ghost, hitting one and uh, bringing that out, bringing that total down to three, setting a monster beside the Black Luster Soldier. And then we're going to go see if we're going to add any type of defense. I don't think he, uh, he puts one down and passes it over. We know it's over Dobermann across out, so it's just, a, it's just a bluff. It's, it, it, does Geist remember is the thing. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Geist does, although he did forget about the mind control earlier. So he might be thinking that it is a bluff, but there's a snatch steal. There this is, is going to get snatch taken. Deal. And this might just no one across out. No one across out. Will you put a monster next to the DLS in, in this game? I'm gonna banish Is them there from a the deck. Just a formality at this point. Yeah, no more left in a cyber oh. jar. Cyber for exact jar. <laughs> exact lethal. Oh man, you love to see it. Cyber jar doing lethal damage. Exactly 3,900. Congratulations to Believable. Guys B for securing victory. And moving on to the finals, where awaits him is Dingo Sig, the fighting Frenchman, standing by, observing these matches, being prepared, ready, locked in. Now he is awake and ready to rumble. So, with all the hype of the GOAT Format World Championship will stay in Europe. It, it will stay in Europe. It will either retain itself in Germany or it will move over to France. We will find out here in a second with Dingo Sig being on the winner side. Guys D is going to have to beat him two times. Okay, two times on Dingo Sig. One win, one match win from Dingo Sig, and the event is over. And Dingo Sig will be your go format world champion for the year 2022. I'm hyped. I'm pumped for it. I'm stoked. And, and well played, Brian Sidious. Stuck it out for the entire the entire time here. I mean, you saw it, it, that that opening from Geist was just so strong. But Insidious played on, was not deterred, tried to play to the best of his ability, and it, impre such an impressive performance by him throughout and both, the and entire all, all event. Player, yeah, all, all players, to include Insidious, getting a top four in the Gold Format World Championship is very, very difficult to do. I love reading the comments. Uh, guys, D said all the bad luck he's had from the previous Gold Format War League. He has kind of rubbed it off, and now he has, has found some good luck. That was a great opening to start. To start the to start the game off for Guys D, so maybe he, let's see if he can maintain that. He's gonna need it. Dingo Sig has a very powerful deck, and he is a talented player as well. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Are they in? Are they up? I'm sure they need a break after that. I'm sure they do need a break. Yeah, I think you're gonna take a little bit of a of a of a breather first, but we will be back momentarily with the grand finals of the Goat Format World Championships 2022. Ooh. I know Don't I need touch, a little bit of a break. Don't I will touch be that dial. Right back as well. Keep it locked. Don't touch that dial. Don't go anywhere. Keep stay here. Oh man, we want to hear it. I want to see predictions in the thing. As a matter of fact, I think I can. Uh, let's put a let's put a let's put a little poll out there for you for the for the viewers out here. We have a lot of people out there uh, enjoying some goat format. How do I do that, man? I'm I'm a I'm a old I'm a zoomer out here. Maybe I can figure this thing out. I'm a boomer. Here we go. Uh, create a poll.
Okay, that did not work. Absolute failure. <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I doing? All right, let's try this again. Oh. Uh, uh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Better now. I know. Oh, I didn't. I, I did, but I, I just deleted it because I, uh, I, I'm trying to put a poll out. Are you putting, can, can someone, can someone put a poll out who they think?
all right all right all right we are back and we are locked in this is the finals it all comes down to this dingo sig to after taking that long hiatus has come back and he has found himself as the winner side of the grand finals of the world championship he came in he played a few events he didn't have that success that he wanted right away and you can tell there was some frustration in there trying to figure out how i just can't win i have I, some of the things he was saying I, I i was reading some of the things this duel was saying but now in the championship where it all matters dingo sig is in the winter side of the grand finals so it's all coming together it's all a part of the plan playing the deck that he has patented that he enjoys the most being chaos return so uh, but guys, D is no slouch to winning as well. Sitting there, four-time major champion. If you're just tuning into this stream, both of these players residing in Europe. It is extremely late, or getting late, not too late. Pretty late. To it's be playing it's some. getting pretty late for them. It's getting it's getting pretty late for both of these players. Fatigue is a factor as we're starting to see. But who's going to bend? Who's going to break first? That is for. Uh, that, that that might be what it takes because the slightest misstep, the slightest sidestep is what's, what's going to be the difference between winning and losing. Okay. And okay. What, JDZ, okay. we got two different decks here. Mm. We got Chaos Return and we got Goat Control here Ooh. in the finals. I Goat, control Goat Control in the hands of Geisty that we just saw in the loser side of the bracket has to overcome not only a best two out of three, but another best two out of three because he has to yeah. knock Dingo Sig into the loser side in order to become the Goat Corbat World Champion. Uh, both of these players, however, have secured invites to next year's Goat Format World Championship. So congratulations right. to them. Like you've been saying, it's sometimes a grind to even get an invite in the first place. These two players don't have to worry about it. They can sit pretty all year. They don't They don't have to play in another tournament until Worlds next year if they don't want to. Right. I'm sure they will because I know these guys very well and they both love to play. Probably need to practice a in a couple of tournaments if they look to repeat <laughs> their success here. You know, Dingo Sig, yeah. top eighted Worlds last year. Didn't get any closer. W probably wish they, they could have done better than they did. Definitely improved from last year for sure and Absolutely. the same deck as well a different list of course but same, same deck type just the same very strategies. familiar with it okay okay so okay, okay. As, as we have time as we're waiting as we're waiting on uh as we're waiting on the duelist to come in we have uh, we have another article that has been released by Spook, and when you get time, make sure you check that out. It is in reference to Kazuki Takahashi being inducted into our GOAT format Hall of Fame this year. Uh, as, as you all know, if you follow this game in any way, you know that we lost the founder of our great game, uh, the great uh, anime Kazuki Takahashi. And uh, we just want to we just want to make sure you guys take time to go check that article out. And more information was uh, was also later discovered that Kazuki Takahashi gave up his life in a heroic heroic effort rescuing a uh, a, 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 a swimmer that was caught in a riptide. So not only did we lose him, but we lost him trying to. And I believe he actually saved uh, another another person. So that is the that is somebody that we always want to remember. And we all want to thank Mr. Takahashi for what he has created and allowed us all to enjoy. Because if not for his creation, we all would not be here playing and enjoying this game. It has brought us all hours and hours and hours of countless joy for a long time for a lot of us. So shout out to you, Mr. Takahashi, and thank you for everything you have done for us and our great game. Yeah. Check the article out. I mean, I, I, I can't say any more kind words than you already have. Like, I... I feel like I owe him a debt. Um, my my basically like my entire life, as far as I can remember, I, has involved Yu-Gi-Oh in some way. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, it just it, I get really emotional like just thinking about all the factors and everything, and just being able to do this because this is like this is the format, goat format, where I first started actually going to like tournaments regularly, and um, and I just never stopped. I still do it like up to this day. 
You so, can't, I, I, it, is, it is it is impossible to quit this game. There is I, I, so many people have quit this game so many times. You don't quit go. You don't quit Yu Gi Oh. You just wait for a little while, and then you're always going to find yourself back into this game. Uh, I, I talk to a lot of people that come by the program. We do those interviews, and everyone says the same thing. Yeah, I played back in the day, and then something about this game is going to draw you back in. A uh, big aspect to me, I absolutely am infatuated with this community. I love the people that I have met in my goat format journey. The people who reach out to me, telling me that they may have found this channel or found a video that I've created and then they have found the Go Format game that brings me an immense amount of joy. The people that I engage with on a daily basis that also love this game, the passion that some of these players have, the time and dedication that is put in to a, so many hours of people's time is dedicated to this game. It is not for nothing. It's something that is extremely important to me and a lot of people that I know. So it, it is it is truly, truly, truly an important game. And it matters if you let if you say it matters. So if you want to go down that rabbit hole, if you find yourself enjoying GOAT format, there are places you can go to continue to play. There's always a community for you. You are welcome here with us. It is something that is uh, that I think is incredibly important. I'll continue to play this game until my dying days. Amen, Absolutely. brother. And yeah, good, shout out to Spooky for all of the hard work that he's been doing today on all these articles, gathering player profile information, doing deck techs, and of course this amazing write up for Kazuki Takahashi san. Love to see it. Okay, we still got we still got Dingo hosting up. Guy Steve probably having to take a complete Ginkoba brain break absolute reset after that mind melding chaos control go control mirror match going i don't know how long that match lasted but somebody could pull up a replay and oh see. It, it, it was it was over it was <laughs> over a long well period over. of time that it, had to be well to over one hour that had we, to be well we over sat an hour. there for a couple more turns than we should have been sitting there for but i mean whew. it was rough it was tight, tight it tight, was tight. a rough one but it, it was it was amazing Okay, so we are standing by. We are waiting, waiting. Here we go. It is, uh, reading the chat, it is 23.45 for, uh, for the players. 23.45, I, I believe that is French. I don't know if Germany and France are on the same, France are on the same time zone. They might be. I'm pretty sure they might both be uh, the, the same time zone. Uh, they so are. It is almost I nearing midnight. The game is in. Okay, let me get in there. Let me get in. Let me in, Eric Andre. Let me in. Okay, and here. All right, I am looking for Dingo. The. All right, and. And I am in. I am in. All right. This is it. It all comes down to this. Everyone, again. Yeah, being fasten here, your seatbelts. It's going to be a ride. It's either going to be a slow cruise, you know, throughout the goat control land, just sliding along, metamorphosis, <laughs> thousand eyes restrict, flip flopping. Or it's going to be a roller coaster where, you know, you're going to be at this, think you're safe, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of guys are going to come from the different dimension and just attack you for gate. <laughs> Coming from the second dimension to absolutely dimension. annihilate your life points. A different dimension could also be the second dimension. Huh? Aha, well, aha. I don't know if that, well, you don't know <laughs> which number dimension it is. It's just the different dimension <laughs> all right so he's gonna open it up with a nice humble set one the humblest set one i mean he could set some more cards here dingo we'll six. set two take he's a set. look at dingo six deck here i'm gonna bring it up on my screen and relay the information over to our lovely lovely audience dingo six. agree being played by dingo sig love to see it uh played by geist Oh, sorry, Guys D. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm used to Guys D being at the bottom. He was down at the bottom for so long for me as the uh, as the hoster. It feels wrong to see the, the the wretched critter of the attic at the top. In the blue but side, now, yeah. <laughs> but now the, the Dingo Sig being the hoster in the red corner with that profile picture looking very French and very swaggy. Love to see it. With that head tilted to the left, very hot. I would swipe right all day. Okay. Love they were going to draw one off the deck. 
Then go heads into main phase one, gives it a shuffle and thanks. Let's see what he's gonna do. Yeah, this is the thing, like, no, no one to cross out is normally good to deny the flip effects, but it's really powerful, actually, when you Nobleman one of Dingo's flip effects for Dingo, because he can just flip return and kill you with them. Yeah, so, and I mentioned that in the, in the previous Dingo Seed game, you gotta, uh, if you're the if you're the blue corner, you have to keep a running tally in the back of your mind how much damage is in the out-of-play zone. How and much Sangin's pretty good here, because there's, like, nothing that really blocks a Sangin attack in uh, Geist's deck that he wants to set. But, ooh, the Magical Merchant picking up Heavy Storm. That's going to force Dingo to have a Solemn Judgment. All right, and then we have... <laughs> Let's see Very it. Close. Let's see it. You got to have Singer, it. You're going to pay 4k day. to stay with these back rows. You can't Either way, Heavy Storm is going to the graveyard, and he will. Okay, 4,000. Had to play it. That magical merchant showing its showing its resolve. It's all I'm getting, the, no. getting the heavy storm earlier to the hand. All right, all right, all right. And we go into main phase one. Poor guys thinking about it. Thinking, thinking. Geist is late and dark in the graveyard already, thanks to the Magical Merchant. But, no, uh, this isn't a Chaos deck like we saw with Insidious. Not likely that he has BLS right away. Probably gonna take a little while to get there, even though the light and dark is already set up. Don't know if you would want to run the BLS out anyway, it does represent a ton of damage here. And here's the Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch! <laughs> Sack and a Sangin, a Zaborg popping a Sack and a Sangin, popping yes, a set. Sangin will be chain link 1, and then Zaborg will be chain link 2. That's a power play. That is a power play. Let's see how this breaks down. Guy Geist keeps thinking about it. Has to think. Maybe, maybe we get a solemn judgment here. Yeah, if the solemn comes out, he still gets to resolve the Sangan. Hmm. And it is going to be Solemn Judgment. Wow. I mean, I guess you kind of have to. It yeah, still gets a search here. But now, remember, keeping a running tally. How much How much is in the different dimension right now? Uh, still not 4,000 quite yet. He's got a Light and Dark and Grave, though. So if he has a Chaos Monster, he could summon the Chaos Monster, return from the different dimension, and just maybe win the game that way. There's not a whole lot, like I said, that, that Geist has in terms of defense that he could be setting here. And Ooh, now the trap dust shoot. Super nice trap dust shoot. It's kind of clearing the field, for, clearing clearing the way for any type of extra aggressive push that uh, Dingo Sig may be able to advance. Oh man, let's see it. Oh. Okay, okay. Looking good here. You added Gravekeeper Spy off of the Sangan. And now we're taking a look. It's Goats, Meta, Tsukiyomi, Demok and Abyss Soldier. Goats meta, Tsukiyomi, Demok and Abyss Soldier. All right. All right. Let's see how he goes. What's going to be the yeah, send back here? Sending with the Tsukiyomi feels like the best play here. Probably correct. Uh, just because if that is a flip effect, like if that's Magician of Faith, then he can, you know, get back to Heavy Storm, which he's probably going to get back here. But it won't be able to be reset now. Think I said could? Use a solemn on this magician of faith. Thinking about it though, I like thinking about it. He's going to see what the target is going to be. Well, now, now the target is coming through, so he mm. can't use the solemn, but he will be able to use torrential tribute. Okay, okay. So the heavy storm just getting value because if he plays that heavy storm, you're going to lose it anyway. All uh, right. I think if you're if you're geist, you just take the one for one, summon abyss, and attack. And that's what he's going to do here. Now, does Dingo Sig always oh, a heavy storm of his own? Oh, set storm. Abyss Soldier is down. That's a beefy 1800. And life points are getting exceedingly low for Dingo yeah, Sig. Drop him down to 22 if the, when this goes through. And he's just checking the graveyard just to see what else he could have. I mean, Spy's going to be able to block this Abyss Soldier unless Geisty rips a water monster. 
And you know they come, they come in pairs. They come in pairs. Could be the you sinister, got the yeah. Abyss Soldier, Sinister Serpent. That could just be a devastating combination. Oh, it doesn't even matter because he has Meta and Goat. So he can activate Goat, steal the, the spy that gets set, and then normal summon Demok. Ooh, ooh, that's a line. Let's see if Guys D can find it. Let's see if that is what uh, what the what the two time does. But he's gonna say, oh, you know what? Got to contend with Snatch involved. Deal now. I don't know how I feel about setting the Metamorph. I guess it doesn't matter because the Heavy Storm is. But if yeah, he does both, use both the Heavy are gone. I mean, you know that that Dingo Sig is on Dust Tornadoes. So if you're you're just opening yourself up. To having your meta Morphosis uh, Dust Tornadoed or MST'd if you set it. Whereas with the Scapegoat, you just have it and you're going to be able to chain it no matter what. And yeah, no preemptive here. Has to gain a thousand thanks to the Snatch deal. So no Dust Tornado may be coming out. Okay, so meta's being played as anticipated. He's going to lose 11 because he's activating Solemn Judgment. Taking that Abyss Soldier. <clears throat> keeping it on the side. Keep it on the side. Abyss Soldier gets snatched a lot too. Abyss, Abyss Soldier gets snatched a lot as well. Now we're going to see Greycooper Spy flip up, but we're going to see gonna a Solemn, solemn judgment. From, Dinga, or from Geist D going down to 25 now. Both players at precarious, really low life. Dingo Sig. Dingo Sig is at less. Snatch deal back. Oh, this works too. Oh, that does it. That's going to be GG's. GG's for, wow, these uh, for Guys just D taking putting, that. The Solemn's just putting the players at such low life points, making cards like that lethal. Okay, okay, okay. So we got the we got the we got the poll out there. Let's see. I can't let's see, I'm having some issues. There we go. All right, it says will Hmm, let's see here. <laughs> Paul for our YouTube audience says, Will Geist D reset this bracket? It's looking good for him now. He's already up a game. Just needs one more. But what do you guys think? Vote in the poll if you haven't already. Tell your friends that some amazing GOAT format action is going on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So side decking is complete. Yeah, side decking is complete. Dingo Sig's gonna go first here. We're gonna see Graceful Charity to start off. And if, if I'm guys, see, I want I want I want all the matches to go. I want all the matches to go exactly like that one. Just get into a huge solemn exchange, run those life points down quickly, and just win. Because Guys D has that, to do this two times. That is surely what could happen. Trap dust shoot gonna be the play from Dingo after priority is passed over to him. Okay. Strong trap dust shoot. This card is a this card is a bannable card as well. Didn't it get banned? I think it got limited. It got limited later on. Probably shortly after go format. This card gets limited. No, it took a while for this card. It to took get a while. What, when did it? When did late. it get limited? I know in Edison format, this thing is. It, it got it got limited around like 2007 or 2008 ish. I can't recall off the top of my head, but I, I, I'm not I'm not exactly sure. But definitely way after go format, it got limited finally. This card and is no so one, uh, strong, and we're seeing how strong it is just by, you know, not, putting a card back, awesome. But information is so, so important, especially in a format like this. And no one played it. This card wasn't...
it wasn't played nearly as much as it's, at its play today. I think it, I think it's a it's a slave was slept on card for a while, but it kind of picked up some steam. And like I think it might going into the next dueling season. I think this card is going to get picked up. And I think a lot of people are going to use it because it shows some uh, it shows some great resilience. Ashura Priest, a good side deck card coming in from Dingo Sig to deal with the goat decks. Not a lot of people had goat decks on their radar, but you know Ashura Priest, very uh, old school answer to the goat deck. Being able to just attack all the goats that come up, invalidating it. Now, now Magical Merchant is going to find a Delinquent Duo that could take care of the Ashura Priest when it goes back to the hand at the end of the turn. Geisty going to take I'll 17 from it. I was uh, I was listening to some of the things Ding or listening. I was reading some of the things Dingo was talking about in some of the uh, various chats and servers. He was saying he didn't like the Shining Angel and uh, he kind of regrets playing it. But I mean, if you could get it, if you can get it where it's crashing with the Dekoichi, even though Guys D does not uh, does not have access to that card, I think that that's where it's at its strongest, where it's plus from the deck. Second it's for the board is also that a great option as well. He's playing it because like he's only playing two of them, and he's not playing Faith. He's only playing DD Worry Lady as a target. Uh, it might it might just been better for him to play like Blade Knight and then a Rota maybe. I don't know. He's got that. He does. He does have access I mean, to that. Uh, that four star, one thousand attack, two thousand defense machine monster. That tank over roulette barrel is firmly placed in the side deck. It might actually come in right now. I don't know. I mean, that that, that is definitely an option for him as, if he wants to play that card. I don't know though. I mean, he, he, he it could be an improvement on the deck, but is it if he wins the world championships? Like, is it an improvement, right? Like, does he need to further iterate? Probably. The format is always developing, and that's what's so cool about Go Format, is that mm. even though it's the same static card pool, the metagame is still changing. We're still figuring out time. what what beats what, like, countering what people are doing. Like, who would have thought, you know, Mystic Walk coming back into Vogue for the Burn matchup, and people started playing Hysteric Fairy as well? I mean, that's a brand new that's one. That's incredible. That's incredible. Now we might have to we might have to start putting cards back in for these goat decks because these goat decks are about to explode in popularity. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, I think uh, one of the, one of the reasons I, I anticipated something I, I read earlier. I I feel I feel that a lot of players believe that these goat decks had so much success because the turbo decks have just kind of had to just interbreed in order to defeat the turbo deck so much so that you are going to uh, sacrifice a lot of matchups. Um, that you that you would that you didn't used to in 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 early times. Like a lot of Book of Moons aren't played in the main decks anymore because they're terrible in the mirror, but they're great in this get in this matchup. So that might be something to think about for players and their deck building choices going forward in the in the future uh, next year and beyond. Now this think about. this Liquid Duo pickup was able to get rid of Ashura Priest and the Mystical Space Typhoon. And now the goats are able to resolve thanks to that delinquent duo. Oh. And we're, we're seeing that most of our viewers believe that Geisty will be able to reset the bracket versus Dingo Sig here. But will he be able to win the entire World Championships? He's going he's gonna to try. And there's Book of Moon, like you were saying, JDC, that fell out of favor. Dingo Sig, I'm bringing him. That's what yeah. he says. And that's a that's a He's card. He's got two think, of them in the main. Yeah, every every car. If you notice, players who uh, who made it pretty deep in this event have access to uh, to the Book of Moon. Geist D did not. Geist oh. D has zero <laughs> Book of Moons in his deck. <laughs> oh, except for Geist D, he doesn't need them. Everybody else, I mean, all, all the players that aren't going control. Professional yeah, that's that's Heavy mean. Storm being flipped up from Dingo Sig, going to be met with a Ring of Destruction. Oh, I don't think man. Dingo Sig mines too much. That's fourteen hundred more damage than. Geisty gets to inflict to himself. If he has a Zaborg, though, that would be annoying. Could play a Chaos Monster out here, I believe. I think there's a Dark in the Graveyard. There's actually not. I'm mistaken. There's two lights. A Shura Priest and Shining Angel. Bazoo would be a good card to play. He could beef it up just a little bit. 2200 attack. <laughs> it's possible that Dingo Sig is a little frustrated now because he wanted to summon Zaborg. I'm just thinking about, you know, it'd be good in this spot, the Fiend Mega Cyber. <laughs> a little the proto Cyber Dragon action. 
That'd be good. I don't know why that, that I would, card... I would let oh, him summon man, this so board sick. and put a dark in the graveyard, and that dark is 2200 attack. So if he does return it, that's like a huge monster. Why not? What's that? What's that? Uh, what's that? What's that card's defense? What's he? What's he? I what's don't the remember. Stat Let's put the, what's, let me look that up real quick. Yeah, use use the the friendly <laughs> retrobot to find out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Jazz for putting that bot together. It helps us all out a lot. We can see what these cards are. Helps us helps us run these tournaments very efficiently. Nice, very cool. 1200. So, yeah, Phoenix Cyrus in at 1200 beefy defense. He's he super. Can't Sukiyomi it. <laughs> can't Sukiyomi it. Card looks cool as hell. So, Tribe can get rid of everything here. And then uh, punch in for a little bit of damage. Let's see if that is how it goes. It's it's whether or not Dingo wants to do it here. Tribe in Dingo's deck, I mean, you kind of have to play it because it's just so good. It is in the side, though. It's so good, though, like to have access to Tribe Infecting Virus just in your 55 somewhere, whether it is in your main deck in the side. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's going to bring it in here for the GOAT matchup, just to clear GOATs like we're going to see him try to do now. But Bring something it in that the zing getting zing. rid of the zinger. Trying to catch him, catch him lacking in public with the zing zing hoop. But this this uh, Sukiyomi is going to have that easy clear out of the tribe infecting virus. I think the problem with tribe in, in Dingo's deck is that it doesn't get uh, like any advantageous discards with um like he doesn't have access to thunder dragon right so he can't like use those for that he doesn't have sinister serpent in his deck either so he can't loop the uh the sinister that way he is able to use the tribe in conjunction with the zoo which is actually pretty okay because you can discard like a monster an extra monster in your hand and then feed it to the zoo yeah but if you look in that out of play zone, there are no monsters in the out of yeah, play that's... zone. This is where you want to be if you are a guy's D, just hanging out with nothing being banished, return being just another dead card. It's not, not a threat any right now. Ooh. So guys in a pretty commanding position, bearing down two set spell traps, one set monster, and the one BLS has soldier. And Dingo, I mean, he might want to try to solemn here but geist could solemn in response and he's gonna try does geist have anything solemn judgment pay the 25 let's see dingo or geist has put the bls in defense mode He says, holy, holy crap, he says. Yeah, Guy's saying Geist holy D. crap. He's thinking about what this could possibly be, and maybe maybe he, there's a possibility to, to, to kill through this? Let's see it. Hitting with a holy crap and a long think here. Either that's either really good or really bad. Usually a holy crap like that indicates some type of Maybe misplay, or maybe it's there's a lethal situation. Difference. No, I don't think anyone says holy crap in like just a, a middling way. Like they're really, uh, it's, it's, it's very enthusiastic whether like holy crap this is good or holy oh, crap this is bad. we're gonna solemn the solemn. Solemn the solemn. Okay, okay, let's see how this shakes down. He's going to go ahead and elect to banish. No ring of destruction. It's gonna use priority, BLS effect. Get rid of the Gravekeeper Spy. And we're going to swing in for 1600. Ring Destruction is already in the graveyard for the blue corner. Can we see a snatch deal from Dingo Sig? That could be rough. Let's see. Dice D got his qualification playing in the Goat Grinder event, I believe. The Goat Grinder event, he got it at the very last possible minute. The V, V, V penultimate. <laughs> oh! Bring the destruction for a tie! Oh, we're taking the draw here if it goes through. Oh man. The only card. Oh, draw. Wow. Is, is the draw offer going to be accepted? Let's see it. 
Let's see it. What are you gonna do? And yes, it oh is. Oh my gosh. So, Dingo gets escapes the jaws of defeat and we continue on. Uh, expletive deleted being screamed from the blue corner as he thought that we had reset the brackets, but we in fact did not. It is, that might have it been is what, That might have been what Holy Crap was for, was this ring of destruction that was quite a possibility because he tried to use the, the Solemn to, to get rid of it, right? And then right. because the Solemn dropped Geist down to it low enough, now the Ring of Destruction becomes live in in the event that uh, you know Dingo Sig is not going to be able to win this game. At least he doesn't lose it. We're going to be oh, able to tie. Oh, man. Geist has got to be sick, but he's got to shake it off. He seems a little rattled, but he is not stunned. He has a champion-level pedigree, as we have discussed several times. He, I'm sure he's been in, in, in positions like this at some point or another in his dueling career. So right now, we're sitting at a 0-1-1. The game was tied. Geist is still up a game. Uh, and you're going to continue to dice roll, and you're going to or rock paper scissors, and you're going to play this game game uh, three right now. But this is a game two situation. I know Maskus loves when I say that. Okay, with guys being up one round, and the paper is selected by the red corner, rock being selected by the blue corner. Dingo Sig will be going first in this game three. Zero, one, and one. Dingo Sig has a. Has to win this game. Cannot afford to lose any more games. Starting off with some of that good training, the delinquent duo. <laughs> delinquent duo has been played. Wow, that was a super loud sound effect for the delinquent duo. I don't know what's going on with that selection. That was so, so loud. That's, and that's scary a little bit how loud that sound is for the delinquent duo. Just to put emphasis oh. on it. Getting rid of a Bit Soldier and Tyrannical Tribute, two good ones. Dingo managing to uh, to clutch that out. Oh my goodness! And sets one in the face of a set. Throw it over to the MST. MST. Popping that solemn judgment. Dingo going to flip up the Koichi. Draw a new card. Adding one to hand. Will be a Nova to cross out here. Just Let's pick it away it. at the and board. Will be. Getting rid of Sagan. Great one. Great one to hit. Just gonna run in with the train. Momentum shift here from Dingo Sig. That ring of destruction tying the last game might have been what he needed, but has no follow up. And now DD Warrior Lady gonna crash in here. Definitely not gonna banish. Just gonna let you take the hundred. Clearing that, getting a nice, smooth, uh, clean plus, clean takeout of that Dequeche. Even though Dequeche has done his job, flipped and attacked. Love to see it if you are Dingo. Okay, okay. So main phase two, guys is thinking about it. Two cards in hand. What can that thought process be? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Dingo is getting the turn. Main phase one, drawing one, giving a quick shuffle, thinking about what he's going to do. He's got this DD Warrior Lady, and that's not the worst. That's the worst thing. That's not the. That's not the worst thing because guess what? You get that DD Warrior Lady, you get it banished, and you just get a card out of play. That's just more damage that's for your just whole. Damage for the return, yeah. Yeah, that's just more damage in your banish zone for return to execute. Dingo could put, make a, a snatch deal play here. He could set maybe just a spy. That's a little bit more damage. Here's comes tri infecting virus. Be able to clear this DD warrior lady off. I don't believe there's a dark monster in the graveyard. Gonna get rid of. Then he return. Return from the different dimension. We're just gonna punch in for some significant damage. Okay, getting down to a five thousand for guys D. Two cards left. Dingo up up two. Guys D is now going to be on the draw. Looks like. Let's see if Dingo puts anything behind this try. Still doesn't. He didn't put anything behind the... or to go along with the Dekoichi last turn. Interesting maneuvers by Dingo Sig. Does, is this a lot of normal summons that he has in the hand? Doesn't want to overcommit? He could uh, He could be living in Insidious's timeshare in Browntown as well. That I is mean, he could be. It's a vacation Airbnb at Browntown location in Insidious's... Uh, Photograph. That's that's probably where he could be right now. 
yeah, I don't know. The Airbnbs are getting out of hand nowadays. Ridiculous cleaning fees. Probably has I a hotel. Know. Probably. Marriott, you know. Yeah, the Marriott. He's staying at the uh, Hilton, Hilton at the Hyatt. I don't know. Grand Regency. 1600 is coming the in. Double this, tree. Tribe infecting, this, this tribe infecting virus is going right on in there. Punching in. Everyone has Sakuretsu armor is trying to get them on out of here. Here's a card from the side deck from Geisty. Sides three of them. Okay, so also now he's thinking swords about are it. revealing light. Here's Breaker. We're gonna just, just get TT even this right away. You, you have to. And this is so much different from last uh, match that we featured. It's it's not a not like a control where there's so much to think about. I mean, Geist would like it that way and get a more complicated board state because it would probably make it harder for Dingo to push through if the board state gets kind of mucked up with like Thousand Eyes and and uh, and goats floating around. Going to be definitely harder for Dingo to, to kill you that way. But this is how Dingo wants the game to go. Him as the aggressor attacking in here with Shining Angel. And he's Shining Angel. One this for one, one this with his opponent. Some... They can show some value here as well. Uh, just being a light monster, being a healthy body at 1400. Yeah, I mean, and it, if you are able to be uh, killed, you can get another one out of the deck. So that's where he's showing some. Uh, you can find the roulette value. barrel, like we were talking about earlier, or the DD Warrior Lady as well. 2200 left for Guy. See, the Shining Angel is being a menace to society. You set another monster to go along with it. So that could be maybe a Great Fever Spy. Heavy Don't Storm. Heavy Storm being played. Let's see how Dingo reacts to this Heavy Storm. He's going to go ahead and book of moon. moon. His own Shining Angel setting that down in this position. The 1400 attack, 800 defense fairy is now sideways on the left. And we're going to set to Dingo has to be thinking that Torrential Tribute is an option for Geisty, even though it's in the graveyard. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, but the Dekoichi is flipped. Dekoichi. Yeah, that, that Torrential Tribute stripped away very early thanks to Delinquent Duo. Yeah, asking if it's negated. It is not, so we're going to get a draw here. And this is lethal. 2,800 attack it, points. It connects. On the board right now. These guys Mirror go Force. through. Mirror Force still in play. Sakuretsu armor in play as well. Let's see what Goat guys he does. Play. There could be a, a lot of cards. Punching in for 14. They both connect, so nothing. <laughs> nothing. Three cards of absolute nothing for Dinga or for Guys D to protect himself in that situation. So it goes down to one, one, and one. Oh my goodness, if the We're fighting at Frenchman championship point right now. Dingo <laughs> needs to win one more in order to become the new GOAT format world champion. If Guys D can manage to somehow secure another victory, we have to do this all again. Yeah, we so gotta play another match. Right now, or we have to play an entire another match. It's already getting late for both of these competitors. So this is where it comes. This is how champions are made. Champion material is happening right here. So everyone in the watchers chat, let us know what's going on, what you guys want to see. Uh, we have, we're still sitting at around 300 in the chat. Love to see it. 300 watchers all over the world. Thank you all again for spending your time with us in GOAT format. Who do you guys think is going to win? Dingo has the match point going into game three. But guys, he's going to be going first. And he's going to go ahead and set one up. Set two. And throw it over to Dingo Sig. Dingo Sig and starting Dingo off like he did last turn with Duo. Oh, love to see two it. I, less cards in the hand for I him would love to... to. Uh, him to deal with so this is going to be a big duo i would love to have my delinquent duo have some uh have some discipline like that and just come to my starting hand getting rid of a sakuretsu would... armor that might mean that there's a sakuretsu armor already face down that could be true that could be true could also mean that there's just a, a card that'll block an attack maybe a scapegoat already down for geisty followed up by pot of greed i love the sequencing. oh ho 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 oh ho, man it is hard to come oh man Oh man, it's hard. It's this is hard to come back for Mr. P. It's hard. Pot duo. But keep in mind that Guys D does play more play both of the jars, 
Okay, he plays Cyber Jar and Morphing Jar. Those cards can simply reset your Trinity as if they had never happened a lot of times. So it's no longer, he's got those goats up. He can stall this thing out, get some cards back. Dingo has played some of the best cards in the game with Potter Green and Delinquent Duo, but we're going to go ahead and get swap. this creature swap. So he's just going to give him without switching one of the goats to attack mode. Hmm. Probably means that he just doesn't have a play beyond this. That's that could be true. Maybe trying to stop, uh, to stop just to the... stifle a summon or the flip summon. If this is a shining angel, he's going to fourth set thirty five hundred. That's an expensive cost uh, to negate this. Yeah. Let's see if we get another solemn judgment and rebuttal, and we do not. Okay. That's uh. That's, what does Dingo uh, want to? What does Dingo want to keep a, so bad? It could be a grave for spy, which would be able to clear two of the goats. It's a jar of greed. So four now he's thirty five hundred life points lower. Four goats are still firmly placed on the guy's field. Hmm, that card must be really important that he didn't want to give it up. What could it be? What could no it be? No monsters in the graveyard for Geisty. Has not seen one just yet. I mean he could have one hiding in the hand, but he just drew from the star greeter, drew for turn. Let's see it. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking deeply. Yeah, like, like the play, his first turn sets were Jara Greed and the Scapegoat, keeping the, the Sakuretsu armor in the hand, just in case Dingo Sig did open up Heavy Storm, just have to have two chainables. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know, Mask. You might have you might know this answer off the top of your head, but has there ever been a bracket reset in the GO format world championship in the in the ones that we've had thus far? I don't remember. There has been a winner from, from loser side in the GFC before. So the bracket has okay. reset. And in FLC as well. But I'm not sure about the, the GOAT format world championships. I don't think it has. We'll have to, so we'll have to consult could, uh... the tapes on that one. <laughs> Guys could be trying to trying to be the first person to this do that. Wild Dingo Sig is using Ring of Destruction so very liberally here, dropping down to nineteen hundred. He must oh. have a plan. It, it's got to be a it's a it's Dinko. A he really wants the extra card. What can he that have? Bad. He's really valuing that. So he you needed need... that extra card so bad. A, a sure priest. A priest. That's some damage. But wow, you are super duper low. You are in a compromised position at 1900. Geist D sitting at a There's healthy 5,000. That Geist D can do here, even just with three cards, is your back one back row good enough? But there's just a, a, a T set from Geist. Dingo Sig, a lot more cards to work with. Just gonna use the normal summon to summon a Shura Priest. Mirror Force is painful here if you are, uh, if you. Let's see it. Potentially another Solemn down for Dingo Sig. It's going to set Setting another, another one. I'm going to play around Jars. Smacking in. Let's see what we got here. Cyber Jar is crazy. Morphing Jar is even crazier. It is going to be... The Cyber, Cyber Jar. Jar. Oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dingo or Guys D has to be loving this. Has to be loving this. Oh, but wow. Let's see how many three monsters. monsters. Three monsters. Three. Dingo. Oh, guys, D only lands the one Sangan. And it was going to meet the DD Warrior Lady. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So that's more healthy damage that is going to be coming in. We are still embedded into the battle phase. Keeping in mind that that one card behind the Shining Angel has just been set, so it cannot be activated this turn. A lot of times that gets lost when uh, when when Cyber Jar goes off. So just keep that keep that in mind. So we have three three monsters versus the one monster of Guys D, known to be a DD he, Warrior Lady. One of them is DD Warrior Lady, so he can just attack here with the oh, DD that, Warrior Lady. That, banish that it. thing will not find its way in the graveyard. I can tell you that 100%. Uh, uh, unless unless Guys this has Mirror Force face down, this would be the biggest Mirror Force. And but we're going to throw that right on out, out of play. And hit in for 28, dropping Guys down to 24. 22. I, 22 I cannot do that. Ooh, man, this is intense. Is there? <laughs> this well, guys is picked intense. up Heavy Storm. Okay, Norm let's Normal see. Normal someone was already committed to a Shura Priest. A Light and Dark in the Graveyard. Oh, Could throw oh, out Chaos man. Sorcerer or be a less here. I don't know how wise that is. Okay. And just gonna pass here, so... Does Geist D 
have anything to do in the hand on top of this heavy storm, or is he just going to do it for storm. value? He's going to book, book a moon. moon. Yeah, target your your Dekoichi. Change our greed. Going to find another card. And let's see what the other card is for Dingo Sig. It is Snatch Steel. That was there as a bluff being sent to the graveyard. 1900 is looking yeah, he, juicy for Geisty. He might have thought that it was something win. like that because he, he said it before he attacked thinking it was a Morphing Jar, but he got the jar wrong. It's a Cyber Jar instead. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's see it. Guys, just thinking about it. What He's were your other two, the cards other two cards you added? Were added? They should be in the log, but it's Man. just easier to ask. Book of Moon and Dust Tornado. More than two. Guys now has to consider his options. Doesn't have a light in the graveyard. No BLS shenanigans. Still has access to power cards like Graceful Pot of Greed. Did he draw that off of the Jar of Greed? Doesn't look like it. Did he use Nobleman, Nobleman to get rid played. of to Koichi, this will banish the other copies. Fueling that return. Return is lethal. And if it only, is clear. Only one copy left in the deck. The other copy is in the graveyard. This has Solemn, Jar of Greed, that we know about. And oh, then wow. three cards to work with. Oh, wow. Oh, Snatch wow. Snatch Seal oh, plus wow. a monster might work if the monster is more than 500. And we saw we saw Cyberjar actually do some serious damage and push for exact game last time. So maybe it could be more or less of that. <laughs> could be perhaps. Snatch Seal plus, plus Morphing Jar this time, huh? It could be. I could, I could be. <laughs> that would be, that'd be great. That would be. Maybe we can get like uh, some type of creature swap situation with. Uh, with a normal summon and I don't know that might not be enough that won't do it that won't do it normal summon a little insect and then creature swap that thing maybe you can get yeah, oh, that won't man. do it that won't that won't be creature enough. swap's already been used too I believe oh, okay yeah, oh, he doesn't on. have access to the one okay all right the DD warrior lady DD okay. warrior lady now this is so this is why it's tough for Geist because you can attack here and then he could just get his own DD Warrior Lady. No, he can't. It's already banished. It's already banished, but let's see if he's going to use the effect. He's probably going to say no. He's probably just going to let it no, ride here. He's going to risk it. Bringing from the deck. Henceforth comes another Shining Angel uh, coming from the deck. He said he's not happy to see that. He was thinking that there wasn't a target left in the deck. Setting three and passing. Yeah, well, we know what over. two of those, those sets are. It's going to be Solemn and Jar of Greed. Then one that is unknown. Oh man, I am just biting. Oh, this is a nail biter. This I'm over here biting my tense. nails. Breaker, Breaker of the Magical Warrior. Breaker is down. Torrential Tribute does not exist in this game. Let's see it. Let's see it. He will have the priority to kind of add that counter. Guys, D is thinking, thinking here, as you as you stroke your thinking beard. I don't know. It would be it would be kind of cool to see that breaker gain that counter. Guys, D show some tactical patience then resolving ring of destruction for an outside win. That could be interesting. <laughs> Very unlikely chain of events, but it could in theory happen. You know, here it is. Uh, let's let's see let's see how he, how he breaks down. So guys, D is thinking. I mean, he's thinking. thinking on it here. He could he could just use the solemn to negate this breaker, and then the you, you can't attack over the the DD warrior lady, but you lose to a chaos monster this way. Let's see it. Let us all wait on bated breath as Mister P thinks about how he wants to respond to this breaker, the magic warrior. These are all the decisions that you're gonna have to live with for the entire. The entirety of the next dueling season because you're gonna have to kick yourself <laughs> you're gonna have to kick yourself if you don't get it exactly correct so he's going through all of the all of the thoughts of what this breaker can do how it's all going to break down is it worth those life points and he elects to go whoa using the ring in response to the breaker they're gonna take 16 each this way he had the ring what what's 
Well, am I tripping? Can is uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. Okay, you can't, you can't, you can't read you can't for nineteen here, but he's got us. He's got a chaos monster. Yeah. This is he has, has to be solemn. Has to be solemn here. Oh, you can never, you can never, yeah, you can never ring for nineteen. Okay, I'm tripping. <laughs> I am tripping. And there is the solemn judgment. He had it. He had it at the graveyard again. He's got. Oh, another, he's doing another one. Another he's doing chaos another monster. One. Uh, DLS, Lord we have another one. Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. He had to. Let's He's going to Shining it. Angel here. Banish that Shining Angel. Go to the battle phase. Jar Greed is going to be activated here. And we got well, typing. Jar Greed for Karibo. Oh, he yields. And Dingo Sig is going to be your 2022 Go format world champion. The title will find its way back to the, France or to France. He said, he said the Shining Angels did nothing for him all day, except now he attacked to win the world championship. Oh my he goodness! He banished the Shining Angel with the oh. DD Warrior Lady. Had he banished the Shining Angel, he would not be in this position right now. He's got to be kicking himself because that Shining Angel fed the light and dark needed to fuel the chaos players that ultimately led to Guys D's demise. Oh, man. It is rough. <laughs> It is rough. It is rough. It is rough. But that's taking nothing away from both of these players. They both play a fantastic tournament. I had so much fun and entertainment. Huge congratulations to both of these players. Guys, D, great performance. You are a champion all around. But Dingo Sig, you are our GOAT format world champion. Great performance. Stellar, stellar, stellar job. Cool deck. So return wins. Dingo finally does it. He's got to be elated. He's got to be overjoyed. I am ecstatic. Oh man, what a what a game! No more sad Koki over here. No more sad Koki for the Dingo Sig. Yeah, he's now he's gonna be happy Koki, right? Because he's the <laughs> world champion. <laughs> Somebody generate a happy Koki meme so we can change the sad Koki out for a happy Koki. Because Dingo Sig is going to be your Go Format World Champion for the next year. I love to see it. Cool deck, and I'm glad to see. Uh, I'm glad to see two uh, not so much played decks highly represented. And there it is. There it is. There it is absolutely love to see it and again hopefully you all tuned in with us and you enjoyed what you enjoyed what you saw here at the go format world championship the season is coming to an end the competitive dueling season we might take a slight break for uh competitive uh competitive events but go format still will still will be raining going on uh we will have uh we'll have more more things going on for the for the friday tournaments like i said i think the premium tournaments will continue if, if, I, if I understand that correctly i think it might be a uh a, a slight break um so uh make sure you guys hang out in the discord and check it all out so you can find out where to play some high level competitive goats uh if you go back a couple videos ago scully uh the president our, our vince mcmahon dropped by and kind of laid out some of the future sites of what uh what he's trying to accomplish in the next year and you guys can participate in that also like i mentioned before if you are interested in playing on a competitive level the war league is starting okay so make sure you reach out to me make sure you reach out to insidious uh, uh indoors let's and fox and get your invite to the uh to the war league discord if you want to participate in that it's lots of fun Again, like I said, it's very competitive. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then we're going to keep it rocking. I, I will be here indefinitely. Hopefully I can get Dingo Sig to come by the program and tell us about this deck. I want to know more about this player. I want to know uh, more about his experience in this event. It was a blast. I had so much fun being a part of this. And thank you so much for being here with me all day, Mask. I had a blast being with you as well. I had a blast as well. Uh, thank you for having me, JDZ. Uh, looks like we're actually going to get Dingo Sig coming in, and we're going to oh. get a little bit of an interview with Dingo after just winning the World Championships. Let's see but it. As oh, we Dingo. wait for Dingo in, I just want to thank everybody so far who's been hanging out with us all day in the in the chats over on Twitch and YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you to TK Griffiths, of course, our head judge, mm. helping the event run smoothly, and all the other judging staff got... Uh, Fox on the judging staff there, Manic Lord, Cameron, and MMF, I believe, helped out as well. And sh big shout out to, to Calcifer yesterday for doing all the, of the pairings via via Mantis. A lot of by stuff hand. had to be done by hand. Amazing work over at Calcifer, our friends at Go Community Italia. 
Those guys crush it in their events, and they, they really helped us out with running this event. A big community effort. That's what this is, a, a, just a, a close community of like-minded Yu-Gi-Oh! players that just want to see this format succeed. And if you are one of those like-minded players, head on over to GoatFormat.com, join up on our Discord if you want to get involved with just playing the game, or even just if you have any ideas to help us out, if you're, like I said, an article writer, if you're a, uh, a video producer, anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, just any way that you think, think that you can contribute to the success of the format. We are interested in talking to you, and we would love to hear your ideas and, and, and you know, to have you on the squad. Absolutely, absolutely. It's all a community Always. effort. All right, so I believe the world champion is, is going to speak. He, we're trying to get the world champion mic'd up to come on into the booth right now to kind of say what's up to the goat world as we are as we are winding this thing up. And it couldn't happen to a nicer. All all of our world champions that we have just are some of the most beloved people in our community. Everyone, there's there's nothing bad you can say about Dingo Sig. He's always a fair player. He's always very courteous. He's always very polite. He's very nice. He's always willing to help. And uh, people, newer, newer players that come to the format, they ask about the strategy. They ask about Turbo. He, Dingo's a very uh, prolific tur Turbo player as well. And he's always reaching out, providing information, helping the next generation of players. I encourage all top level players to do that because it comes a lot, it comes a lot, it hits a lot different when you have your top, your top dogs of the format not being like pompous and arrogant and rude. And, uh, you know, oh, it's a noob this, noob that, you know, that, that's easy to do. But Dingo Sig is not one of those players at all. And uh, I think that he's a good, uh, He's a good ambassador for Go Format and what we're trying to accomplish here as a champion. And I cannot think of another person that is better to wear the crown and represent our format as our strongest, greatest, dopest player. So uh, he should be coming here soon. All right, we got Dingo. Welcome. You are our champion. Please, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Please describe to the GOAT world what it feels like to wear the crown as the Go Format world champion. Please take your victory lap. I don't know what to say. Like, sorry for my accent. I know some people will, will have a hard time understanding me. Mm. But, uh, Dingo, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, would, I don't say nothing at all. You sound great. You sound very exotic. Uh, the French accent is beautiful to the American ears. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> no, go ahead, please. Take us. <laughs> say say your piece, man. How does it feel to be the champ? Tell us about it. Yeah, I still can't believe it. I'm I'm a little ashamed actually because I feel like I played very, very bad against KSD. I was very stressed and I kind of sacked him, but hey, I, I played well in a lot of other rounds, so I guess, I mean, you have to get lucky too, so I'm here and I'm happy to be here. Okay, what what uh talk 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 to us about that deck real quick. And if you have time, I I, I know you're on you're 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 getting tired now, but if you have time, I would love to sit down with you and have a long form interview, and then you tell us more about this deck. But just tell us about playing the return strategy and what that means to you. Topping last year, playing return, doing it again this year. Tell us about that deck and what uh what the return strategy means to you. Yeah, I, I really like it because like it fits my play style. It's very aggressive, but mm. at the same time, it's not as linear as um. Warrior, for example, because uh, you have flips like the coaches and stuff, so you can still generate advantage, you can still play the control game somewhat. So uh -huh. I guess that's what I like about this deck. I love it, man. I like it. I think I think the deck is really cool. Uh, and you mentioned, and you mentioned. I remember you talking about it before the event kicked off. How you didn't appreciate those shining angels and how you felt they weren't doing it. And now look at that shining angel is the card that secures the world championship victory for you. I think that's really cool, man. I think that's really cool. Oh man, I'm so glad, Dingo. And I was and I was just talking about that before you came in. Yeah, I think shining angel is not that good, but um, it's. It's hard to build the deck without it. Like I feel the the form for um uh, for the deck and stuff, and I explained that here that um, people have been suggesting me changes, but it pretty much changed the entire deck if you remove the angels because like it messes up with your like and dark ratio. If you play Thunder Dragon, you like it kind of messes up with your monster count as well, and you have to change the trap lineup and stuff. So. Yeah, Channing Angel is not good, but it actually allows me to build this deck the way it is, so it has some merits, I think. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, and, and it showed it showed it showed his worth. I mean, I bet you were kind of sweating bullets when guys did elected not to banish that thing out of play, and then it absolutely worked out for you in the end. So that is very cool, man. I love it. I love it. Will you will you will you have time sometime next week to come and sit down and talk to the Goat World in an interview about this deck and about your tournament experience? I'd love to have you. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Oh, absolutely. I will try to absolutely. get some time to do this. Uh, I think it was really cool. Uh, I was really, really scared of time, um, but I was playing aggro, so it was fine. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the tournament was great. I was really happy to to see other people being very hyped about it, especially like big shout out to Shaggy. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> this man was like, crazy. Like this was really cool. Um, like. I think the biggest thing about this tournament was also everyone supporting me. Like everyone going to the <laughs> real cocky uh, profile picture on the <laughs> World League <laughs> channel. It was really funny. Um, I, honestly, I don't know what's the biggest accomplishment. If it's winning worlds or if it's getting World Gone Mad switches PFP for <laughs> a PFP. <laughs> you got it. You got a lot of people that were cheering for you, Dingo. You have a lot of fans out there. Like I was saying, you are a very uh, uh, an, an integral part of our community. Everyone looks up to you, and everyone likes you a lot, man. So that was cool to see that as well. Um, but I know it's I know it's getting late, and I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I know uh, other people might want to ask you questions as well, but I, I want to make sure you question. get some shout outs. You get some shout outs in there too. But Mask has got something he wants to throw your way. I only have one question for you, Dingo. Yeah. What deck are you playing next year? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough question because, like last year, I kind of I stopped playing the deck pretty much at the beginning. Like mm -hmm. I went for turbo and some kind of variant with mask and stuff. And it's crazy because, like every time I play this deck, I feel like here I, I played against a lot of control and it's tough. I think. And last year uh, there wasn't that many control, but there was also like a lot of burns, and I was feeling like this deck was not very good against burns. So I'm. After this event, I don't feel very confident with the deck anymore. It's funny, <laughs> even though I, I won with it. But uh, I would like to improve it. I would like to get rid of the Angel and make it better. So maybe, like, I don't know, remove Chaos entirely, focus more on Bazoo, and ah. maybe even like play some kind of triple the Borg deck. I don't know. I think there is a lot of different stuff to do with the Borg and Return, not necessarily in the same deck, but. Uh, uh, I know some other players have been experimenting with the Borg and Recruiters and Flips, and I think that's really, really strong, so I mm -hmm. might try to do something with that as well. All right. Yeah, we'll I mean, be, uh... as long as Return is still in the main deck, I mean, I'll be happy. Yeah, it, it seems to be successful for you since you got top eight last year and you, you won this year with the deck, so <laughs> I, I don't know. If that was me, I would not want to drop the return from the deck, at least. Oh, and, that, and that's your calling card now. You own you own the return from a different dimension because you have won the world championship <laughs> with that card, so uh, I, I would be I would also be depressed if I don't see it anymore in the Dingo Sig list, but uh, the support was strong for you today, so I want to see what you can do with that. Every, you're, you're setting the meta now. Everyone's going to try to be like you. We got the GOAT format world champion deck. We're going to get that thing on TCG Player. Make sure you guys use the GOAT format link, but I, I know I don't. we don't want to take too much of your time we understand it's extremely late over there but before you go you got to give your special shout outs to people uh in, in the community that are still listening to this and going to play this back uh, at a later at a later date well it, it will be hard to name everyone but of course first time i want to shout out my team lrg mm, I, okay. I actually left lrg uh, when i took a break because like there was a lot of stuff happening and basically it's like the the team kind of fell apart and it was also at a time where I wasn't really feeling confident and I wasn't as motivated. So when I saw that the team was just kind of going away, I, I decided to take a step back. And when I joined back, I, I was not doing well at all. And I noticed that I really needed uh, a team to kind of get back into high level play and I actually ended up joining back LRG after a lot of thinking and discussion with people and stuff and yeah I should have never left like it's just the best team 
Okay, I mean, I, you can't you can't deny it. You can't you can't deny it. We're coming for it. We're coming for LRG this year. UI has got something to say about that. Three people in the top. Okay, you left, so you didn't see how we did LRG in the arena. But we're gonna, we're gonna we're not gonna talk about that. That's war league <laughs> stuff. We'll we'll save that. We'll save that for next time, Dingo. But I'm coming for you just because you said that. You know, you're the world <laughs> champ. But that, <laughs> I'm joking, man. I am joking. I am joking. Great tournament, great experience, man. And I'm looking forward to sitting down with you next week. If you could just email me any of your availability, I will work around your schedule and we can make this happen, world champ. Yeah, you too. I will uh, let you know on uh, Discord if you don't mind. Of course. Of co oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, actually, it's kind of funny because a lot of people uh, who got into good format uh, where like all time Yu-Gi-Oh player, mm -hmm. and like I'm not really in, in that category because uh, I played as a kid, but it was pretty much like school Yu-Gi-Oh, like uh, with very bad cards and wrong ruling and stuff, like like a lot of people. But I never really, I never did any actual tournaments, and I don't really know how. I think it was because of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stream. I found out about a uh, gold format and I didn't really know anything about it, but I, I saw that it looked a bit similar to school Yu-Gi-Oh in a sense that I was, I, I recognized some cards and I figured like that, that should be fun to start playing this game again. And I pretty much had to learn everything from scratch because like when you're a kid, you don't really know the ruling very well and stuff. I know the basic because I've played some video games on the GBA. But uh, yeah, I had to pretty much start from scratch. And I I played really bad deck and I played a lot of zombies as well. And I was <laughs> mostly casual. And yeah. I progressively became better and better. And it's funny because the first ever tournament result I got was with the very first version of this deck, of uh, Angel Return. And this is pretty much what started my competitive career. So, yeah. Right on, man. I love it. I love the story. I love the story. I mean... I don't want to hear more. I want to hear more. So this is just a sneak peek. We're going to get the world champ to come by. He's going to lay this deck out. He's going to he's going to lay this deck out. He's going to come by and talk to us at the go form at, at the so make sure you stay tuned to the YouTube page. If you haven't done so already you're watching this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Get in here. Be a part of it. We're going to continue to produce videos. I'm going to get the world champ to come by, break down that deck, maybe break down his replay. And we're going to do it just like that. Uh, so appreciate you so much, world champion. Thank you. And congratulations again. Make sure you get some rest, drink some water and celebrate get in there with the boys in lrg boys and girls in lrg and celebrate pop your champagne do what you got to do uh it was a great performance all around and thank you all for tuning in if you're still listening with us or if you're watching this on the on the redo it was a fantastic event shout out to dueling book shout out to the staff shout out to everyone behind the scenes pulling the strings making things work big shout out to scully who is in the production room setting it up making it happen for everybody shout out to my co-host maskers i couldn't do it without him shout out to planchy with his energy and vibrance we absolutely love to have planches around huge fan favorite shout out to all the players who topped this event and performed graciously and honorably all day long it was a fantastic event so make sure if you are into this play in the play in the next tournaments that you can so you can secure your ticket for the worlds next year this could be you holding up the title like dingo sig is here with us but for me and all of goatformat.com and the entire uh, staff we have here thank you all so much for helping us for making this world's great and continue to do that and we're going to sign this thing off until the next time. Shout out to the real ones, as always. Salute to all the OGs of the game. Salute to the new world champion, Dingo Sig. And have a fortunate and blessed day wherever you are in the world. I am JDZ. I play Ghost. Till the next time. Peace.